Holy Lord, we made it. It's a great day for America. It's a great day for Cox, and it's a it's, great day for the internet. It sucks <clears throat> to be South America because uh, they stole our original movie from us. I know. They stole our Bastards. thunder. They didn't even give us a bale of cocaine in, in exchange. It's very I easy. know. They used to just fall out of the sky. It's true. Mm. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're watching the live show, welcome. If you're watching the replay, we fought tooth and nail to get here on time, and here we are. How you doing, Jay? I'm good. Uh, we'll see how Cox decides uh, I'm doing. <laughs> uh, we're just going to be nothing but inside jokes soon. And, and That's true. Some That's new true. person's going to come out on the stream. and Like, they're speaking another language. I don't get it. I don't know. That one guy seems to have a problem with his cocks. I don't know. It's a... <laughs> How are you, Barbara? I'm doing so much better. I've got my handy dandy inhaler. So yeah, I'm doing yeah, I'm doing much better. Yeah, the cough sounds a lot better. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty it's more meaty, manly in your cough now. <laughs> we didn't want the little girly cough. Oh, it's it's a beefy cough. Oh, oh, yes. oh yeah. Yeah. It's a deep, deep infection. It's nasty. But she's on the men. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, tonight we've got some great stuff, and we're going to start out by bringing in some of our great guests. The one, the only Texan that I like, Jethro Bot. How are you? <laughs> I have come to chew bubblegum and chew bubblegum, and I am all out of bubblegum. Is Good it night, guys? Um, crisp coated. <laughs> yeah, I like that. In July. In July. <laughs> There's no way to say in. in. <laughs> it's impossible. If you could figure out how to do it, go down. <laughs> go down. Also, we have one of our favorite regular guests, the one, the only dressed for success. Smilex is here. Well, hello. How are you all? Hello. You look so cute tonight. Oh, thank you. Uh, we are we are fantastic. We are we are all together. <laughs> Those are three fantastic ottermen. <laughs> we are pleased to make your acquaintance. <laughs> oh my goodness, man! I hope your week was better than mine, uh, Smilex. Well, I've not been working today, so this has been wonderful. Oh well, oh, that's nice. <laughs> Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to swear at the beginning of the show. It's like a seven-minute thing. Sorry, right. that's my job, damn it. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, there's supposed to be like the seven-minute thing where they want you to start out without swearing or something. Like oh, that. that's good to know. That's it, good. Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. Um, <laughs> so so we should just play the intro for another seven minutes, and then it'll be safe. Uh, I do have it on a loop. Um, yes. <laughs> do that for four hours, and uh, we can all go home. Exactly. Hey, Drew Gordon's here. Hey, my friend. Is that a Mr. Brown sighting I saw earlier? Yeah, he dropped a note earlier. Nice. Oh, Probably. I missed it. Darn. Uh, it's at the top his of bedtime. The... Yeah, I know. Huh. Vex was here giving us big congrats. Eraserhead's here. But yeah, uh, good things that happened this week. Guess who crossed 500 subscribers? <laughs> ooh, 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 me, me, me. I, can, I bet I know the answer. <laughs> It's Cox Internet. Yes, it's Cox. Cox. <laughs> uh, the, it's a, the we're monetized. Cox for everyone. It's the a turn. channel about molded plastic chairs. That's, that hit 500 <laughs> this week. I have that short too. Um, <laughs> we 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 not only crossed the 500 for our, our basic monetization, which is in review process right now. Um, we picked up 91 subscribers in 28 days, which yeah. is insane. I um, could I couldn't believe it. I was like, ooh, we're getting close to 500. Oh, we're well past 500. I see. Things are going well this week. Let me check it right ooh. now. 525, folks. Yep. 525. Thank and you, I want, everyone. I want to say we killed it, but it's you at home or on the bus or wherever you are. The lovely yes. subscribers that made it happen. We're super excited. Hey, there's Jack. Yes. What's going you guys, on, buddy? You uh, guys are the ones yeah, who are killing things. That's that's what fifty in the last week. Uh, damn near. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just about. It's insane. It's just insane. We 
just roughly six months ago or so. Well, no, wait, it was a year ago. We're pushing, begging for a hundred subs. Yeah. Now we're at five twenty-five. It's been exponential. So somebody is enjoying this. I'm. I'm just. Or they have a lot of enemies that they're recommending it to. <laughs> we take eight watches. That's fine. Oh my I'm gosh! Honest. Thank you, yeah. Jamma Lama. Jamma, twenty bucks. Oh shit! Do you want on the show? Let's <laughs> get you a long way with this crowd. <laughs> Get a handy for fifty. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I gotta hang on. I forgot a. There it is. Here we are. All right. That's for you, Jamma. Oh, uh, thank you so mwah. much. Oh man, yeah, we've got uh, I think nine subs on our Patreon, and we're not offering anything exclusive at all. No. Oh. But Although in I, fact, we offer have, less than nothing. Yet. We We're offer B sides. Yeah, yes. well, I, it was wasn't a part negative. of an offer, but I have been mailing them pubic hair. So <laughs> we have our own pubic hair. Not, not not our own, of course. No. Yeah. No. No. The the just the pubic hair I find lying around. Yeah, it's mostly public restroom material. Yeah. 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 Amaranth's pubic hair. Um, They're just giving it away. I can't afford that kind of shit. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> But for those of you who have joined us on Patreon, we appreciate it if you could just do a month or if you can stay subscribed to us. $20 is huge, Jamalama. Um, so we want to do a quick little teaser announcement. Um, we are working on a new show of pre-recorded riffs, very much studio style, much more akin to MST3K, but obviously we could only aspire to be so great. And everyone on Patreon is going to get a early preview and get to watch it exclusively when it comes out. So Excellent. stick around and keep your monthlies on there, and uh, we'll, we will definitely get you something. And you yes. said this show is nude. Nude. Yes, it's brand yeah. new. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah. Brand new. All new, all the time. Mm -hmm. Yes, Drew Gordon, uh, the, sh the feature tonight did change because I woke up to a, a scary ass copyright notice from South America. So uh, it cleared the first filters, but then somebody manually reviewed it and decided they owned the rights in the Southern Hemisphere. So we don't get to watch that one. It takes an entire continent to keep us down. That's right. That's right. Oh, all right. Anybody else want to throw anything in? I'm just so excited about our subscribers. I'm going to pee in the bucket early tonight. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, did oh, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, it's just great to say, uh, you know, I've had a rough week, and then I think my car, which is in the shop, had my cooler. So now I've just got my beers in a plastic bag with some ice bricks, like a damn hobo. I don't know, man. Oh, oh. <sighs> you got to get yourself one of those refrigerators. Yeah, one of them, one of them fancy electrified coolers. Those are, those will work right. Well, that's that's like all the way across the room, the the house. The well, room. you know they can move. Yeah. Wait a second. I thought I thought you lived in the park. <laughs> <laughs> he does, but he's Someone... squatting at a house right now. I work at the park. <laughs> oh, 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 I work at the park. Yeah. I know, it looks like I live there. Uh, that is not right in the in the public restrooms, but he works there. I assure you. Yeah, uh, thanks, Copa. Thank you, Zax. Nice to see you. Uh, I had a great time on Zax's stream the other day. It was really fun. Oh, yeah, that was, that was a great one. It is not easy to be on my best behavior while I'm wasted, but I think I pulled it off. <laughs> uh, no, it's I, I, handle, I handled the bad behavior for you in chat. So, uh, mm. Mm. Um, I did want to ask did anyone else see the Furiosa trailer? I did. I did see that. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, yeah. Well, uh, it looks very CG. Um, I mean, I mean, you could you could sort of lay that that kind of accusation at the the previous one as well to some extent, but I think this mm -hmm. one looks a little cheaper. Um, mm. I was a bit disappointed that it wasn't Charlize Theron. Um, yeah, that was my, my yeah. kind of disappointment too. I thought because I, I thought she was pretty cool. Great. 
I think it looks fine. I think it looks all right. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm certainly not going to um, start shouting woke like a lot of people are doing already. <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna give it a bit of, you know, I'm gonna give it a try. I think <laughs> that word is banned on this channel. Sorry, <laughs> I was using it with quotation marks around it. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zach's. I, it looks very like processed, but I would be shocked if George Miller wasn't doing all practical driving yeah. stunts and all of that. Nine hundred and two year old George, George Miller. Miller i trust he he i he does love those computers though did you see the last movie he did with tilda swinton and um oh yeah i did yeah i did watch that yeah, yeah that uh, was fun i enjoyed it but uh it was computery very yeah. computery mm. yep to be oh. honest the one thing that i'm actually looking forward to and we're gonna go see it on sunday is the minus godzilla minus one oh. i am so hyped for this movie yeah i'm hyped just, well, that was amazing night out. Did you did yeah. you see Chris Gore's um, coverage of that? No, I no. You know, I unsubscribed from him. So so he is a absolutely huge Godzilla fan. Um, mm. and in fact, he uh, when he was in Japan, he stayed at like the Godzilla Hotel. Um, all that, that's right? my dream. And he he was like, it. This may be the best Godzilla movie, period. Wow. Um, he's which is saying hyperbole. That's, but, yeah. that's what I've heard. Yeah, you know, but I, I mean, I've not with Godzilla. Just... Godzilla, he's like, no, no, this. You know this stuff that was shit. Uh, you know the 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 Godzilla versus Kong that was crap. You oh, know God, all it was that stuff, awful. right? But oh, but yes. when he's going back, he's like, no. I mean the the from the from the the kind of you know the the Japanese melodramatic overacting um, that, but not over you know over the top bad. But but the very emotive kind of acting is yeah, is very, very reminiscent with early. intensity. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, they don't um, decide to stick in uh, Mr. Burr uh, as, as for, the, for the U.S. audience. Right? You are there. Yeah. yeah um, you know, it's and and that that Godzilla is properly terrifying. He's one of the things I think he said was um, there are scenes that absolutely make you feel like um, when you were watching Jaws, mm -hmm. um, oh, and yeah. just the 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 menace of it's not there. But you know it's coming, and you kind of hear it and feel it's it. Tension, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I really can't wait. I, everything that I've seen has just been stellar reviews. You know, across the board, people love this. If you like, you know, kaiju movies, you're gonna love mm. this. And I cannot wait because man, love I them. we watched Godzilla versus Kong, and that was such a hot piece of garbage. I hated it <laughs> so much. It was it was boring. And it just felt like an, one long uh, Universal Studios pitch meeting for the next ride. It yeah, video terrible. game cutscene, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, for real. Was that was Godzilla the first female action hero? Godzilla's male. That's a male. myth. What? Yeah. There is in, in the cartoon. Uh, there was a sex change. <laughs> <laughs> Hence, Godzuki. Right. We're back, we're back to the W word. <laughs> I am really obviously out of out of my depth on the Godzilla Godzilla Ooh. talk. <laughs> um, well, that that started because of the little Gadzuki character that everyone assumed was Godzilla's baby on Monster Island, but they're right. actually not even related. They're just friends. Yeah, the, if this is a send up of the original Godzilla, though, which is like totally a horror movie, it and feels has, like it, extremely yeah. well, I mean, it's harrowing even set, moments. It's even set you know, in like, like you know forty five, forty six, forty seven. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Yep. Then that that is. Uh, that is very exciting. Um, not too long ago, I saw the Japanese cut of the second Godzilla movie ever, Godzilla Rides Again. And I didn't realize that, like, they didn't resurrect Godzilla from the first movie. They made a second Godzilla. Like, mm -hmm. the Godzilla you know and love is not the original Godzilla. I didn't even realize that. Did, did Godzilla Rides off. Again come after uh, Godzilla Goes Bananas? It's it's Godzilla, 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 it, was, it was Godzilla goes to Monte Carlo. <laughs> then it was Godzilla rides again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You and can be was... assured Godzilla will never go to South America again. <clears throat> no, no. Godzilla rides again. He's he's on a giant cannon the whole movie. Runaway cannon. That's a deep cut for Ernest fans. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> a little slim pickens there. <laughs> Yeah, I was I was more hoping yeah for Slim Pickens in uh, at the end of uh, Doctor Strangelove, but uh, or or Godzilla on a submarine uh, saying a Nazi, I knew it, y'all in cahoots. That that would work as well. 
Yeah, Jam Alarm. I don't have yeah. a lot of news on this, but it, it looks like um, just kind of an alternate reality version that um, I don't think it's like a hard reboot of anything. But I bet if this thing makes the money I think it's going to make, that they'll keep going off that timeline. Yeah. And that's fine. It's like yeah. Shin Godzilla is an alternate timeline. So, right. Yeah. And I really like Shin Godzilla. I thought yeah. that was a really good movie. Well, Dude, one, what, a, the, what an the, ending. Like, why? how could they not follow that? This giant's be mad. <laughs> you know? <laughs> are there, are there, it's there, not a like, sequel to Shit Godzilla. There are like three or four uh, different studios that have like partial rights or rights to certain sections or something like mm -hmm. that, right? Because you've got the, you know, the big kaiju versus stuff going on. You've got the Shin. Um, then you've got this. And and I'm not sure if, if there's like a fourth um, that has some part of it. What what is the what is like the state of the IP with Godzilla? I, I think they're done licensing it to American studios. That would be wise. Yeah, yeah. Um, they're very very tight with that IP, but mm -hmm. they uh, I've heard some of the negotiations and stuff that went on with the previous American ones, and it just takes years, like yeah. years and years and years. After after Godzilla ninety eight, it should take many decades between. Well, yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> and yet I, it didn't. When uh, that did happen, um, there I think there's an anecdote about uh, there were like you know three big wigs or whatever from Toho watching the the rough screening, and they all just looked at each other and went, "Well, it's too late now," and walked out of the room. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's so. And if they think the screening was rough, wait till they see yeah. the movie and it's you know fullness. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, what was the what was the movie it came out like maybe 20 years ago 15 20 years ago um that had a lot of it was like godzilla all out attack or something I and, oh, um, yeah yeah and they had they like showed instances of monsters all over the planet including in new york where like there was this like you know they had the actual american 98 godzilla and he gets uh Godzilla just walks over there and slaps a bitch. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, he yeah. he gets dispatched or something. It's been a long time since I saw it, but that, I remember it, laughing. That's not King of the Monsters, is it? No, no that's different. This is no. yeah, this was this really was just a new movie twelve or fifteen years ago. I had a PlayStation yeah. two Godzilla game and they omitted the uh Matthew Broderick Godzilla from it, as everybody else in mm. it is. As, 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 one, as one should. should. Yeah. There's mm. like nine different versions of Godzilla from God, I remember how that crap was everywhere in merchandising too. Mm -hmm. the, I had a the, the, uh, Taco uh, Bell cup holder in my yeah, yeah. car for a long fucking time. I had I had, I had the, the like the big Taco Bell cup because Taco Bell was like right across the street from our office. So we would walk through the drive through to to get stuff or whatever, and they give me this giant cup. But, oh, it's Godzilla! I'm looking. It's you know the big eye, and that's it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this looks stupid. Um, then I saw the movie, and I was like, oh, it's worse. It's worse than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> another, another quick plug for Drew Gordon's channel. If anybody isn't watching it, you're you're out of your mind because oh, he puts some so amazing good. music videos. I Drew, I loved the uh, Metallica one you put up. That was recent one. Outstand yeah, that was outstanding. I watched I shared it, it. I shared it with a bunch of my email friends, and they're like, Holy God, that's amazing. I go, You need to subscribe to this guy because all of his music videos are so well done. I love them. Yeah, we're gonna get you on the payroll soon, Drew. I promise. Yeah. I'm scrambling. So we know, we know like Drew and a wax audio uh collaboration. Or oral knots, maybe, yeah. No, I mean, I, I want wax where 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 they, they do these crazy mashups between songs that that you're like, wait, what? And then somehow it works. And then I want Drew doing the actual video for him. Fantastic! Subscribe to Drew Gordon, everyone. He also has a ton of playlists of other uh, other people's stuff, and uh, it's all worth it. Um, yeah, and we share the same tape. Uh, taste, sorry, taste. <laughs> Nazi submarines, mad scientists. He borrowed my tape. Yeah. <laughs> he also borrowed my Vaseline and some rope. <laughs> Another clubs. hour uh, yeah. tape and Vaseline. Keep he had the these, hold. these nice, like, rabbit fur lined gloves. Oh, Jesus. all the things he borrowed. That's very specific. You have no yes. idea how often I have to rinse the ball gag. Yes. <laughs> uh, 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 the Brazilians. What they don't realize is I never rinse mine. <laughs> <laughs>
they don't realize is I didn't realize it wasn't a butt plug. Uh, okay. Uh, we are 20 minutes in, so we should probably get Whoa. the feature here. Anybody else got anything dirty to add? I hear a lot of beers opening and lighters yeah. clicking, so maybe we're ready. <laughs> we've we've seen glass. your movies before. They're not going in dry. <laughs> All the chemicals are now being deployed. Smilex were cosplay. My God, <laughs> how bad could it be? Yeah, I didn't say that. I didn't say. That. I I can answer it for you. <laughs> shush. 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 <laughs> All right, let's jump into it. Um, this is um. It's not quite the same movie, but it's damn close. Apparently, in uh, in the '60s, Italy had a, a fascination with these kind of supermen movies, and they just cranked out mm -hmm. a ton of them in like three years. Um, this one, the stunt work is way better than the original one we were going to show. Uh, mm. The stunt work is actually kind of fun. I don't, I don't, I don't think there's a guy in it saying "kill each other." kill each other <laughs> <laughs> i was looking forward to that i really was uh, me too yeah. are, are we referring to to superman in the nietzsche sense or in the spandex uh underwear sense yes ah yes but... i don't think these dudes have telepathy but they do have some uh, wacky personalities yeah so without much further ado let's get to our pinch hitter here three amazing fantastic guys in tights Two supermen steal a million pounds. 750 million there stolen from revenue office. Two men dressed as supermen robbed the casino at Monte Carlo. Well, her voice changed. <laughs> and that's time. Her balls dropped. Yep. Hey everyone, I'm in this movie. <laughs> He's totally inconspicuous. Thunderbird. So he's arrived at the Alamo. Weird weather thing. This is incredible already. <laughs> it, se it seems like I'm missing dialogue or something. What the yeah. hell? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it seems like there's context there. That's we need a out. prologue for this prologue. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, title call. <laughs> oh God, it's the ambiguously gay duo. It is. <laughs> Gary and the other guy. You're gonna have to prove to me what you can do, my friend. <laughs> He's the Noid. He's got, a, he's got a face like a clenched face. I definitely want to avoid him. Ooh. Got a new in the ball. Take him. Easy with the guns, boys. I don't want you to damage all my beautiful furniture. Doing my morning workout while it's You'll poke a hole in my trampolines. <laughs> my God, these foley artists are really working overtime. <laughs> They're up there. Oh, yeah. Pistol noises in every Clint Eastwood movie. Yeah. <laughs> I love the kung fu movie approach to fighting a good guy like my turn to get kicked. Now it's mine. Yay. Yeah, one at a time, boys. One at a time. Oh. Of course. Oh, he's on the 
a weakness. <laughs> <You'll>... <laughs> I'm not so sure about the score. It's, like... it's not that it's funny. So... <laughs> oh. I do feel like Ed Edna Moe's... Oh, look, a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Jethro, grab it. Yeah, put your fingers in <laughs> Yep, and this is where the Incredibles got their outfits. <laughs> Good going, fellas. Glad we were only playing. You're just what I need for a job I'm planning. Wow. Expectations subverted. <laughs> that radio control car was a surprise. I'm impressed. You're not so bad either. But I can't say the same for your friends. <laughs> Shall we take him on as a partner? Cokes for everyone. <laughs> It's his way of saying you're okay. Is, is a there big... a backstory for the giggly guy? Not easy I like for a stranger to get Nick's yeah. approval. I think I think they may have screwed Maybe's... up in the translation. Let's this is the very then, okay? special man, and then a couple <laughs> of celebrate. Supplement. You know, you're the first yeah. person we've ever allowed to work with. I'm incredible. Boy. Try these on for size. They can take anything it's but fire. The space monkey. Oh these yeah. Bulletproof suits are great. Yes, yeah, superintendents. Did we ask you where you came from? <laughs> you trust me, huh? No questions, please. You came to propose a job. I had no us. idea that trampolines sort of were so popular it, right? in Italy. Yeah. The Embassy of Chimouchere. It's located it's a shot in the, on the, of the set town of the man the show. At the time yeah. <laughs> what do we rob? The ambassador's medals? Oh, my. Chimouchere oh. is a newly formed oh, state oh. in the Middle East. We're, we're in. Rich up to here. Oh, Vex you is going to be very job. disappointed on this one. Yeah, in the embassy yeah I may have screwed up with Vex's. Uh, I know you said rich up to here, but any way you could make him about a torso horror, you know what I'm saying? Jesus, yeah. <laughs> Needs to spend some it of that. Comes by diplomatic pouch. <laughs> Sounds good. Need some help? <laughs> the embassy's full of guards. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Thanks help for the help. No, I can't even grab the damn thing. Well done, asshole. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you need guns. You may I don't have think to he's the brains of the operation. <laughs> We it's, never liked the idea of bad. killing. <laughs> yeah. We just laugh at their pain. Uh, ripping his bowl. Yeah. Polish your ball. I used to pitch for the Dodgers. Uh huh. Uh, the Dodgers uh -huh. could use you now. Yeah. Aquaman doesn't the believe them. It's bulletproof, too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they all look like Nico action figures. Mm -hmm. Edna Mode. I'm, I'm, so I'm telling you, the one guy is the Noid from, from, from Domino's. The short capes are in this year, guys. Yeah. No capes. no capes. I've got the feeling we'll be an invincible team. The three fantastic supermen. <laughs>
Rocky uh, practice boxing. Though. Yeah. Say, why wouldn't we inform that you were arriving? Uh, I, How should I know? We had orders to deliver this and then to go. I yell, I'm coming. <laughs> That's definitely share. Is that Patina? It could be. Or share. Credits are still going. You two are new, aren't you? I wouldn't say that, but it's the first time they sent us here. You know, I like brunettes. They like to keep us happy. Where do we put it? Down there. <laughs> if you have to ask. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm thinking no brunettes don't like you if you have to ask. He's no Sonny Bono. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> They're about to play deal or no deal. What is going on here? If I see Howie Mandela, I'm out. <laughs> Smart and beautiful, just my test. We're going <laughs> oceans <laughs> in that. That's no way to act when a charming man kisses you. You'll have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, those are the days. <laughs> Take it up. Another load of dollars arriving. <laughs> Natasha. Who are they? Two newcomers. More dollars. Well, it's Why were we told ahead of time? I just don't like it. Call Sarkis. Come on. He moves fast for a big guy. Yeah. He didn't drop a sandwich. No, I know. He's, he's still eating. <laughs> <You're there. laughs> oh. A proto John Favreau. Mm -hmm. Bam! Right in the kisser. I heard Italy was like that. You could just be walking down the street one minute, next thing you know, balls are in your face. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. You drop your sandwich. Mm. How long on an Italian uh, sidewalk can you leave your sandwich before you no longer safe to eat it? We're on full ocean level. So, so she just happened to pick the three right <laughs> cases to check. That's right. Are you saying that was a plot contrivance? <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody wanted to open the one that smelled like farts. <laughs> Let's see. This one's not giggling. This one's not giggling. Nope. Okay, you're good. You're good. I'll just put on my mask uh, so no one knows my secret identity. Oh, hi, ma'am. <laughs> oh, you guys are on a field trip? Okay, we'll pretend you never saw me. Not sure, Princess. Yes? I have a little tip for you. There's a time bomb in the trunk they just delivered to you. But what? do they have index cards? Who's speaking? A friend. And if you don't want to be blown to kingdom come... <laughs> I'll be Sound blown anywhere. I'm good with it. I think they're all unionized, Fiona. Yeah. Also, I enjoy the fact that uh, Where are you the going, armbands idiots? are like Not drawn of way. magic marker. Get There's to the no, safe. Uh, Move! No consistency to the lettering. Yeah, they're under phone. Get ready. Mm. That was a really congenial, obscene phone call. I'm a friend. I want to blow you to kingdom come. Well. Yeah, all right. I've got 10 minutes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> You've got five. Five. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I usually lunge at people blindly. Is he really good, or, or are they just incredibly clumsy? Yeah. Yes.
We had reason to believe the embassy of Shimu Sher was trafficking in dollars. We wanted some sample bills. What made you think we'd work for the U.S. government? We like also, to be we are going to need to know what, exactly what these guns are for. Most embassies are off limits. Yeah. They are foreign territory, so we're not <laughs> allowed to investigate. That guy's not sure how to hold one. Well, that's a Luger. That's why we had you do it. You even robbed the Pentagon, after all. <laughs> you know what we call this job? Hey, Tom, thanks for stopping by. Operation that's Burning right. Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny, FBI. But you see, we just don't like the idea of pulling nuts out of the fire for other people. You'll be paid. Mm -hmm. The FBI is willing to forget about the Pentagon robbery. You're free. Operation Burning Chestnut is all wrapped up. <laughs> Fellas, you're free to go. <laughs> there are a tremendous a number FBI. of nut hey, references of Operation in Kangaroo? this scene. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, shoot them. Look at the monster. That's some Boy, sort of air <laughs> burst. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of them. Don't shoot. No, no, they, those were were priests. Fuck for you. This surprise will turn you blue. <laughs> Even his mouth. Don't awesome. judge. Some people are into that shit. So they already have merchandise, I guess. This is like one of Jay's parties. <laughs> Meanwhile, at Mr. Brown's Alliance. It's <laughs> <HQ>. cute. <laughs> Do we have any flat seltzer? <laughs> He's sending you a message giving you pants to put on. <laughs> Please, put it on, put it yeah, on. Yeah, here's 50 bucks, put it on, put it on. And tell this idiot I'm to sure stop not. allegedly dancing. Z3PO, how dare you? <laughs> oh dear. I'm glad Tom Jones could make the movie. It's not unusual. Mode. Well, this, this is unusual, like... actually. Jesus Christ, the worst Laurel and Hardy I've ever seen. Back to Disney, it's like it's like... This choreography is where the Charlie Brown Christmas. Boom, 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 boom. We need Finally, more kazoo. A different kazoo. movie. <laughs> They're playing kazoos. <laughs> I want to work there. Yeah. Do you think the director just went into the music department and was like, what do we have that's royalty free? <laughs> Anything these junior high kids can play. The acrobatic yeah. robbery squad is almost Very ready. Good. Push them harder, though. The Bank of Holland job is only a month away. Goodness. Hey, girls, the chief wants to say hello. <laughs> good accent. The chief wants us. Here we are. <laughs> I thought she was talking to her tits. <laughs> hey. Huh? What's the excitement about? Oh I have no fucking oh, idea. <laughs> I know what I'm excited about. about. Oh, no, I think I know what my excitement is about. <laughs> Come on out, beautiful. My my monocle just fell out then. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Where were you keeping it? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> I tried to tell you. He said he's an old acquaintance. Uh, he sure knows me. He's the tax collector. Uh, put it this way, I'm collecting 
cash on the line. I knew it. <laughs> and if that's not super gleek, that's key up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it could be. <laughs> How did you find us? Easy. Uh, you really make a scene everywhere you go. I had a transmitter like that in the trunk of your car. Uh, a radio tracker. But have you seen any From bunch of men, grown men, running man. around in red tights? Not that I mistrust yeah, you. They live over there. It's just that I'm... I just followed the sound of kazoos. Yes. <laughs> Mind if I take this? I can hear the Foley no artist from five blocks away. If there's anything else we can do for you, just ask. <laughs> your bulletproof suits. And the man who made them. The FBI is very curious. And uh, mode. Uh, I wouldn't count on that, Drew. Mm -hmm. I'll leave you some souvenirs. Practice and be good now. Not this. It's for my mother. The brunette has great hairpiece. Mm. Ah. Can I famous kiss blue waffle. I'll see that. Get going. <laughs> I'm sorry, girls. Hmm. <laughs> what was that? I have no idea. I want to go to Italy now, though. Yeah. <laughs> I want to go to Italy then. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah right, yeah. Get that? Lord. She did I was watching this and I was like, I don't know anything about fall. Taekwondo. Is this what Taekwondo is this why people do Taekwondo? Is this Taekwondo? <laughs> is this spinning? Is that what they mean when they say they're spinning? Yeah. No, this is hot yoga. Hot yoga is what this is. Oh, yeah. this is hot yoga. Okay. Yeah. Pilates? Was that Pilates? I need to know. Don't worry, just admire the shape of your skull. Oh, balls. Fasten your safety belt. We're taking the freeway. What's happened? They tricked us. I'm they sure they must know. have taken off in another car. Then they must have been in that car. We passed a few the minutes driving ago. Cape. Two of you stay here. The rest with me. <laughs> I mean, English wear gloves, the Italians wear capes. Yeah. <laughs> right in that corner. Oh, they've arrived at the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know Cracker Barrel had valet parking. <laughs> now behave yourself, son. Papa will be right back. They do. It's getting the car back from the valet that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Syrup all over the steering Professor. wheel. Professor Stewart. Ah, Sir Anthony. Is he a mad scientist? Back to Nick. Yeah. I hope so. Ages. We found the theme again. <laughs> uh, had a good time. Nothing but hard work. Ah. Oh, he's the barber. Any news? Huh? Ah, yes. I talked with the Prime Little Minister. Professor. The British police have thoroughly tested your bulletproof suit and are quite pleased with the results. Inspector Nick has been we'll authorized to buy it. I'm ready to make as many as you need. We'll come to that. You see, we need you to help combat crime. The Ministry would like you to try to perfect your invention. Is there any way to fireproof the suits? Now, isn't that a coincidence? I was just testing a new type of suit when the two of you got here. Bad I scientist. killed several monkeys. Whoa. <laughs> oh, chitty, chitty, bang, bang. She'll be happy to find you here. Zizi, darling. It looks like Ralph Mouse drag racer. Mm -hmm. ah. The tea bucket. Trixie yes. speed racer. <laughs> I want to go to Italy. <laughs> I'm the colonel. <laughs> Wait, is that the general for Tony. Ahsoka? <laughs> yes. <At> yes, it <laughs> is. <laughs> oh, oh. Wow, that was a Easy. real slap. <laughs> you must excuse my niece. Sir she Anthony. put her entire Very back impossible. into that one. Yes, yes. Impulsive, but not stupid. She First you disappear for two months, and now you arrive all covered with lipstick. Well, that's not lipstick. That's a new dye we're trying out. Hmm. Oh, hit him again. Uh-huh, hit him again. 
Yeah. To think that I hadn't forgotten you for one moment. Stone's hot as your hand, and blue as your yes. eyes. It's been in the family for ages. It's as I cold as your heart. I'd give it only to a girl worthy of it. <laughs> Wait a minute, is oh, that? Darling, you don't know women very well. Am Brace I the only one that thinks right that that race. helmet is like the, like the, the safety heart. helmet with the, the siren well thing that the they, like in the 70s, they rebranded as Professor, allegedly Nick, Star Trek? Shall we get oh, down the to business? Oh, helmet? The bag, yeah. Inspector. Yeah. Mm. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Why are they playing the love theme? <laughs> I have a whole I have a whole chorus trapped in this suitcase. Sorry, fellas. I was held up, but I get out of trouble. With one finger. What's that mean? Who is this man anyway? Why are he's you wearing one of my suits? Coke? You might say he's an old friend. As a matter of fact, I'm not his friend. I'm his boss. At the ministry. How oh, nice of you to Very join us. to meet you. Won't the you guy doing the voiceover there is uh <laughs> Probably about 40 years older than the actor himself, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of it's like, like two people are no doing all the voices. Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. God, I was about to have wings in overload. So I told the guy at the car dealership, I want like twice as much front of a car than anything else. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you have something with a bit more grill. You have a car that's all front, just the front. Yes. Oh, they're in the dune buggy. They must be annoying. My boss wanted to meet you. I wanted to collect these dollars. I, I would insist that she keeps the helmet on. I interest on. you gentlemen to know, <laughs> after all your efforts, that these are the facts. But, but, but goggles up or down? Uh, I shouldn't should say keep this, it down at the end. But these dollars okay. have a yeah. lot of governments very worried. I want some eye protection. Exactly, yeah. Put your eye out, kid. It's already in circulation, including it was. the numbers. You mean duplicates? <laughs> you guys are talking about semen. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is not a boat-themed movie. <laughs> I bet we get a boat by the end of this. You suck my Now it's a game of operation. <laughs> Just as I feel. Professor, this is no time to play the Slightly radioactive. Craft. The banknotes are made by a universal reproducer. No bubbling, don't drink. What? A machine <laughs> no which can reproduce anything. They have every other Foley artist sound and effect here, but not bubbling. Yes. No. How dare no. they? Diamonds, We're spoiled for tropes. Absolutely anything. <laughs> Very Does a light bright count George, as a Tesla don't coil? Don't <laughs> the world into chaos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I see the hand of fate in all this. Because it was I who invented it. Oh, if you that remember. You invented fate? I worked on that project. <laughs> <and> <laughs> no, he invented the hand. And after I finished oh. it, I realized. <laughs> Ask Barbara about her light bright story after the movie. It's what a great oh, danger that machine could be to mankind. So I destroyed the Which plans. Which one? I was the only one who knew until just I now. only have but one. But you must have told someone. <laughs> well, I did it's, tell someone. It's worth it. My assistant, Professor Wilfred Gottlieb. Hmm. Uh, no, sorry, Tom. The nuts were in the previous Gottlieb scene. Gottlieb died that same day in an accident then. Well, we've, we've only gotten singular nuts. But there's a lot of singular nuts. We like I to dance with guns. With such a red face. It's like guys and dolls. They just came in. You were just guys idiotic and dolls. tricks. It's Bugsy Malone. Why, I oughta. <laughs> oh, Professor, you're not going to believe what I found. It's a Hmm. I wouldn't hmm. say so. Sarkis, check out the bag. She didn't say that. <laughs> Honey, if I had your split ends, I wouldn't be giggling at anybody. <laughs> Looks like that guy's got some Let's serious go. Robert England vibes. Just a second. Yeah, yeah, he does. Today's yeah. our lucky day. But, but it's not jacked Professor up. Professor Stewart, how nice to find you here. <laughs> oh, and to think that Phil we've Collins, for you maybe. for months. <laughs> Sweetie. <laughs> You're a very funny girl. He gives off a Pedro Pascal thing, but uh, but with like more testosterone, laugh. obviously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sarkis, also, we'd better give the Professor a ride. <laughs> and we'll take the girl, too. Quick. Scar? 
Move. He really do, he really does look like Robert England. Mm -hmm. You three over there. You know we get a ride. They're not saying any of these words. We never leave witnesses. They're saying things like tutti frutti, plinky plonky. That's far enough. Hey, I hope you're a good shot <laughs> and a good trip. Now, unpress. Wow. Nice. Take it to the Get car. Ready for some giggling. That More makes trampling. up for the lack of bubbling. More trampolines. What will we ever do? <laughs> Just when you expected a trampoline, you got a trap door. There Boy, does that guy hate his throwing in this? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, we've got giggling. Yep. We've got giggle. We've got giggle. Are you a villain? I will take Do you need ride. durable headwear? Just for Fiona. Here we go. Someone come on the back of the house. I sent two men. Oh, oh. <laughs> We've got to open this trap door. I don't think there's a way from up here. <laughs> You cannot stand on it. Like you <laughs> this is fucking music. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh, we got him to kill his friend. <laughs> Laughing, had sex with the Incredibles. Pretty good show. Come on. Let's get him. Damn, they blew the back of the car off. The music you hear when I get dressed for work <laughs> is a lot more modeling. <laughs> Here, get in quick. We'll never catch him in that bucket Pull of balls. Pull the lever, Trump. Pull the Pull this fucking... We forgot to leave him. Which one's got ZZ? Better split up. I'll take that cab. Follow them. <laughs> Which one's got Linguini? I'll front, Nick. I owe you a spaghetti dinner. This Which this looks like a cup to me from It's a Mad, Mad, Mad World. Hey, what are you saying? He said take the cab. Well, I found my sexy time music anyway. <laughs> Hello, Casey Kasem. <laughs> Gotta talk about a fucking dog dying and then bah, 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 bah. one of the three supermen is following you in a yellow cab. Over. We'll take our film over and out. I love how occasionally everybody goes, one of the three supermen are following them. Yeah, I like that too. Good. Nice. The bazooka, up bazooka. Cannot, it cannot perforate a car door? What the fuck is that? Thing? It's an Italian bazooka. Also, the reloads are awfully fast on that thing. No wonder Germany walked all over him. <laughs> over a soft top. That's right, I've never been given them. That was a pose. Take me to your leader. Never. <laughs> <laughs> when someone dresses up and says, take me to your leader, you know shit has gone sideways. <laughs> what the shades of him and everything. <laughs> Where'd the others go? Speak to the poor. 
Oh. 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 Mr. Bean. <laughs> What? Whoa! What just happened? I saw this coming. <laughs> Holy negative Wait. scratches. Liquid wow. metal. Okay. Liquid polymimetic <laughs> metal. <laughs> hey! And then Archie and hey, Jumphead no. show up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, who saw that coming in the chat? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was somewhat better than the effects in the flash, but uh At that speed, they're gonna end up in the water. Roasted by what? These weapons don't do anything. At least tell me there was a toy line. Right? Uh, if there is, I haven't found it yet. Greg, see Captain Jalopy. Now oh, they've driven into the Waterworld set. Somebody <laughs> wake up Dennis Hopper. <laughs> He's gonna fucking hit something. <laughs> Joke's on you, that was just some poor bastard's home. I'll get the boat. The bow. Then they ran around and kept running. The one guy got tired. All these islands. Just how did you happen to pick this one? My instinct. Some they instinct. all went to lunch and so felt better. Mighty light up. How the hell am I supposed to walk with these ridiculous suckers on my feet? Hey, oh. I bought these at Walmart. Tired already? These FBI men can't even walk. Come on, snail. Now you'll see how fast the FBI can move. Olive Garden's on me. I sure hope there's no problems with the toilets. Is this someone's secret base? Is it their house? Where are we? Hurry up, guys. Last one there has to eat the sock. <laughs> the Italian version of Icky Cookie. Huh. Hey, that's pretty deep. Now, what do they need a boat for? Not there. What do they need a turnstile for? Yeah, what is, <laughs> what, what, what is this place? <laughs> well, there, there was a there was a brass plaque that I didn't get a chance to read. So I'm guessing this is like some... I think you said riders need to be this height or more. Oh, it could be, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Keop. Wait in the boat. It was the exact change. <laughs> you said bring your own sock. <laughs> Those suckers allowed on your feet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I would leave this to come up. Finally, an Ivory Coast film. This is what I always wanted the whole time. <laughs> Where's Anthony Hopkins? You Grant. Come on up. Oh, Drew is right. If they come back out and their boat has disappeared, we've suddenly crossed over into another movie oh boy. we've already seen. You do not fucking want that either. Ooh, <laughs> no. Boy, oh boy. Look at this partially constructed pallet raft. What the hell is going on here? And we're more than seven minutes in the broadcast, so I can safely say, fuck that movie, 
Fuck that movie in its ass. <laughs> Oh, does this mean the movie's over? All right. Who are you? What, what are you is doing here? Happening? Well, a friend of ours. Clearly, oh, we're the Supermen. Did fire. you not what? listen to your children? We come to the wrong island. Oh, they wandered into Angelina Costume Jolie's party house. in the morning. I'm afraid you must have landed on the wrong island. Incidentally, what are you advertising? A new mini yeah. case? This is her little catalogue. <laughs> she just chooses what she wants to keep. Yay! Yeah, I take one of those. One of those. Um, what this one paid? What what kind of a, what kind of men are these? She just mocked your cape. <laughs> they visited the Oliver Reed School for Children he fathered. Hey FBI. So now we're leaving. I've got the feeling I've yeah. seen that girl somewhere before. Drew, the name of that well, place is Genital Warts. <laughs> we still don't know where the professor is by now. Gentile Warts. Better call in the FBI. <laughs> okay, copper, hold your fire. All you want is to find that reproducer and make a few more FBI agents like you. Want to well, grab a selfie? Just forget about it, buddy. Mm. Mm. Oh. They're Are women, you not you're reproducers. For the because of humanitarian reasons. Okay, let's make a pact. You keep the FBI out of this, and we'll give you a hand. And if we find the reproducer. We'll draw for it. Man oh, Vex, man. wait till you see the shirtless scene early in this movie. Yeah, Vex, you missed some beefcake. Let me just say, you want the guy on the left to change. And you want to put kitty litter on your chair before you watch it. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Oh. <laughs> that insane. man wasn't just beefcake, he was a whole bakery. It's a dude. Oh, no, it's not. I'm talking uh, about well, there's still time. <laughs> yeah. No one needs to know. <laughs> the new iPhone 1. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't have a camera. <laughs> you guys, just kidding. I don't keep books in a safe. Duh. Auto washer. They brought their own now, Roy Orbison. You're in for a surprise. <laughs> hey, right, I hope they die. Going on? <laughs> Let's watch him die. I hope that they die. Go <laughs> I don't know, but they got the they got the soundtrack from the local funeral home. I wouldn't want to be put in there. Island of the Goblin Children. Can't you see that it's an elevator? I'm sure that they've got a nice room outfit, downstairs. I know. I was gonna say I'm glad That's I'm not the only one who had to wear that as a kid. I want to go see my mommy. <laughs> I'm wearing it now. Feel. <laughs> <laughs> it's a one piece? What the fuck is going on in Italy? <laughs> she really has a thing for light green. Yeah? Or do the kids have to like change their outfits every time she changes so that it color coordinates? <laughs> that sounds more like yeah, Just people and stuff. The yeah. whole city hidden underground. Oh. Kind of look behind. White you. pants. That tunnel is again? four miles long. Oh, it leads a mile extra. Oh, oh my God! So he escaped Casablanca. He made it to <laughs> Raymond Burr. Needs quite a lot of it. Does this mean Godzilla's nearby? <laughs> you did well. Actually. First of all, you dealt very Slouse cleverly Green with those Street super over fast, here. and on top of that, you even managed to bring my dear old friend Professor Stewart here. But oh, I, I don't intend know to you. eat. <laughs> you mean you don't recognize me? I'm Wilfred Gottlieb. Gottlieb. I've let myself go. <laughs> I wanted to disappear, so I glad someone else was talking in the back of my car. In July, plots are hatched here. Big bone, damn it, big bone. I'm suspected as Wilfred Golem, a millionaire philanthropist. I see. That's too bad. I'm a little lad's friend. Journalists from the European press are waiting for you at the Grand Hotel. They want to visit the Institute. You seem to be a race. Grand Admiral Thrawn, hold my beer. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> one you for green, but what, yeah, about Robert, one green. what about Robert England in the back, though? What about him? 
This is the control room. I'm General the Zod. Five years of hard That's work the same security guy in the background from the last mm -hmm. one. He gets to do a different Come pose in this room, though. Yeah. Now let me show you. This is the general scheme of the complex. We are directly it's the below cartoon. the Golem Beneficent Foundation, which you saw when you landed on the island. Golem? This is the secret elevator, the control room, and the underwater tunnel. And here is the elevator, which goes up to the power station on another island. And this is the Separate snack minute. bar. <laughs> so, so it's the one show. thing to reveal your master oh plan to the base. But no, no, I have a full color-coded automated oh chart to reveal. Let's Looks like a In case you're thinking of escaping, I would find that this path is probably the optimal way. Let's Next to the gift shop. Up big boy. <laughs> that guy is like Beatnik took up pottery back there. <laughs> My God, they've, they've taken my floor technology and deployed it for evil use. The real McCoy. In July, they were all from a single original <laughs> Here's another In July. Not every July. This is real That's a place where home. bullion grows. I can double or triple it whenever I like. <laughs> Obviously, I'm already the richest man in the world, and you may be Obviously. wondering why I'm continuing. Well, I might as well tell you. <laughs> Is the ambassador of Shimashia, the country which financed this whole operation. As you can see, we are now being repaid. Shimushia will soon Oso's dominate dad, the world. dad, like his son's so going to grow sure up to be a gay with us, right Professor Stewart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and here's where they literally shit gold. You want to see what's <laughs> on the other side of the curtain? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I changed my mind. <laughs> Too late. You can't I'm unsee late. it. Look at this. Because of your humanitarian delusions, you've never given yourself the pleasure of seeing the universal reproducer work. I think it's a, a salad girl, bar. It's a girl that got kicked out of the Go Go's. How does it feel to see your reproducer? She went, went. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'll show it to you in action. Right. Same guy. No, they're oh, cloning him here too. They are. <laughs> here in my car. Oh. <laughs> so. Yes. He's a very shit goldfinger, isn't he? Mm -hmm. He's not. He's not the best. More of a gold toe. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot get over how Goldfinger wanted to watch James Bond's junk melt, like. What the fuck? What is wrong with you? I told you It'll be your balls first, Bond. Of course I approved it. But basically, it's Why? the universal reproducer you designed, and it's a great machine. Get he was just it. working with what he had. <laughs> <laughs> the laser was going to go in that direction. Anything perfectly just to, with one exception, you know. the human <laughs> Look body. It. It's like, this is all business, nothing personal, but I am going to melt your penis while you die screaming. <laughs> I turned him into a tiny drum circle. Of real men, and until it can turn off perfect ones, the reproducer need more is gone. Now, you're the only man who knows every secret of this machine. Don't count on me. <laughs> you're a stubborn old man, but you've got a very pretty niece. So get to work, Stuart. It would be a shame if you never saw her again. Veiled threat. <laughs> It's a very neat beard. Let's stop. We've been chugging around these islands like a flock of tourists. Well, you're oh, the you one got these guys are here. The embassy. That's where it all began. All right. That's exactly where we're going. What? We're 30 miles out of town. Are we walking back? Make a taxi for the gentleman. <laughs> Those things break in the uh, automatic Happy car life. wash. Oh, yeah. Gotta make sure there's a Here we go. You know, it doesn't really feel that zany. Like, I think you're turning it on a bit soon. I think that may be their car the there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna hold those fools in their cars. Remember as long where as we possible. parked? They'll burn like a big pile of hay. 
Or a headstand. Look at that escargot! <laughs> 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 That's why we put it on everything. Doc, your head's unprotected. <laughs> Next lock's in the trunk. He's safer than we are. Wouldn't go that far. Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> it is Harry Potter. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's go! I was like, oh, it's sexy. That <laughs> train's going in a tunnel. Give me coming back up. B. O. M. B. He thinks we're the bomb. Out. That's sweetheart. <laughs> Stop. It's ridiculously comical. Some pineapple. I guess the day you can get a little bomb. Never have one. Yeah, I was gonna say. Never have one of those days when you see get rid of a bomb. <laughs> yeah. Cathode ray input. Add uh, five volts. The fire alarm is like right at ear level. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I think the music added a lot of tension to that scene, Jamal Lama. Dude, super is an incredibly broad term in this movie. <laughs> I've never Good. felt so super it's in gone. my life. I only hope you realize I love how they put the big time. fucking cord I'm coming out of that it. machine going go through the wall. What yeah. As an electrician, I appreciate that. How did she get in? They must have stolen Astrid's laser compact from her desk drawer upstairs. Put her on the stand. Must have stolen the pants. Good job. Put her on the stand. She's just a kid. Let's make more of her. I don't know. Big fake people makes it more authentic. Now, wow. show her what she'll look like in 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You had four kids. You did meth in your 20s. It's the Brie Larson's audition tape. So, if it's a clone, is it still illegal? <laughs> I'm uh, asking for a friend. Oh. One test isn't enough. What? It would be a shame not to give all these beautiful children a chance. See? <laughs> Ew. Where's this going? <laughs> Somewhere very dark. I'm going to the bar card. I'll be right back. I brought two buckets. Yes, I agree. You should just burn this thing Take it down. Easy. Take it easy. What happened? A uh, fire's burned out the embassy of Shimushir. Keep moving. What a coincidence. Burned up. That's the way they operate. They don't leave any evidence. Uh, I'm not sure I got it. Oh, come on. I just spent five minutes trying to explain it to you. Never mind him. We've got all the kids in the basement, but the Collins boy is missing. You've got to bring him back. But where do we find him? Idiot. Where the hell do you think? With his mother at Greencastle. <laughs> From one idiot to another. Thank you.
didn't say, Mr. Golem. It must have involved a tremendous amount of work for you to put it up. Yes, it's the it all new great Hindenburg. pleasure, Mr. Golem, that we journalists join I His Excellency the any Ambassador with my in acknowledging you as a great industrialist and philanthropist. <laughs> He's still got the price tag on his suit. Oh, wait. Mr. Golem, one more. With many pearls? <laughs> The Island of Smiles included on the program. I was just about to ask, are you going to let us visit your foundation? Of course, my dear. I'll be glad to show it to you later in the day. Oh. Carlos Botia will give you all the data. This time there are only small bills. I think, I think oh. Jay's being coxed, by the way. To pass oh, no! Oh, yeah. I won't have anything right, to do back. with this anymore. He's, uh, give me he's back knocking at the door son. to come back in. He's been blackmailing me for months. <laughs> Holding him on that island. I feel confident oh. that anything I missed oh. explains oh. nothing. Do as you're told if you want yeah. to see him again. <laughs> Look, I said I was going to the bar and left. The captain, Natasha. You're not going to believe this, but in the five minutes you were gone, there were pirates and giraffes. I believe all of that. I believe that none of it made sense. That's not the foundation. Right door. Yeah, that was like the most dangerous part to climb out of. <laughs> well, it has the hook to hang his suit jacket on, so it's fine. <laughs> Look, guys, I only saved one of Come the here, kids, you. okay? I got tired. We can make more. But then he committed suicide, Watch out! so. Yeah. <gasps> I hope there's a trampoline Help! there. It's Italy. There have to be trampolines everywhere. Help me! And discarded sandwiches. I'll go. And a lot of hats and capes. Jeremy! Jeremy! Fall on me, young man. It'll kill us both. Hey, wait a minute. They definitely watched what Batman. The... Yeah. <laughs> My 1966 Batman movie just showed up. I hope this is an egghead episode. He was the best. Look, at Racerhead, at least you can leave. I'm stuck here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hold on tight. <laughs> Robert England comes now, through in the go, end. Little man. You scared? A little bit, Superman. Can I have a pair of shoes like yours? If you told you, you have to use the quotations when you say Superman. You ever run away again. <laughs> I hadn't seen my mother Superman with two O's. Time. That's right. All right. <laughs> have you ever seen a Steve Reed movie? Oh. No! No! You're by the crowd! Get Don't that man away from no. my child! Now! It's wacky again. Now they have to fight to the death. Two men enter, one man leaves. It's fun being evil. Now I'm going to go play bass for the Who. Well. <laughs> A little runaway. <laughs> you then had for five English pounds. <laughs> <laughs> I want them all reproduced at once. Everything must be ready in half an hour. Yes. I always thought Kippers was thinner. Oh, cool. <laughs> He's eating kippers, I think. All oh. your best inventions have changed hands. I lied. There's no box lunch for any of you. Hello, second. <laughs> find it very interesting to watch. Ordinarily, we use our closed circuit TV to check the operation of the power station, but today we've got a more exciting show. It's more. You know more. all the stars, don't you? Ooh. Turn on the sound. Well, hello. Someone call <laughs> Fiona quick. Bex. Where's Bex? Bex? Bex, you're missing the beef. Three minutes of seesaw. I don't know where it's going. Astrid, what are you doing there? Have you forgotten the party we're getting for the, the lingerie, but Go and tell them that we put off the visit to the Island of Smiles until tomorrow. 
They can wait a minute. Well, hurry up. Her master's voice. That's enough. Well, you talk too much. I think I'll put a little extra weight in your pretty cape. So we'll be sure you stay That's on the bottom and cape. we won't have to hear your oh, voice yeah. again. This is getting weird. Comfortable? Yeah. Oh, well, not bad. It's just a bit tight around the collar. Why'd you turn it off, Astrid? Anything yeah, wrong? why? <laughs> oh, it's fine. My plan always goes uh, well. I don't need to watch oh, I'm this. I'm afraid it'd make you blush. Astrid, what's the matter? Did you switch it off? Oh, I expect Astrid. you to die, Mr. Beefcake. Short circuit. Well, bon voyage. <laughs> I hope you right. appreciate my having brought you a chrysanthemum. It seemed to fit the occasion. Gee, do you think there's a key in that? Mm. Um. <laughs> uh, oh, no. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> That's us, awesome. dude. Enjoy what you do. You never work a day in your life. <laughs> I love this guy. Who? <laughs> uh, who farted in the tub? Uh, Try to get in touch with Sarkis. They're gonna have to close that pool and drain oh, it. Oh yeah, they're gonna clean it out now. <laughs> yep. Let's see. If only they had more baskets around. She goes for the dogs. They can't hear you over there. Then fix it. And be quick about it. If the ropes were long enough for them to get to the surface <laughs> without lifting the weights, why didn't they just swim the fuck to the surface? <laughs> <laughs> no, this music answers it. Marco Polo! That's how those three guys get out of Yeah, guys. Oh, Vex. Now let's pose. Pose. Uh, give me a trampoline step. Yep, they all went in this room all of a sudden. Beefcake's got his shirt off. What? Let's all go see. Uh, inner is shrinkage, okay? I don't like artichoke. I... My cock loves me. My cock loves me not. <laughs> We're not going to do the whole flower, are we? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need a bigger drink. Uh, oh. Mr. Golem. <laughs> I'm rubbing. It is kind of funny. Get him, Robert England. Just, just cut it there. Just hard cut. It. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> All right. The only passage way to get back here is by the safe on the island. Can you open the safe? Only Golem and Astrid have the laser to open it. Uh, Astrid is that, he in this as well? <laughs> Can I get even move here? It. <laughs> we'll worry about the laser. You, Brad, Only cut off asteroids. the electricity. Sarkis will show us the way out, then he'll lead you to the main switch. The Let's secret the to becoming a Superman? Them. Jesus. Get me something to put on, and don't pull any of your smart tricks. And get me some oil. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he meant. Dude, could you change the tape in your car, please? We have been listening to this for like four hours, all right? I love this song. I brought Beastie Boys license to Ill. You just scoffed at it. The eight track collections are very limited in Italy. Nowadays, they all get brittle. I don't know why Spotify here, keeps so recommending this song to me. I don't care how you do it, but find them and get rid of them. And the kids? I don't need you to get rid of them. Get going. Hurry. Move it, Favreau. Mr. Golem. Do you 
mean you want to kill the children? Is that why you reproduce them? I believe the children are the future. By this time, those children have seen Teach part them of well. much. Let them so far, I've gone along with you, Mr. Golem. You to kill but your them. sadism you is revolting. Let those children go unharmed. Because well, I enjoy I killing them. Go. I can do this every day. Well, I enjoyed the reproduction. It <laughs> was the children that we were no unfortunate. Need, she <laughs> sit oh. here and tell me you weren't thinking this kind of thing. <laughs> the penguin's dead. <laughs> they have like five people voicing this guy? No. <laughs> it would appear so. Starting to think they just stole uh, lines from other movies and there. patched it together. Harvey, cut the power. <laughs> hey, you got my people. Nice Yay. to see you. <laughs> you can't I've been sleep. here for an hour and a half. You know just as much as I do about what the hell is going on. Uh, the good guys laugh. That's really all you need to know. Well, no, the bad guy laughed. Yeah, the bad guys laughed. God damn it. Everyone laughed. <laughs> oh no, are we going to have two beefcakes? Santa do. <laughs> what was the point of that? <laughs> you got here oh. the time coming, people. Finally, a better movie. To uh, Mr. Brown's house. The fashion show was a great idea. A really magnificent party. Much better than everything else we've seen so far. <laughs> oh, they're screwed now. Ladies and gentlemen, we hope that you have enjoyed this evening's fashion show. Let me remind you, you didn't, that this attraction was done solo. to call your attention oh, no, once again to the humanitarian <laughs> goal of the Global Beneficent like Foundation for some, uh, some Thank you. Carbonite there. <laughs> wow, that is... Uh, well, that's um, <laughs> that the, the dress that um, was worn in Austin Powers, I think. I'm what would you like with your meal? Oh, how about a Jenna giant Scott. liter of uh, Isn't vodka? Funny? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Bad news. Oh, oh, no. and Rossi, a little bit more uh, product placement there. I didn't see the name there before. Yeah. I, I. I think maybe this movie was brought to you by That's that. Nice. Uh, and Johnson yeah. and Johnson. <laughs> and Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, I caught that earlier. I just couldn't stay away from it. My great hope is Shall that at some dance. point there's a racing car with the martini colors on it. Okay, let's go. It was hard to ignore you in that dress made out of nickels. <laughs> She's cosplaying as a trout. Oh, well, I moves. Everybody, let's dance while the ship goes down. We. Yeah. I'll dance with the hat rack. Enjoy yourself. You don't think you'll make it out of here alive. Be good, honey. You wouldn't like your guests to know the truth, would you? Just listening to a different song. Whoa. Uh, I told you. Okay, where's this going? Well, remember, those are the girls from the Superman's yeah, oh, yeah. This is Taekwondo the studio. Yeah. Go back. All these chumps are going down. Here comes the million eyes of Subaru. <laughs> Pockets. Now he got the remote for the uh, for the safe. iPhone one beta. Yeah. All right, guys. Now we show up our clothes. Hey. I guess. Are you already tired of dancing with me? Hmm? Right. Nope. Yep. You're boring. Uh, my mistake. I'm not tired. 
Hey, come on, gang. Hey, hey, what's going on here? You guys going crazy? Oh. <laughs> oh, shit, no trampoline. It's just like a lamb. Pull the rug out from under you. Ha 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 ha. Come in. Quick. I like In that. Italy, there are hot ladies behind every door. Yes. <laughs> That's what they want you to think in the brochure. I'm Jimmy's mother. Oh. Would Jimmy like a brother? <laughs> then you get there and you find out there aren't doors anywhere. <laughs> Hello there. I brought a couple of friends who wanted to meet up with you. Wait till you hear what they've got to tell you. Your lights are on. <laughs> ah, come on. They only pull that stuff in the movies. You gotta watch. You and this is no movie. Down. Exactly. Yeah, seconds. Uh, no, this is boy. much more like a fever dream. Five, four. Three, two, ah! I told him to get out of the way. He didn't even scratch the grill. His death is not on my hands. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. <laughs> Mr. Golem. That's what you get for exposing yourself. <laughs> Astrid just called. Those two have swiped the laser. They're going to the power station. Shall I give the alarm? There's no need. Sorry, Let's just take care of them. Let's just throw children at them. <laughs> Perfect job. Put them in the child cannon. It in. <laughs> so hard. <laughs> the child Gatlin gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just belt feed children for it. <laughs> I thought this thing shot t shirts. Off you go. Oh, God. Good, good kids. <laughs> well, it does, but they're occupied. <laughs> Who wants a t-shirt <laughs> and a child to go with it? Free child with every t-shirt. Auschwitz. It was better dressed than you thought. <laughs> oh my God. Well <laughs> yes, we went there. <laughs> Welcome back, Barbara. <laughs> I took the train. Oh. Yes, Drew. I think um, just the lights. It's fine. I think like triples. <laughs> the kids not understand. He's enjoying you begging. I thought I heard footsteps, but there's no one here. What you need to yeah. do is turn around and be like, "I hope he doesn't let us out." <laughs> I didn't want to be out anyway. Tony, I got away, but they caught your friend. Those aren't real kids do at all. Do something, or he's going to be murdered. Was she in the Spice Girls? Yeah. Should have been. Easy, darling. Where We're here now. Well, ask him. He just tasted Everything's it. Everything's going to be all right. <laughs> it's whiny spice. We just have to find yeah. the safe. <laughs> Don't Come you worry, me. Ellen DeGeneres. Like... We're going to get you that snow <laughs> back. <laughs> yeah, Everyone's going to like you this time. He doesn't have suction cups like the other two. His strength in that suit should be quite enough. I'll have bodyguards no one can ever stand up. Bodyguards. It's so Mr. We can make Incredible, a whole army of supermen it. with a reproducer. <laughs> I mean, of all the movies to rip off, this By one. I know our beautiful really? copy of ZZ will have taken care of the other two. Yeah, they didn't think anyone would have seen it. <laughs> no, they were right. What's that? He's gonna listen to some ZZ Top. ZZ right. Top, yeah. He was yeah. like, I, "You like ZZ? I like ZZ. Certainly better than what they get it on their Spotify." Yeah. You know, everything before Afterburner, though. That 80s oh. show. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's there. <laughs> it's impossible. His car is on the right. And the skull and the copy is on the left. It's impossible. 
It doesn't have a brain to clone. <laughs> How on earth could it happen? I don't understand. Why now I'm leaving mistake? Earth for no reason. Quick, take their shirts off and compare them so that Vex can have additional material. <laughs> Ladies always come first. Oh, well. Oh, well. In my house. Not in my experience. <laughs> A considerate lover, we give him that. <laughs> what she didn't let him finish what he was going to say is if they expect to come at all. Yes, it is that hot yoga we were talking about. <laughs> you get an orgasm, and you get an orgasm. <laughs> Quick, someone get my mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> Got a great idea. You gonna give your well, mother in law an orgasm? No. <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, okay. A bracelet can change wrists, but not a beauty mark, and this one had both on the right side. Hey. I, I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah. He had kind of, he had kind of a knowing. Yeah. He, re he realized that that wasn't the real whoever the yeah. hell because it yeah. also she, was a reverse. The real copy. Whitey Spice. I found yeah. out what went yeah. wrong. The polarization filter is gone. Without it, the reproducer makes images like any ordinary mirror would, reversed. I'm sorry, the details are so scanty. They need a Jeff Goldblum to teach the computer how to <laughs> love the yeah. life. Absolutely. I was waiting for this moment. Where'd you hide that filter? cheeseburger? Answer, I'll kill you. <laughs> Where? Over there. Meanwhile, in Harry Potter's I'm room. I'm afraid that it will take three years or even more to build this is another. the worst one. Harry Potter movie ever. Your dreams of glory are gone, Gold. Or the best. No! <laughs> Actually. <laughs> that one with the tents was pretty crappy. <laughs> Oh, right in the nerds. Yeah. Gollum, it's no good killing those children. They're well, I didn't not kill them. I shot them in the balls. You're not I told you Dumbledore nothing, died you? on page 583. Pull the lever, Kronk. <laughs> Attention. This is a red alert. Intruders in the tunnel. They have taken the car and are approaching the control room. I repeat, this is a red alert. Intruders in the tunnel. It's like a Wonka lot. Oh, you totally oh. could have made that. Definitely could have made it. <laughs> Thank God we took out our bulletproof cape. Oh, it's John We're going to do a Chippendale thing now. Yeah, John Wick stole this too. This is terrible. This whole movie has basically been John Wick 2. Let's put our suits on. The money machine is waiting for us. But yeah. with a lot more Foley action. Back. Very cool the soundtrack. Go and kill. <laughs> Brad! Oh. And you brought a chorus. <laughs> Uh, I've been hoping someone would do that. Ooh, that's, that's a choice. Ooh, you better back up, guys. I've been into hot yoga. Exactly. I'm not sure sticking your pinky out in the fight is the best way to But it is if you don't like that pinky. Two brads? I'm in heaven. <laughs> It's nice that the cloud is out. Whatever you do, don't hit someone with a Well, they've been, they've been, they've been yeah, cloning exactly. gold bullions, so. Superman copy number one to the door. Superman copy number two to the door. 
I'd offer to give you a plot synopsis, common people, but it would take longer than the actual running. I, I, I would relish that uh, synopsis <laughs> of the plot. Your friends haven't got a chance. I can make hundreds of copies of you. In a few hours, they'll be frozen to death. <laughs> I miss Jim's comment. Ah, oh, you're poor. Here we go. Oh, that's right. They couldn't reproduce the suction cups because Homeboy took them off. They did not make one of these sets for this group. They did. They did not. They've already used it. They did it also with the kid on the uh, on the alleged tower. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Well, but that's a rotating room. I mean, we haven't seen a rotating room, right? Or it's a deep room. Right? It's kind of hard to I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure he actually rotated. I think uh, oh, okay. cut there. I thought he wrote. I thought we saw. It. No. 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 Oh. Oh, nice back shot. What's a man without nipples on his feet? Oh, no. Oh, my God. My internet got Harvard's computer. Somehow your cocks infected your well, oh, I just sent her the pigs. <laughs> That's how I want to die. Oh, yeah. It was just Barbara's battery in her laptop. Oh, right. man. I was hoping those kids would die. Hi. <laughs> There's still time. <laughs> Don't give up hope. <laughs> jumping bean. What's the matter with you guys? Jumping bean. Jumping bean. So what? That's a well, slur. It means you're the real one. <laughs> Off you go, kids. Out there, it's warmer. Only Hurry. the real one would hate Mexican people that much. Hey, Jimmy, listen, kid. We're very yeah, grateful. Tell to your mother I hope know. to see her again soon. Yeah. I rent with an option to buy. <laughs> <laughs> Three-year warranty. Ah, we headed them off at the pass. And machine washable. That's a new feature. Hmm. Here's a contraption that got us into all this. But <laughs> oh, we do not need to reproduce him. No. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. Trust me, folks. What? You want to give you five to minutes before work? you go in there, okay? <laughs> Close the door for all of us, huh? Professor Stewart, we thought you were well, actually not. the one well, gassing the children. On one of the new suits when they kidnapped me, and nobody gave me time to change. <laughs> My friend's asking if you'd be willing to fix it. <laughs> no, I won't. And I'm going to destroy it. Your monstrous creation will disappear, Gollum. Don't, don't do it! Stop, Professor! Good. Surprise, motherfuckers! Oh, he's got a wrench. He must be a moderator. Gollum was a Gollum. They must have reproduced themselves when I came to get you after I freed the kids. Then they got away with ZZ, the passageway. Eraserhead, I have to write descriptions for all these fucking Which way? Things. This way! I'll show you. Not a good time. Very soon. All right. No, let go of me! Let go of me! <laughs> Our monetization oh, is under Daddy, review. Help me! As my old dad used to say, jumping beans! <laughs> Time you could leave them at Patreon. Professor, you stay here with the children. Hero stick. Hurry yes. up, kids. Come here. Hurry up. Hurry up. Yes, everyone in the elevator shaft. Let Hurry, go children. Me, you beast. Hurry. How's the weather up there, FBI? I knew what you meant. I saw you before you woke up this morning. My estate now. <laughs>
Barbara's what about back. the girl? We can use her as a hostage until we take off. Just don't worry about her. All right, Sarkis. You hear me, Adam? Adam? the helicopter. It won't take off. I'll get rid of useless weight. Adam? <laughs> coming. Oh. Coming. Look, I'm multitasking over here, right? Well, blood Bab's in, then you can multitask with the other hand. <laughs> yeah. Not so funny, is it? Another turnstile? Oh. Spoiled by architecture. See if there's a way out. Kick him again. Yeah. <laughs> there is a way this out. The permanent way out. If we live a little during these things, really. There's a lot of looters. Kangaroo. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lighter that puts out more flame than that. Yeah, me too. Ball on ball. He did spend some money here. Let's get them jumping. A little wobbly, in. but he is a black he was injured on that bridge, though. From now on, he wears a prescription pants. <laughs> Beggar back in the whole tent. Gonna trip over whoever the hell's laying back there. Yep. Here he goes. Oh, shit. Oh, oh. why didn't they put a wall on screen? Symbolism, back. ladies and gentlemen. Oh, call back. <laughs> and we're back to Kazoo's. Magnificent job. The Federal <laughs> Bureau. Look at that. It's a certain, there's a certain correctness with the FBI and Kazoo's. And there's Kissinger. By the way, where have they gone? R.I.P. Kissinger. Uh -huh. yeah. Disappeared. <laughs> I think they were rather disappointed with the outcome of the operation. There's no dollars. And they lost the money-making machine. After all, don't forget oh, that we did grant them an for the Pentagon. You mean his ass fell off? Yeah. 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 Oh, no. Wait, he blew up the outside of the door, but not the inside? <laughs> Never the right week. <laughs> Trampoline is an invasive plant in the United States. Come on, forget it. Just let them go. It'd be the wrong kind of publicity for the Bureau if we made too much fuss about this. Feel free to box all the facts that you want. Yeah, you don't want anyone disliking the FBI. Fakes. <laughs> Let's make sure innocent people pick them up and spend them. Yeah. There are an awful lot of dollars just waiting to be stolen, if you know how. So. Uh, <laughs> <whoa. laughs> uh, I, thought, I thought the weirdness had peaked and then... No, 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 no. no. <laughs> That's how I feel. Fine. 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 <laughs> Uh, the I, I think that's optimistic. <laughs> I think that's optimistic. They just put that in there to sway the critics. It's oh, all fine. My. This is fine. <sighs> no, it's not. Goodness. Well, I mean, where do you even begin?
Oh, man. I blame you, Adam. That's where I begin. <laughs> Listen. I yeah. had fun. Yeah. Right. How would you describe that to people? I mean, I mean James uh, Bond meets Batman 66 meets the weird bits from The Prisoner meets Carry On movies. <laughs> yeah, it's like... If, yeah, if, you, if you took it, it's a mad, 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 mad world and you, and you mixed it up with Batman 66 and then you just assign random... Oh, songs Amelia. from the, oh, the public Amelia. domain library. You have I wish to watch this conversation we were having yeah. had that song, you know, like <laughs> I, how would you just how would you describe that movie? I, I, well, see, I can't choose because the no, it's either that or it's a kazoo song. The kazoo song should also be playing when we're talking. Oh, it yeah. is still in my head. It finally replaced the music from Hell's a Poppin'. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm not sure I can get out of that. You know, pop, 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 pop. That, that's just no. Yeah, it's like they took acid. Yeah, <laughs> and they put a Benny Hill and, and then put a Benny Hill soundtrack on top. Yeah. Of it. All right. Look, did they? Did they? This, this could actually like save you stuff. a lot of money in illegal drugs if you just watch <laughs> this movie and maybe a little side of Hell's a Poppin'. You don't need to actually drop the acid. It comes to you. It, it's right there. Did they just get three guys who knew how to jump and leap around and then make yeah. a film around them? Or did they have a script and then hired three guys that could fit the role? I think they, they had... has a trampoline dealership. I can get an <laughs> awesome discount. <laughs> I mean, I grew, I grew up with a with a big trampoline, so I'm in. But the, the thing is, I think there's only two that can actually jump. Big Boy <laughs> does not do the trampoline. Wait a second. So much, Go please. back. Were you raised in a no, circus? No, no, the... The laughing guy does almost all the trampoline work. And my theory about how this movie was made is like there was like a family reunion barbecue. And they were like watching this guy jump around on trampoline and giggle his ass off. And they were like, you know, this is oddly fun to watch. Mm -hmm. We should make a movie around this. This is compelling. <laughs> and they sobered up and realized they'd already signed the contract. <laughs> too late. Too late. We've I'm already shot the first few scenes. <laughs> Uh, I'm really sorry for the bad news, but uh, yeah, watch the replay because this oh, was yeah, oh, sorry. This out there for us. This was yeah. uh, no again. Common, you started too late. No, you didn't. You could have started from the beginning. You're in the same yeah. place we are. The <laughs> hell just happened. Yeah. yeah, no idea what's happening. None. Yeah. Um, I hate that little monkey boy guy. Um, yeah, 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 he was overbite. Oh, yeah, that's a horrible was... dub. That's a horrible dub. <laughs> like that was that would be the first guy not to be invited to the party. Wow. Oh, danger. I, I, I liked his yeah. fashion sense though. You know, yeah, like, diabolic, very close. The string <laughs> tie. The string tie is an interesting choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh men out of tights, even big beefy mm -hmm. men yeah. big, out big of sweaty men's with no ones to turn to but each other. Yeah. There's some there's wild ass shirtless shirtless man action in this movie. There's more man skin in this movie than there is uh, lady skin for sure. Yeah, I mean that that guy yeah. alone is like three women's worth of skin anyway. Yeah, not I, modern I have... women. Not not modern women. They put in movies. No, no. Then he maybe like half a Lizzo. He's what he is, but <laughs> he keeps them in his chin. Yeah, I had yeah. no. Yes, the... I had I had no. The men and men with... in this. <laughs> the men were men and the women were definitely women in this thing. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say I had no problem looking at the ladies in this movie either. Not at oh, all. No, no, no. This is I... a wonderful, wonderful cast, and they and all some appealing automobiles as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, I was looking at a lot of headlights. <laughs> hey, <laughs> oh, I assure right, you, I'll Amelia. See, I'll, I'll see myself out. I'm sorry, <laughs> Amelia. After you see that guy, your tights may be a bit looser <laughs> or tighter. Wow. I don't know. Or tighter, it just depends. Yeah. Uh. Well, guys, that was a movie. It yes, sure it was, was it? it? Yeah. Was it? Was it those, really? those go, go ahead and, and tell me the acts in this movie, Adam. You're the summary guy. Shit. Where's the arc? I'm over here typing, bobbing and weaving copyrights. Uh, but, uh, well, what exactly so would you guy, like me uh, to summarize uh, into this? Yeah, there was no... This there was no act in this film, were there? Yeah. <laughs> there was just no. one long stream no, no. of oh, no. It's like a this road is like, trip. This is like, not yeah, enough this, this is like, I don't know if you would call it just one long first act or just, no, I mean, it's. Well, it's all an act, for yeah. sure. 
that much. Yeah, I mean, this guy works for the FBI. He the dollar store Chuck Connors. He yeah. inexplicably befriends two thieves mm-hmm. who have bulletproof vests. No, it's bull- bulletproof cloth. They're they're super bulletproof bad. cloth. Tight. Yes, yeah, bulletproof cloth costumes. And and then like, be right. They back. dress. They dress as the Noid from Domino's. Yeah, he mm-hmm. he like goes on a, a heist with them so that he can like reveal that he was using them for the FBI. But then he just loves them so much that he joins them later, and eventually they meet up with um, uh, a very large man who who yeah, likes Baron children. Harkonnen. Baron Harkonnen, yeah, who is and cloning children for whatever purpose. cloning children cloning apparently for just, murdering apparently for just to kill at, them at, uh, for for, for, bo- for book Baron Harkonnen action, not so much the movie, yeah. You've got to you've got to give it up for a villain that like fucking clones kids just to kill them. Like that is an evil fucking dude. Like you know what I want to do this time? I want to freeze them all. I want to freeze them all in the same room at the same time. And I want to watch. And I think I'm gonna laugh when I watch them. You know, like I yeah, am, yeah, the, the, I am the kazoos, a bad guy. <laughs> the kazoos make a guest appearance at the Taekwondo studio. No, no, it's the children's uh in the castle thing. The, no. the Pilates. No, they they there's they, a sweat was, lodge in the was middle. It, was it the castle. Taekwondo studio first? <laughs> yeah, the gymnas the gymnasium, whatever. Right. Thing. Yeah. Right. So they, that's oh, when they yeah. first showed up. Right. So we so we have the kazoos. The kazoos then get replaced with ba 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 ba, which plays incessantly whenever they're in movement. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, the kazoos. And then, they are always in movement. Yes, there's a lot of movement. Yes, and 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 that song is playing constantly. They uh, there's there's a funeral dirge at one point, uh, or at least yep. a viewing. The the date, yeah. Um, yeah. We the kazoos make the return for the FBI. The yeah. The beginning song was it? Was it like the opening? That opening wildness was that the ba 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 ba, or was it a different one? And then we suddenly I, just get assaulted with okay, we can only have one song, and it's that ba 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 ba. ba. <laughs> I cannot <laughs> begin to tell you how this movie starts. There were I, newspapers. It, it's no, it's the, remember. Yeah, it starts yeah. with there's some sort of theft. <laughs> Uh, newspapers are shown in various was, languages. A um, safe was opened. The the narrator's balls drop in mid um, dialogue. Yeah, yeah. Um, then it's a trans allegory, I believe. Her yes, balls yes. drop. Yes, right. yes. Yeah. He heard. I, I don't assume gender in that one. It you know what? It's a, it. This is a four. Balls hour. dropping. Let's it's just, like hell's a popping. But different. Movie. Let's just start the movie over. You know, <laughs> it's not going to help. It won't help. Do that shit on your own time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> hell no. Oh, I ain't going that. back. I ain't going back. No, I can, I can safely say I'm never watching that again. <laughs> well, yeah, so so who wants to watch it again? It'll be up uh, <laughs> noon tomorrow. Oh, Pacific Yay! Come on, know. you know you want to. <laughs> the fact that common people was like, I'll watch, I'll watch the preview for the wrong movie because South right. America attacked us. <laughs> this not, did not help. I put trust me, it wouldn't have helped. I from now on, I'm, instead of thinking of like Walter Cronkite for stamina, I'm going to think of that laughing super guy. Wow. Both of those things will give you stamina? Well, I mean, you know. Yeah, oh, God. I thought I knew you. <laughs> now like, you I, don't ju- I don't judge. Where are we? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, God. Stop kink shaming, Adam. For God's uh, sake. I just now realized what what Jethro's avatar is. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> you only just figured that out. <laughs> I, I did. That's wingalingus. Yes. <laughs> Let's ask little like, big sister. Let's ask big sister. <laughs> Honey, Let's not I ask have... her companion. His oh mouth is god. full and he can't speak right now. Can I have wingtips for Christmas? You sure can, babe. <laughs> if she can have oral sex, yes. The that tips stay on. That was implied. Hmm. 
Uh, yes, Drew has the backstory that I'm too brain dead to bring up right now, but there's a whole slew of these movies, and there's copies of copies, and yeah. the original one that we were going to watch, it came out the same year, but yeah, there's uh, Three Supermen in Japan, uh, in Tokyo, uh, Superman versus the Orient, and oh Superman in the West, and believe me, I will try and get them. Is it the same wow. Superman? It felt like a threat when he said that, didn't it? Mostly. There's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> I, what what I, happened? What I happened? Really I mean, what you watch these? This is this is too early for CERN to have started up. <laughs> so, what bizarre universe ripping event happened where they're like, "No, no, we need multiple sequels of this film." Well, you got Shaft. You got Shaft in Africa. <laughs> no, the original Shaft, good. <laughs> the hell happened with this? This is well, no. Shaft had a reason to go to Africa. What the fuck? Exactly, he's guys? returning. Yeah. <laughs> the only reason these guys go to Japan is because Italy kicked him out. We're tired of that giggling motherfucker. And if we hear him one more time, to be honest, Superman versus the Orient was the first one I watched like a month ago. I got twenty minutes into it, and there are no Supermen. It's just guys running around. Like there's no oh, outfits. No. There's no nothing. And then I stumbled into this rabbit hole. Oh. <clears throat> You can't blame the French for this one. This is all Italy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can blame the me. and have a way of making garbage on celluloid. Now, <laughs> I, I like I like to think that Fellini saw this and said, "Yes, that is exactly <laughs> what I believe the cinematic art is." But slower and less intense. Yes, yeah, slower. No, I need slower. <laughs> Where one would use a trampoline, I will use a gaze. Yeah, I can't. And an ice cream drew. cone. I, this is absolutely exercise. Hell's a popping out of my head. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, be, I'll be doing this while I'm hoovering around the house tomorrow. He shows up at the music store, like right as they open. I must have a kazoo. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way you have this on final. Way to show you hate me. (laughs) Give me a kazoo. (laughs) Uh, All right. Quick power. Give me a kazoo or I'm going to throw my ball at you. Exactly. (laughs) Don't make me throw my balls at you. This is a heist. Excuse me while I whip this out. Yeah. It's Caesar, balls. Caesar I think that's what that, that explains it. The other guy was throwing monkey guys balls. That's why his laugh was so high. Ooh. Oh, mm. I think you're on some, some deep oh. lore. I see it now. Right, yes, Jamis got my back here. All right. Somehow I assumed <laughs> there were eunuchs. Segway, segway, punk. Yeah. Segway. Uh, speaking of no balls, speaking of ballless, you're looking at my avatar. It was a cold day, <laughs> it was cold. There was shrinkage, Jerry. Shrinkage, I don't know how you guys live with those things. So cute, smile. Like, I love your avatar. I do love it. It's great. Right. I'm one, gonna of do them, a... one of those three otters just laughs the whole time. Yes, <laughs> probably the one on the left. I think <laughs> got a little weasel in him. I'm actually holding a ball in my hand in my avatar. <laughs> You're, not. You're holding the ring. But the monkey has a ball on the ring. It has a little pearl. Okay. So that was smooth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a, just like I that's love a... I love that everybody was like, I know I'm not saying a word about that. No, that's you just go right ahead, Adam. <laughs> Keep going wherever you're going. We'll uh, we'll yeah, make it all the way to the scene of the crash with you. Okay, thanks, guys. Uh, Jana, it's like Johnson and Johnson baby oil, which for some reason I can't seem to do without right now, and some martini. For I just don't, I, I don't even drink martini, but a baby mm. oil martini is nothing to sniff at. <laughs> so if you ever if you ever uh, watch like sixties and early seventies racing, uh, martini was a huge sponsor. Yeah, and the martini mm. racing colors are absolutely legit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they do have a good look. It's a good look. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and I remember um seeing the uh the umbrellas outside of when I was in like Germany. They would have a lot of that stuff like at the cafes. Mm-hmm. Really good stuff. Janet, we can't tell you what, what you missed because we're not sure. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I recommend the replay if you you, you missed something. <laughs> Some the feds, thing. The, fed, the feds were involved. Kazoos, Kazoos were involved. Balls. Trampolines. Bouncing. 
beefcake, big beefcake like, man, hairless big beefcake, like big actually, beefcake yeah, man, pre steroid beefcake. Yeah, yeah. Uh, children that look like they were creamed on at the end. Hey, yes. hey, hey, yes. whoa! Hey. I mean, literally cream on them. <laughs> not not cream. By big beefcake man by Baron <laughs> no. Harkonnen. Look, it's all right. They were clones. Okay, nothing okay. illegal has happened here. Okay, good. Well, don't don't play the replay now because the music will wake the baby up. Oh me. God, <laughs> you you will permanently stunt the growth of the baby. Yeah, just if, shut the if, drawer. If that child hears. Keep put your baby place. away from that movie. Put it in the yeah. drawer. Put the yeah. soundproof yeah. again. Then close it. Then then you might be safe. Okay, so uh, I forgot about this short. I, I I went through the hard drive big time today because I was sweaty and rushing and full of copyright panic. And um, I found this a while ago. I don't know if this is real, but I think if anyone can tell us if, if it's real, it's Jay because you're the tech head. So oh God. let's watch this. No pressure. Here at Rockwell Automation's world headquarters, research has been proceeding to develop a line of automation products that establishes new standards for quality, technological leadership, and operating excellence. With and customer success as our primary focus, work has been proceeding on oh, the preconceived idea is. of an instrument you that do. will not only provide... Yes, so morning so, children, aren't they? No, this is this is already a take on the turbo and cabulator. Okay, and that is a famous internet hoax, or no? So the turbo and cabulator way predates the internet. Um, so there was a there's a guy who's pretty famous for industrial um, films um, doing presentation or whatever, and I think it was I think it started at Chrysler, um, where he was um, doing a. Uh, one of their industrial things, kind of a training thing they send out to mechanics and, and all that. And they decided to make up a thing um, where it was a new transmission called the Turbo Encabulator. And it's just nothing but bullshit jargon. Corinthian that, that he puts together and is And he is absolutely deadpan wearing a, a, <laughs> a lab jacket, you know, showing like equations and all that stuff. And he deadpans it for like five minutes and it is hilarious because it's it just gets more and, more and more absurd. Right. Inverse reactive current for use in unilateral phase detractors, but would also be capable of automatically synchronizing cardinal gram meters. Yep. And keeping track of how much electricity Such an instrument you comprised use. of Dodge gears and bearings, reliant electric motors, Allen Bradley controls, and all monitored by Rockwell Software is... Brand Rockwell Airlines. Automation's retro mm -hmm. Now, basically, the only new principle involved is that instead of power being generated by the relative motion of conductors and fluxes, it's produced by the modial interaction it's of magneto-reluctance and capacitive directance. <clears throat> the original machine had a base plate of pre-famulated amulite surmounted by a malleable amulite. logarithmic casing. I'm Adam making notes. <laughs> Adam, had, Adam had it with Bob Morton. I had to yeah, kill Bob I, I, Morton yeah. because he made a mistake. Before his hairline went back? Yeah, it's yeah. Bob. In such a way that the lead. two spurving bearings were in a direct line with a panometric fan. The lineup consisted simply of six hydrocoptic marzal veins, so fitted to the ambifacient lunar wane shaft that side fumbling was effectively prevented. The main winding was of the normal lotus o deltoid type placed in panendermic semi-boloid slots of the stator. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Girdle oh. springs. Talk it looks like girdle spring. I was, write, I was writing this down and I got lost. Can we rewind a little bit? So I was at the Radisson and I wandered into the ballroom. and there I think was it was the hand movement that threw me presentation going on and i oh, sat so down the radisson so that, that you know. i'm pretty sure you should moreover be whenever fluorescent score going. motion is required it may also be employed in conjunction with a drawn reciprocation dingle arm to reduce oh, sinusoidal depleneration oh, i've got a ding alarm the retro encabulator has now reached a high level of development and it's being successfully used in the operation of milford trenions it's oh, available what? soon wherever <laughs> rockwell automation products are sold Okay, so watching it's the other one you need to. I think she designed it. <laughs> right. So watching it through, obviously. Yeah, so, he but. chilled. He chilled out before that last shot. Yeah, so this this like, is next, um, next the, uh, this is the, the a very shortened version of the full turbo encabulator. Oh, okay. uh, because because I mean they're doing Rockwell. Rockwell's a, a electronics company, right? So they're they're yeah, not it's a real so company. Much. 
Just what I well, so I so is Chrysler, and 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 then I think I think the same guy also did it for GM as well, um, but the not this guy, the the original guy, but because those guys were actually you know they're creating real transmissions, so he actually had a transmission set up, and it was like pointing at bearings, and then they go more and more into like the actual physical construction and things that they did with the bearings and all that stuff, which doesn't necessarily apply so much with Rockwell, but yeah, this is like the the short version of, of the turbo and cabulator. There's never been a young Elon Musk. No, he was, he was born 50. He came, he came out the tube that way. Yeah. He's looking rough too. These days. Well, to be fair, he was balder when he was younger. Uh, it's true. Yeah. Well, uh, if you ever that. notice that embracing Nazism is kind of bad for your health, like <laughs> no one is ever like, like, wow, he's sore and he's, he's I don't really... know, one of our brawn made it a good long time uh, and, and made it to the moon. How'd he look? He was looking pretty good. He a little heavy. Yeah. <laughs> not like Baron Harkonnen there. No, no, no. Not, <laughs> he didn't go full Harkonnen. <laughs> okay. That's the problem. You get, you, get, you get too fat, you can't see tripping hazards. <laughs> he got, got to the, he got he to the moon. <laughs> he got to the moon. He was then he like, tripped oh, over look. one of his underlings and, and fell and yeah. died. Yeah, like, got finally. A little shade it's, downstairs as yeah. well now. I'm not happy about. Uh, let's the see. French. We have several uh, suggestions from uh, Smilex tonight. Let's Ooh, see. Oh, my. One from oh, Jenny. Boy. Then I have one more. British humor. Did, did mine clear? <laughs> uh, yes, it did. Let me oh. double check. Let me double check. Oh, yes. Thank God. Just to make sure. There wasn't any manual flagging. Going I fired. I fired all mine out like a like a shotgun. They have absolutely nothing in common with each other. <laughs> There's well, just I, like no theme that runs through. They're just weird shizzle. I found. I, I just I just went for classic uh, internet video. And... Yeah. We'll do it live. I like we'll that stuff a lot. Do it live. No time for a theme tonight, folks. I feel like I I only think of stuff like right before the show. Like Adam's like, give me your clips ahead of time. So I'm going to try really hard this week. Well, set, set your clock six hours forward and then send me this week's stuff for next week, okay? I I, uh, I spent two days trying to find one particular thing and I still can't find it. So I'm going to keep on trying, but um, I have got something that I, I really want to share. Um, but I've, I, oh, it's amazing. It's a, it's a particular parody song by um fake medical well real medical students who were taking the uh the sort of making a lot of making a lot of fun out of um, uh, out of medical humor but um they had about three or four really really good ones and i can't find any of them but i can oh. find a lot of their trashy sort of albumy tracks <laughs> I, I am a sucker them. for medical humor yeah, yeah, that exactly why I was why I was trying to find them. I thought you'd really appreciate it, but um, <laughs> yeah, the, I'll I'll keep I'll keep searching. Oh wait a minute, Jay, I gotta I gotta double check yours. I did run it through, and now it's not showing up on our content page. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna roll the dice. Don't on risk this. that. Don't hang risk on, hang on. We'll uh, we'll run it through, and then uh, I'll show something else in the meantime. Uh, so anybody read any good books lately? <laughs> I like how that ends in laughter. I only read pamphlets and pop-up books. <laughs> I, I've I've the time. I, I can't tell you how long I look for the novelization of the three fantastic Superman. You really can't find it. It's it's shocking. There is a comic book. There that is, doesn't surprise me. Yeah, there really is. <laughs> Uh, I, I watched the latest Alexander Payne film, if that helps. <laughs> oh, the holdovers, founding fathers. I don't know who that is. No, that's uh, he did Sideways. Uh, I think he yeah. did Election as well. Yeah. Oh, I've seen Sideways. Did, I think yeah. he did also The Descendants. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, yeah. Not the I actually like that movie. I thought yeah. that was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would not like an empanado. Why would you ask? Yeah, I kept getting Danger Death Ray vibes from that movie. Oh, Jeff, do you remember the MST uh, Danger Death Ray? He's dead. No, he's uh, he's busy getting another bag of ice to put his beers in. Oh, he's uh, muted. Sorry, I was. 
just a whole lot of Already shitting in the bag, guys. <laughs> right, let, me, let me play something else in the, in the meantime. Uh, well, you can never go wrong with uh, shit jokes. So here we go. Yay! Oh, okay. hold on. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. Ah, just a little bit. 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 Ah, just a Oh my god, I, I love this one so much. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Yes. Huh. Now is not the time to have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. They've all got I have it. a bad case of wow. diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. Wow. I have a bad case of diarrhea. All the things I thought I, I might see today. <laughs> <laughs> I bet this wasn't on it, was it's it? It's not on my bingo card. <laughs> <laughs> the great thing is that the previous song has been purged from my mind. Uh, I love there's no Japanese word for diarrhea. I've never had such a positive attitude about that. Also, why are the Japanese women named Fraulein? Still be careful and have diarrhea. Oh, wow. I'm just going to, whenever I need to phone in sick, I'm just going to put the phone to this. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I That is such a crazy, weird clip. And there's like a whole long series of them. Where yeah, this is, a, this is a real show from yeah. Japan. I forget the name of it, but um, they had this wacky premise that if you did uh, dance moves, you could, with your muscle memory, you could learn English. And they had this. Oh, movie. yeah. Like, painful sketches uh there's one with a guy that looks just like uh what's his name from uh seinfeld uh the bald guy um, oh yeah oh yeah jason yeah. alexander there was shrinkage uh, where he was he's he's mugging a girl in a park and then she has to go explain to a police officer in english for some reason it's just bonkers absolutely bonkers so i believe your dog is saying it has a bad case of diarrhea <laughs> Come on, I, I'm, still, I'm still trying to understand why the Japanese women have Fraulein <laughs> across their chest. Right. Yeah. yeah. Big famous brand back there in the 19th. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and as, uh, as, as common people's dad used to say, if you've got time for a diarrhea, you've got time to swallow, or whatever it is he usually says. I don't know. Something uh, like that, right? <laughs> time to finish chewing. Yeah. It's times like this, I remember what my old dad used to say to me. <laughs> What are you doing in there day and night? <laughs> you yeah, also have a bad case here. of diarrhea. Oh my god. I'll clean that up later. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, well, the funny thing is the, 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 okay, so we're going to do the dance moves to remember certain phrases. Wouldn't you want those moves to like mimic in some way <laughs> the phrase you're you're doing? Well, she, These are not the moves that I make when yeah, I have yeah. a bad case of diarrhea. I don't know if there, that's... there was a little bit of diarrhea movement in there, you know. Well, she, they they kind of <laughs> held their belly. They cramped up a little yeah. bit. Will they have to make the moves when they say them? I mean, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> just at that time when you really don't want to be moving around too much. Exactly. <laughs> Standing at a chemist's waiting for your prescription. Yeah, the, the hands the hands should go to the belly, the face should look shocked with wide eyes and going, oh shit, right? That's when you hit diarrhea. Jazz hands. No, you don't want jazz hands. No, no. That's when you're coming out afterwards. You're trying to wave it all away. Do not go in though for five minutes. What's a good case of diarrhea? <laughs> uh, During know. a sexual assault. Oh. <laughs> Well, that's just going to come back to haunt you. We'll just that's all, all, those, all the that's ladies all those, keep that back. At, keep that in mind. All those I mean, kids you know, in the when, freezer could have used some diarrhea. Methods I mean, every 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 animal like would would like you know the lions get them. The first thing you see is the antelope just shit everywhere. Here, have some of that. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that is sorry to bring it down so quick, kid. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, we got one from... I want to point Sven. out to everyone that we are more than seven minutes into the stream. <laughs> <laughs> we may be nearing seven minutes to the end of the show, but... Uh... <laughs> seven minutes to midnight. Okay. All right, this is uh, from Smilex, and uh, I, I skimmed it. I ran it through the confabulator, and uh, unfortunately, there's a music claim on the first like minute and a half, Ooh, so I have boom. to... Smile. Uh, but more importantly, uh, trigger warning for everyone. Jimmy Savile appears in this. Oh, God, yeah. Sorry oh, about God. This. So if that's not your oh. thing. Uh, I would like, uh, so that's an interesting statement. Could I see a, 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 a just a show of hands where Jimmy Savile is your thing? <laughs> Please don't. Please. I like you all. I don't want to know. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to throw this up and then I got to skip ahead like a minute. The scary British. That's that was terrifying. Me. That first one is really terrifying. And it's yeah, it a lot of people of a certain age. It sucks that we have to skip this because it actually is. Oh, really does bad. he get stuck in yeah. a. Oh, my is that goodness. A Death is hanging out watching some children playing in a, a, a quarry. Yeah, like these kids water. drown. It's uh, fine. Can you blame yeah. them? Oh, is that supposed to be Death? It looked like a Jawa. Mm -hmm. It's a tall uh, Jawa. From the right angle. <laughs> it's fair use Jawa. All right. Yeah. So I didn't have time to clip the music out of it, but here we go. We'll see what the rest of it is. No, oh, there he is. Oh, it's God. Oh. 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 Of you will be oh. Uh -huh. oh, God. Just look at him. From oh, my God. hometown. Is he really? Is he yeah. Really? Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. And I think most of the people around these parts... Um, all have some sort of story, some rumor, something. There's all, yeah. The rumors I around mean. about him were going around in the certainly as far back as the 80s, because mm. yeah, there were jokes yeah. going around then, you know, about about what he was up to at the morgue and the hospitals and various schools. So how he managed to keep on doing what he was doing for another 35 years, who knows? It's well, so, I mean, he, he looks so, so trustworthy. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so normal. I it's wanted so, to, it's so frustrating about... uh, in the aftermath when you find out that it's been going on and it's been out in the open and people. Yes, this is like, like the sixties. Yeah. Oh yeah, we knew time. that about him. Like you know, like fucking R. Kelly. Like mm -hmm. dude, yeah. that guy got that guy got busted on tape years and years ago. You know, but here's like, the thing: if R. Kelly looked like this, he would have <laughs> never had a shot. I want to talk about the fact that this guy looks exactly yeah. like what. Yeah, that, that's the thing that always got me: is that yeah, like, and, and there's a stunning revelation that Jimmy Savile may be a bit of a sex pest. And, if you put and this I'm into like, a, what the hell is going on in Britain? That this put this is into like, an AI <laughs> generator and just type yeah. pervert. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, you're gonna get a Savile alike, right? And, and all of Britain's like, on? "No, what are you talking about? He's perfectly fine. I, it's it's all as well." Are, are we gonna watch uh, Gary Glitter video after this? Oh yeah, you know, yeah. That's another. That's another one. Fucking... Definitely a convincing disguise. You know, the yeah, fucking hair mind, is yeah. extremely similar. You know, I, I changed my mind about monetization. We're going for Gary Glitter right after this. <laughs> in your car oh, you'll be within six miles of home and doing less than thirty. And it's going to happen to a lot of you ladies. You'll be shopping, yes, it is. collecting the kids, Not from and Jimmy. The Mostly by him. You, the face you start out with in the morning. Oh! You end up with by the oh my God! Quite brutal for the nineteen seventies. That escalated quickly. Close the car door. Click the seat belt. Even if you are just going around the corner, click, click every trip. Yeah, you don't want to end up in a hospital where I'm an orderly. Right, no, exactly. <laughs> Go on, get it. You're not supposed uh -huh. to go in there. Oh, go on. There's a gap down there. A gang of kids broken yesterday. I saw them. You know, when she's an adult, she's still going to say things like, go on, get it. <laughs> There's a gap in there. A bunch of kids got in there yesterday. They all look That's like castle people's dad, you will say. <laughs> Believe me, I know. I've heard it. Here's what I think of your fence, Donald Trump. <laughs> nice wall, asshole. <laughs> hey, we let to be so I'm that's something on my uh, belt buckle. Danger live apparatus. This would be fine. He touched an insulator. Oh, oh, fine. 66 thousand volt shock killed a boy today when he broke into a substation. The electricity board warns children to keep away from substations. I'd like to point out it didn't Never... kill that boy. That boy killed himself. 
<laughs> Residents are advised to hold their umbrellas up because the aerosolized boy is still falling down. Try to get the toys back yourself. <laughs> I blame Pele. He should have never popularized this sport. Oh! Prospects. Oh. If you imagine this. Bob is Odenkirk? Your car, then <laughs> this is a motorcycle. Now, when you drive up to a main road, it's easy to see other. They weren't messing around in the 1970s. <laughs> no. They were using shock tactics to the max. <laughs> I thought the trick or treat safety video was terrible. Hard to see. Dude, in but America, we hurt. thought cracking an egg was hard. Oh, oh, good grief! Wow, <laughs> Superman! Professional. <laughs> what is Nasty. that? And that's why, at junctions, I'm asking you to give a second thought for bikes. Stop. Think once for cars. Hold it. Then think again for bikes. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, 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 so he was asking for it. There's a reason we say loud pipes save lives. You put that fucking weed eater thing on any of that. You were asking for it. Right <laughs> riding a hairdryer around town. Bear in mind that these are these are 70s cars we're talking about. They made more noise than you know <laughs> most most things, didn't they? Back then. Yeah, just... <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just just the interior rattling was louder than that alleged motor. Air conditioning was oh, yeah. <laughs> deafening. And the smell of gasoline inside the car was a thing. Hey, everyone was high. That was a bonus. I think bike. Oof. Shit, I even remember some of these. <laughs> ah, yeah. Here we are. Oh, cool. David, David Prowse. <laughs> I think I've seen this. Here's David. Hi there. In his most famous role. Uh oh, this looks Not dangerous. that one. Not that one. Will they see but that car? One. Think I better have a word with those two. He could have been the voice of uh. Darth Vader. I don't even think this is his voice either. That wasn't very clever, was it? No, it's not. It's That's not. not his voice either. No, he's no, not. You're right, you're right. He's very West Country, torched like a pirate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you'd been looking and listening all the way across, that wouldn't have happened. Wow. Imagine being dubbed in everything That's you did. Yeah. <laughs> I know, like, a, a, a lot of times... I don't want to give you a complex, but... <laughs> You decided a lot not of to times, use your voice again. <laughs> a lot of times, as a British actor, your work will be dubbed when it travels across, you know, to America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's other, is, other, other countries. But, sure. Yeah. But this is th this is another. Just they're just like, no, it's I'm sorry, your over. accent. Yeah, have you heard your yourself? We don't want to hear the rest you of the, our, for the rest of the country you live in. In fact, your neighbors have asked for you to be dubbed whenever you ask, how's it going? Do you need some help? Remember, always use the Green Cross code because I won't be there when you cross the road. Yeah. I hope not. There's a reason that in Clockwork Orange, we didn't give you any lines. <laughs> yeah. Yes, how to remember he the Green some Cross lines, code. Didn't he? No, he just carries no. the guy. No, he's just he, terrified. He might have a, I think he may have said about two words in the entire thing. He says, he says, he says something like, Someone at the door. I think he might say about yeah, one yeah, line. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> but is it really him? That one I think might be, but yeah, be, for, the yeah. Most, for the most part, he gets dubbed. <laughs> yeah, because again, he's just, hi, I am the muscle. The <laughs> someone at the door. Okay, all right, you go right ahead. You check that I, out. I, I can't see Kubrick dubbing him. I, I don't know. know. I think he yeah, likes a weird accent. Stand on the pavement yeah. near the curb. Look all round for traffic. He would have recast him before he dubbed him. If traffic is coming... Oh, I mean, there's a the limited place. supply of when giant no muscle man, near, so... <laughs> walk straight across the road. I wish. Splink? 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 Is that why why no. would you use that as your acronym? Why? <laughs> it's not really reprimable, Well, originally it was... Splink! Splink! Uh, hey! They were what worried. What you trying to do to me? The green cross code. It's the doctor. It's the doctor. <laughs> he didn't get dubbed. Yay. That's a small and use it. Splink. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Splink, everybody. <laughs> I wish we could have showed the first one because it was actually really I did, uh, horribly funny. Uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a terrible, uh, uh, it was a terrible. Sorry. Because <laughs> ter in a terrible lame to fame, I did meet. Dave Prowse a few times, and uh, he did tell he did say that that was the um, the proudest the thing he was the most proud of 
out of all of his career was Swinkly. doing those adverts. Yeah, he, he said that um, yeah. during the time of doing that, he, he the, the road traffic incidents for children halved. So maybe, you know, so oh. he, he used to, he used to did, visit did anyone, schools. Did yeah. anyone point out to David that there was an oil crisis uh, during that time and uh, that <laughs> overall use of cars dropped and uh, it's purely coincidental? That's Shut just, up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, I, I would have, <laughs> were, were you like David? There's a difference between 300 pounds, correlation so no, and I kept that to myself. <laughs> Shush. Shush. Don't talk about that. <laughs> he goes, apparently went to schools and just, um, you know, gave his little speech, and then at the end would ask if there was any questions, and of course, everyone would put their hands up and ask him nothing about road traffic safety. So, and it's so, just so more importantly, they raise their hands and they're like, "That's not your normal voice." Why are you talking? We've like a seen pirate? the commercials. Why are you talking like that? <laughs> so, Smilex, was David Prowse known for anything really before this campaign? Uh, yeah, uh, oh, not in the world of um, film, really. Um, boy, wasn't he? I mean, yeah, yeah, he, he, yeah. He, he started, I think, the uh, World Gym, uh, one of the World Gym, uh, but nothing uh, fr franchises. Too. So nothing. nothing in the actual world of, of cinema, apart from probably Clockwork Orange, Clockwork Orange and a couple yeah. of, you know, maybe a heavy in the background somewhere. Yeah. Nothing that kids would know. Him oh, I tell you what he was in. He was in some Hammer horrors. He did. He played. He plays Frankenstein in one of the Hammer horror movies. Oh, cool. did he really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's the monster in at least a couple of them. And that's oh, not wow. as as And they didn't. And they didn't have to dub him in those movies. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, so when he would show up to, to school, <laughs> then the kids loved him because he did he did these little safety adverts, right? Well, also, it wasn't like they were gonna like heckle him. The guy was fucking huge. So well, I'm not asking you, Americo. Oh, and uh, Drew points out that he was the <laughs> trainer for Christopher Reeve for Superman, which is true. But I've got yeah. I've got a, a slightly depressing story here for you, Drew. Um, right. Apparently. Yay. Apparently, after uh, uh, he trained him up, he trained him up, and then he went on to do his next job as another trainer for somebody else. Uh, Chris Reeve had to come back and do some reshoots uh, about a month or two later, and asked for Dave to come back and uh, and help him. Uh, Dave had already moved on to do something with a, some sort of sultan out in the Middle East, um, couldn't do it, so he gave a plan to his second in command to do the thing. Um, a few Fast forward a couple of months to the premiere of Superman, and uh, David Prowse is there with all the other people, and Christopher Reeve snubbed him, uh, didn't look him in the eye, didn't shake his hand, just walked right past oh, him. Oh, because he left him so, hanging. Yeah, because he left him hanging. Oh, he wow. thought he thought he got shafted by him a little bit, which um, is a, is probably one of the only few, very few um, negative stories I've ever heard about Christopher Reeve. <laughs> but I got that. But I got that one from the horse's mouth. He uh, Dave Prowse told me that oh, himself. Oh, but not but not the first story about people not being all that happy with David Prowse. No, that's true. Yeah, yeah. 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 Lucas was not happy with him either, was he? <laughs> yeah. no, Lucas, 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 Lucas did him dirty, though. I think. Who here's my question though? If if Prowse had trained Reeve originally, did he art just forget all of the fucking routines that he <laughs> right. Well, yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah, right. I know. well, I mean, there, again, there, it's one thing to go, I'll go to the gym and lift. It's another thing to have a guy go, you fucking lift, you do this, you do that, right? You know, you're on yeah. you, a trainer. Well, he was will still, keep you he was still giving game. him his, uh, his 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 second guy, and he also got wrote him his diet plan and everything else. So he, you know, he was still kind of giving him the plan. He just it just yeah. wasn't there in person. So it was right, a bit yeah. it's a bit childish, really. But there you go. Sad, yeah, sad sounds, to hear. Smile Wait, so you're saying Hollywood actors can be a bit childish? Nickel, yeah, mm. yeah, with that. Seems <laughs> odd. Going right. forward, um, when you tell stories about Christopher Reeve, maybe avoid the phrase from the horse's mouth. <laughs> 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 yeah, I saddled myself with that one, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. so I was I was working in a newsroom yeah. in in the early 2000s and. My cat um, is crying. Somebody <laughs> made a joke. It was one of the assistant editors what? made a joke about Christopher Reeve or something like that. And somebody else said, dude, don't poke fun of Superman. And the assistant editor immediately responded, it's okay. He can't feel it. <laughs> Ooh, oh. Oh. And I was like, that man, Ow. yes, I give you oh. the, the, the crown <laughs> because there was not a fucking pause. It was just, dude, it's okay. Yeah. He can't feel it. <laughs> oh, my God. That is rough. Ouch. That is a newsroom. Oh. The gallows humor absolutely yeah. Yeah. lives yeah. there. Yeah. yeah.
That's why I don't work there. I work here where everything is yeah. cupcakes and unicorns. Yeah. And Sparkles, rainbows. <laughs> uh, Mask uh, and beavers that sit and smile and twiddle their thumbs and toes and they're coming to take me away. Ha ha. Uh, Fiona has to a the theme funny part where life is beautiful all the time. <laughs> and I'd be happy to see those nice young men. They're clean Fiona has missed all of the best bits tonight. <laughs> the ASPCA, you made G-Buck. You can watch the replay, Fiona. Oh my god. If just for the beefcake. All right, Jethro. Now 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 sing the B side. Ooh. You knew it. You knew it. <laughs> and continuing on the safety theme. <laughs> This is what happened one day when the ice cream man the stopped one. by Tufty's house. <laughs> Clint Howard? Ice cream! <laughs> and Tufty goes Jim to find Jim driving that? <laughs> uh, Smilex, do you want to give your little your little setup for this? Or? Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, so after... Um, no, I think probably just before Dave Proud's got the gig of uh, protecting children on, on uh, roads, uh, it was the job of this character, who was Tufty, who was a, a road traffic squirrel, Oh. Uh, in his little world of happy animals, yeah, um, squirrels should and, uh, not be in charge of road safety. Well, you'd be surprised. Uh, this one's pretty good. <laughs> but there was an entire uh, franchise built around this character: books and badges and clothing. Um, and I, I was, um, I was a member of the Tufty Club, uh, which at that point in time was definitely not a grooming gang. Um, it may be now, and it certainly was not the reason that I'm I'm now having an otter avatar. It was not the first sign of uh, a problem. Well, there was definitely no furry yeah. relationship <laughs> with the giant talking squirrel. -uh. No, no, dude. I I'll have you know, I've seen a therapist before, and if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the stuff that happens in your childhood has nothing, no impact nothing on your adulthood. Nothing, no, nothing absolutely no. right. Just for one no. therapist. Okay, here we oh, go. Oh, all right. The cat got me. All right. More like than one also has diarrhea. All right, fine. My cat is on strike. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. Tufty always asks his mummy to go with him to the ice cream van. It is Tufty. But Willie Weasel has gone off to get an ice cream by himself. That's I mean, that bitch. I think the fact that Weasel's are getting portrayed badly. Oh, like, dear. Oh, no. You see all oh, Weasels mommy. now, and we think they're Willie's bad people. Down by a yeah, they're a bad like, Russell T. Davis would have an issue with this. I have an issue. Now Willie has been hurt. And all because he didn't ask his mummy to go with him to the ice cream van. That's true. Or look at the street. That, you know. <laughs> when you want to go to the ice cream van, always take mummy with you. Can we point out it doesn't look like Willie's wearing pants either? Not Ooh. anymore. <clears throat> well, well, I think the, we all learned the car to hit me and my pants flew off. So <laughs> if any of you uh, are crossing the street later and you survive, you can thank me anytime. Yeah. Like, and Tufty. Just, just, just think. Yeah. Oh, Jay's Cox just gave out. Uh -oh. Oh. That's okay. That's very, um, it's a very premature coxing there. No, no. Ooh. I mean, he has a pretty quick, uh, ref what do you call it, refractory period. <laughs> He'll be back. He'll be back in no are time. Are you my mummy? I'm sorry, Fiona. I, I'm missing what you what you're referring to. Uh, wow, this cat is on fire. Yeah, listen, Phineas. This cat is on fire, bro. <laughs> sorry, he thinks he's going outside, and he is not. Okay, yeah. wow, he's a loud mouth. Yeah, he's really very vocal. He has opinions. Do, 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 do. Well, we can't show Jay's oh. short. What's that, Barbara? I was Can we show ask Jay's Twilight long? Something. Um, <laughs> so just because of the the weasel, the weasel and the ice cream truck, there was a, a thing that I had read once, and I have no idea if it's true, but that after um, all the Harry Potter movies were done, that Rupert Grint bought us an ice cream truck and just drove around to neighborhoods giving kids ice cream because it was a, like a childhood dream for him to be able to do that. That's kind of cool. Is that is that true? <laughs> I'd like to think it's true. <laughs> I mean, it does. Howard, it sounds kind of fun. 
I mean, I could just picture somebody, some little kid saying, "Ain't you Ron Weasley?" (laughs) 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 My mum said, "You're not real." (laughs) Chocolatey um, sprinklers. (laughs) (laughs) So there were a lot of toughies then, right? Uh, there was a lot of tufty adverts, that's for sure. There was a whole. Yeah. There's a whole. Um, I think there must be about five or six of those adverts, and uh, the books were great. <laughs> yeah, it it looked really familiar, and I like. I don't think it would have been on. I don't know. We're not going there, common people. I've had this argument on three different screens. <laughs> you send me five bucks, we'll go there. <laughs> it's a movie shown at Christmas. <laughs> Harry there are Pot- scenes that have Christmas. I believe yeah. snow is in at least two of them. So this is. What do you mean, Harry Potter Christmas? There's eight, like eight of them. What are you gonna do every year? We all well, get in front of the, the TV and we spend an entire fucking day <laughs> in Christopher <laughs> Columbus land. Weird. God. Yes, okay. I know. I'm. Mo- I'm glad. Oh, I'm yeah. glad. I, I'm glad I grew up in the age of Christmas Story. <laughs> now that's a film that was shot in the '70s, and they pretty much just made it look like the '70s, right? All right, Fiona. Am I podcasting correctly, Fiona. The the feature that we watched was astonishing. It really was sort of the gift that would keep on taking, and um. Mm-hmm. There is a lot of beefcake in that movie that I think you might appreciate. Oh, and also oh. after the, after the main feature, there was a, a science bit. So, mm, oh yeah, we, we all we bit. all thought of you. I bet she's seen it, but yeah, um, <laughs> I think I think you you owe it to yourself to watch this full replay at quarter speed. There's a private message. I don't care. <laughs> 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 oh, the Californian. Yes, I know I mumble. I'm sorry. The French have a way of destroying the internet now. Okay, well, thanks for listening, Fiona. I'm just giving everyone a hard time. Uh, men, tights, and kazoos, that pretty much settles it. Yep. Um, I mean, what more do you need? And balls. balls. Don't forget the balls. Uh, there's a, there's well, a, those are words to live by, I think. Don't forget the balls. <laughs> yeah. Poorly dressed children's clones, and um, it was a good time. It was a good time. Uh, you know, I was watching that movie, and like, I'm not a parent, but I feel like if I was a parent, I would probably want like the whole like trunk back seat situation. That oh, where you could just flip them into the trunk with the yeah, time it's bomb like backpack. yeah, like yeah. I you don't know, have like, to pull uh, this car over. I'll just hit the magic button and you'll go the fuck away. Yeah. Like, what's the most desperate uh, your parents ever got on a road, uh, like, in a car situation? Because uh, I was talking about this with my brother, and, like, both he and I, at different times in our lives, were left on the side of the road by our dad. Oh, no. <laughs> so, really? Yeah, because because he just you know he went there and then, well he turned yeah, out okay. once you once you it. make the threat you have to deliver you have if... to do it see yeah there's a dad in the room he knows yeah the problem is, that's why you have to be you very can't, you particular can't with them. your threats right you can't you threaten can't a thing threaten that you're not willing not to deliver follow through yeah right so like yeah and, and I know like you know like I mean. Obviously, I'm a toughie, but Jeremy's pretty <laughs> sensitive. <laughs> okay, <laughs> whatever you say. <laughs> Having known you both, I don't mind, but my brother's a very timid fellow. Yeah, He's very sensitive. About that. I'm I'm a manly man, but my, my brother brought it up. Get pussy. Uh, as, Barbara, I think, you... as I think I've made clear. Barbara, do you, to, broadcast. do a 30 second review of the John Mulaney bit about the McDonald's or should we just move on? <laughs> no, she she has to tell us the light bright story. That's right. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do okay. that. Do that. So the, the light bright story is I was I was a very little kid. I was a, I was probably about maybe seven or eight. And my mom and my stepdad 
um, had been invited to go to dinner at a musician's house that my dad sort of vaguely knew. He was a jazz musician. He was a blind guy. Um, they had a daughter that was close, close enough to my age. I think she was a couple of years older than I was. And we, we went over to their house and we had dinner and we went to uh, the daughter's room to play. And she had this fantastic light bright set. Right. And it was just, I never, and I never had to play with one ever. And I always wanted to, and she just absolutely flat out refused to let me touch it. Like flat out refused mm -hmm. to touch it. And I'm like, whatever. You're kind of bossy and mean. Whatever. Yeah. And cut, cut to like, cut, cut to a couple, you know, about another eight, nine years later, I'm sitting on the couch watching, um, uh, 16 candles with my mom. And she goes, oh, that's the girl, little girl you went to play with. Do you remember her? And I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, we went over to their house for dinner. I go, that was her? Molly Ringwald was the bitch that would not let me play with her light bright set. I can believe that. Ooh. Gorture. There you go. Molly I've Ringwald. I've always hated Molly Burn. Ringwald, <laughs> and now I have a much better reason. Christopher Reeve, now Molly Ringwald. What, is, what the hell? <laughs> My belief in Hollywood has been crushed. Totally. That is amazing. I love that story. Weird, weird. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely love that story. I will. I will say. So, uh, how many of you watched The Waltons growing up? Oh uh, yeah. yeah, my mom used yeah. to love that show, and I, I think the music sort of gives me horror flashbacks. Yeah, there's a certain oh, amount. I have, I have the same thing with the Lawrence Welk show. Um, but the He's so the throw the cat out. Um, you don't like there's the a, champagne time. No, I tell you, so the tiny bubbles. Say, Fuck off. Um, I'd, I'd rather have Don Ho with the, you know, the, the Don Ho show. But the uh, so the mom uh, from the Waltons, uh, Michael Learned, um, she was in my hometown uh, filming a TV uh, movie sequel uh, to uh, Parade, or was it Picnic? I can't remember which one was first. I think it was Picnic. The the like fifties um movie about small town and all this stuff right um and so i as a i, I think i was like i don't know maybe 10 or or 12 or something like that and i was like hanging around the the film sets and and then would like follow you know the the, the actors around because you know my town is two thousand people it's pretty easy to find wherever the fuck you are um and michael learned noticed me and she, at her, I was riding my bike um, around kind of where they were staying. And, and some of them had um, RVs and stuff. And she had uh, this, this RV trailer. And she was sitting out on um, a lawn reading something. And so I rode by a couple of times. She'd recognize me from being around. And so she was like, hey, uh, come here. And so I you know, hopped off my bike, came over. And um, she was trying to memorize her lines and so i sat there for like an hour and a half reading lines to her um you know doing the, the opposite yeah. parts so that she could memorize them or whatever and uh she was she was not of the normal hollywood ilk she was she was a pretty cool person yeah meanwhile uh the 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 ass clown from greece too um michelle was, pfeiffer no the guy <laughs> oh she is an ass clown Max though Caulfield? i can vouch for that <laughs> yeah, Max Maxwell Caulfield. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, also, one of the Arquettes uh, was in this as well. I saw her a few times. Um, but Maxwell Caulfield, a complete fucking dick. I know this is shocking, uh, <laughs> given his general portrayals in in movies where he also plays complete fucking dicks. Uh, but no, he he's not acting. I was the only one I've ever seen him in. Grease two. That's it. Yeah, no, he's he's in he's in a couple of other like B C grade shit. Than You're the only one that's seen Grease too. What's his name? <laughs> the only Maxwell male that's too. <laughs> He's Australian, I believe. Oh, okay. I know the name, but I can't. Uh, send up Brad Pitt. What? Maxwell Caulfield sent up Brad Pitt as a dick in Living in Oblivion. Living in oh. Wow, it's, that's kind of yeah. a deep. It is, yeah. Steve Buscemi. Yeah. Uh, oh, I have seen that. I yeah, have you probably that. have. Yeah. And yeah. it was Rosanna Arquette that I, I met. Rosanna. Okay. Oh. As long as it's not Patricia, because I got a heart for her. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's in Edward, and she's fantastic in Edward. I liked. I like desperately seeking Susan. Um, Everyone's fantastic. 
Everyone's fantastic <laughs> in Ed Wood. Yes. Yeah. I would There's agree. not a bad fucking line true. in Ed that Wood. That is true. Mm. Speaking of um, Wood. Um, mm. Segway! <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, Ding dong! Smi Smilex Wood sent in this a uh, little bit. <laughs> Uh, this is a do-it-yourself sketch, and I am not familiar with the uh, the actor and the creator. In this, I hope this doesn't involve Jim fixing it. <laughs> no. oh, we, we've done with Jim. We can okay. All right, all right. <laughs> yes, Drew Juliet Landau as well. Absolutely. Yes. I'm not sure I can show Jamma's comment here. Let's see. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Jamma, maybe you want to try the decaf. I don't know what's going on there. Um, uh, See, okay. I thought, they, I thought... They, are, they are both appallingly ugly redheads. I'll give them Ooh. that. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Molly Ooh. Ringworm is terrible looking. No, no, no. See, See princess. I already had the cataract surgery. Even, even why, I why don't you, that. Why don't you have that? No, I mean, hell no. No, Space Hunter, fuck the world. Space Hunter, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Jesus she's okay in that one. Come on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so, she does look like Freckle Jesus in Space Hunter. Oh, Jay, I think your internet's cutting out. Smile. Uh, okay. Yeah, keep it up. <laughs> I like, I like Molly Ringwald. You know, like probably everyone in the Breakfast Club, including the principal. You know, I like her as an actress. I mean, is, is she glamorous? No, but yeah, she's kind no. of a great every girl. Yeah, I mean, you yeah, don't I mean, have to. Don't right, that's, that's why. Like, that's why. Like, they're sort of like pretty in pink. I'm like, not pretty, but I'll give you a, a no. John Hughes, <laughs> why do you keep trying to shovel this on me? I think the, the, my my only John my Hughes only real is wild. about Molly Ringwald's movies is that build up for the dress in Pretty in Pink, and that dress was the most fucking ugly thing I've ever seen in my entire life. It was. Well, it was appropriate given who it was going to go on to. John Cryer's shoes were better. John yes. Cryer was a better looking person. Than I, I would have fucked John Cryer before Molly Ringworth. <laughs> no. I that would have fucked Lonnie that one's for Dong. me. That one's for me. That's for all of us. <laughs> Shame on all of us. Oh. Ducky? Really? Oh, get out. Yeah. Get out. Amelia, I used to like you. What is that? Ooh. Wow. I would have. Blue. I would have picked Annie Potts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There you yeah. Go. All right. Okay. So Smilex. And, and have... when and when you when you offered sex to her, she would have yelled, We got one. You know, you could have written this continuously through the yeah. movie that we were watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. That movie could have used that clip. It could have used a target. <laughs> That's if we're like the um, eighth time. Smiling. If we're, if, oh, right. If, oh, right. Yeah. If, if, we're, if we're talking about Hollywood crushes, I just watched a movie with E.G. Bailey in it. Who's that? Oh, my God. She's adorable. I love her. She is 100% the best. Who can, I, can I just state Dottie. that I originally heard that as E.G. Marshall? Oh, Dottie? Daily. Yeah. Daily. Oh. I keep e. saying Daily. fucking Bailey. I don't know why. Daily. Oh, e. God, Daily. she's a dream. Yeah. I think it's I think it's much more humorous if he would have had a crush yeah. on E.G. Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did she's, in a, show. she's in the Joe Don Baker movie. Is she really? What movie? Yeah. It's called Wacko. Oh, my God. I always, always had a had a thing for her. Just a thing. Well, I, still I, li I liked uh, Leah Thompson, especially after that scene with the uh, with the duck. That was oh. that kind of. <laughs> oh, jeez. No. No. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So this is Kenny Everett, I think, um, and he's doing something. Um... Is he also a sex pest? No. Um, I... as far <laughs> he did. As we know. He did I mean, use to. Uh... He did used to go to the same parties as uh, you mean, Freddie, yes. Freddie Mercury. Oh, <laughs> so uh, oh, he was—he was, oh, he was, yeah. on a, he was certainly in the same scene as Freddie Mercury, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but um, I think earlier this week there was um, there was something on on the Twitter about your favorite show as a kid, and um, everyone was putting in you know Knight Rider and A Team and things like that. And this one was mine, which was 
the Kenny Everett television show, which is probably not traveling to the States, but no. is pretty good and worth worth a while, worthwhile he, having a look at. Is he just like a variety comedian guy? Yeah, pretty much a sketch out. Uh, sketch out. He started out as a radio DJ, which again makes you think that he probably should be on the same mm-hmm. list as Savile. Uh, but um, he the ominous it, parallels. Yeah. <laughs> but he, but his his skill was um, he was brilliant with um, with editing and was able to do a lot of layering with when when we were uh, back in the days when you were working with tape and you know mm-hmm. so he was he was very talented as a a technical um, DJ. But um, yeah, he went into comedy. Um, and had a few very successful series and a very unsuccessful uh, movie. All right. Well, I'm a big fan of like uh, DIY humor. Oddly enough, I hate Tim Allen, but um, I like this kind of stuff. I love the SNL sketch with um, Dan Aykroyd playing uh, Julia Child. It's oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I love it. So let's check it out. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> hello, DIY buffs. Rage Prescott here with some more helpful DIY tips for all DIY freaks out there in DIY land. <laughs> well, you'll let us keep rolling in, and as you can see, I've got them stacked in this handy mail rack that we made last week for a staggering total of £1.87. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Just before we start, I'd like to say a few words about looking after your tools. A dirty tool is no use to anybody. <laughs> They've got to be in the right place and clean and sharp, like our old mate, the crosscut saw. He likes to live down here, and I've really had a go at sharpening him today. I smell a blood tube coming. I was hoping he was going to cut himself. <laughs> oh, yeah, there it is. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Better than I expected. <laughs> <laughs> no fee. Hello. The retro yeah. encabulator. Hello. Well, now to business. Let's get on with our French provincial Louis XIV cabinet, or cabinari, as they say in the Belle France. You'll remember the first week we started the cabinet, and we've completed the frame as you can see. This week, we'll be doing the doors. And for this, we'll be using our trusty old chum, the electric jigsaw, down here. Hold it! Hold it! I was holding it. you never to leave uh, hey, ice man. plugged in on the hey, doctor yeah where exactly where exactly I... is that blood coming from <laughs> do you know I, I'm, I'm starting to get the impression this may have been actually cut a little bit because um, there, may, there may be some continuity errors i think there may be because i i remember the the main focus of these sketches was the the splurgy blood the sort of sam raimi level oh, of gore. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> That's and, and it got, I'm fairly sure that um, this was on sort of pre Watershed, you know, sort of at 8 p.m. Yeah, so kids like were watching the, all like that. Like the one good scene in uh, European Vacation. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do. I do have a question for Smilex. So the uh, I have I have I've noticed on multiple occasions that people refer to this kind of talking as adenoidal. As as if they have their ad. Oh yeah, right. yeah. Uh, Jeremy Clarkson does it, doesn't he? And, yeah, I, and well, every time I see a bad driver on the road, I always do the voice as well in my head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Marjorie, Reagan, you need to Walt turn left. I think I always drive at this speed. Yes. <laughs> so what? Why in God's green earth have the adenoids uh, been a uh, a focus of it's, um, uh, on that? I think every time that anybody uh, is a um, a bit of a anorak, a train spotter, any any kind of like um, you know proper seriously boring nerd, that's the voice that always seems to come up. Right, I understand I the voice, but I but can't remember why, um... why are those voices attributed to some of the ownership <laughs> of adenoids. <laughs> Yeah, I think you might have to ask Monty Python. I think they may have started this. I'm not Did entirely really? sure where it. Well, I know that they certainly used it, but I don't know whether or not they actually began it. The, I the mean, the, the the voice the voice <laughs> has always kind of existed as a mockery or whatever. I'm just wondering why it's attributed to the existence of adenoids. <laughs> All right, yeah, uh, I'm not Jay, sure. <laughs> I really... Jay, I can't believe I'm asking you to talk, but. Um... <laughs> 
<laughs> can you can you give Fiona the the thirty second pitch on what the confabulator video was? Oh yeah, yeah. She's confused about what it was. Uh, yeah. So Princess Fiona, the uh, the the retro encabulator is a callback to the turbo encabulator, uh, which is a fake um training video where a a guy who's who's famous for industrial videos um decides to just string together bullshit on top of bullshit um while pointing to certain things and, and all jargon. that and, and 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 but with absolute deadpan yeah so fee knows the the turbo encabulator okay. this is the retro should. encabulator yeah, yeah which was done by rockwell yeah, being a pencil and paper guy, I was new to that. So, uh, uh, thank you, Drew, for looking out for our copyrights. Yeah, I preloaded this, so we should be okay. <laughs> uh, Fiona says, "Oh, we used to show our suits that video." All right. Well, which which the retro or the turbo? We'll wait. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have time. Nasty accident. Right, this little rascal here can be a very handy friend around the workshop. It will save us a lot of time making our cabinet francaise. With this all-purpose blade, which is sharp enough to cut through anything. <laughs> Let's get a door off, shall we? This is my old job. <laughs> Let's call this door here. Number one. <laughs> still over here. Number one. Number two. As you can see, I've marked out the shape. I will be cutting. It will be cutting. Right. Here. I'll put the cutter on the edge here, right? Here we'll grab the wood with this hand. And we'll start off by cutting down. No. Line, making sure we have the wood nice and steady. Uh, here we are then. <laughs> La cabinet est fini. <laughs> well done. As you can see, uh, it's a piece of cake and takes no time. True, Amelia. If your shop teacher <laughs> has all of their fingers, they don't know what they're doing. How you got on? <laughs> you know, there's lots of room in these drawers. A quick aside, um, in junior high school, I, I loved shop class, which is eventually led me to learning how to build things uh, through various mistakes. But uh, there was a kid in the class who was complaining that he got like a splinter or a tiny little cut on his finger or whatever. And a shop teacher just laid his hands out on the desk and said, <laughs> find a finger that isn't bleeding. <laughs> Uh, I have so my my high school shop teacher who was also uh, tangentially related to me. Uh, whenever he had a new class every year, would uh, talk about safety, and he would hold up his right hand and say, "There are three good reasons to be safe because he was missing three fingers." Pow! That's good. Kevin, are these my fingers? <laughs> Well, oh, that's it for now, DIY fans. See you next week. The other way! Oh. <laughs> and don't forget to keep the workshop tidy. Thank you. Oh, I have, I have one very quick story about Kenny Everett, which, really, which makes me happy every time I think about it. Um, he had a, um, a comedy writing partner called Barry Cryer, and um, for a long time, for about three or four series on the BBC, they had a character on there called Cupid Stunt, which is, you know, something you shouldn't say quickly. Cunning stunt. Um, cu <laughs> Cupid Stunt. So, Cupid yeah, so, Stunt? Yeah. So it's a spoonerism, right? So, you know, it's stupid. Um, I like it. Anyway. Yeah. So anyway, basically, they got away with it for about four series, putting it on BBC at about 7.30 p.m. Um, and uh, about about four years in, uh, they were called up to the, uh, to the, the uh, for a meeting with the director and uh, were told, we like all of your shows. They're getting good uh, good reviews and everything, but uh, we need you to uh, to change the character name for uh, for this particular character, Cupid Stunt. We need to, you to change that. So they went, oh, okay, no problem. 
And they went away, and then they came back about 20 minutes later, giggling like schoolboys, um, and, and basically said, yes, we've, we've changed the name. Uh, she's going to be now, now known as uh, Mary Hinge. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and, and the BBC was so, so stupid that uh, for about oh, the next that's three that's series, that's, uh, they took it. <laughs> she was, she, yeah, Mary Hinge made it to TV for about three more series. So uh, that shows the, uh, the management level at the BBC. I love yeah. that. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Drew, I did technical drawings of girls in in school. That was what technically, I technically they were drawings. Yeah. Yes, uh, technical that's drawing not, was that's not unlike the American ratings board either. <laughs> yeah, yeah I think the BBC system. was a, a special kind of stupid. I mean, no offense, yeah. but no, no, no absolutely. Um, I, well, to I, be to be fair, like in my university, when when they were first, you know, handing out like uh, Vax uh, usernames and stuff like that, you go down and apply, and they said no obscenity, and so I chose phallus. Michael Hunt. <laughs> no, I was phallus, and because they didn't know Greek, I was good. <laughs> yeah, um, I I remember a story uh, Michael Palin was telling uh, on an interview about when they pitched Monty Python to the BBC, and it just it just goes on and on and on. It's like, well, what's the show about? Well, we're not sure really. Okay, <laughs> well then, uh, what are you going to do? Well, I expect we'll try and be funny. All right, well you've got eleven episodes, but no more. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that story. Yeah, he's, it's like, yeah. uh, do you, are you going to have music? Uh, uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly, yes. If if that's what's required, of course. If that makes you happy, yeah. yes, we'll have. You music. may not be happy with the songs we sing, but they'll be there. We've mm -hmm. got a lumberjack bit. We've yeah. got. Yeah. <laughs> I like. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Where do you see the movies? I was always partial to the uh, philosopher song. Philosopher Soccer? No. Oh, the, yeah. The, yeah. Oh, we, Manuel Cat was a real piss. And oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The philosophy <laughs> song, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was right. always I, what what I mean. Everybody kind of has their favorite Monty Python movie or whatever. Meaning of Life was always my favorite. There, that was the first one I saw in a theater, so that one has a special place in my. That mind. is that is without question their best film. You know. Like, well, the, the hilarious thing is a lot of people don't think it is because it was a they were kind of making it up as they were going along and and oh wait no uh, i'm sorry I'm, th I'm thinking of life or brian but you know like meaning of life is a close second get out no yeah i i <laughs> life of brian's like eh, it's all right um you know it's 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 they're certainly funny it's a much larger scene but my god that nearly killed them from making movies though i feel like meaning of life has maybe aged a little better tell me if i'm wrong but it seems a little more timeless whereas the life of brian feels 70s to me yeah it's, it's ooh, we're gonna be edgy and rebel against christianity you, you bore me now I think it's Meaning of Life is the one I've seen the least of the three, which means it's probably the one that I could still watch, you know, uh, and get some laughs out of, because I think I've killed you the two by watching well, them it, so many it, times. It, it, there, there's a fat man that explodes. There and is Mr. Creosote. It's Mr. Creosote, yeah. And yeah. Get, uh, a guy getting chased off a cliff by... This Nathan man Willis is about to die. Uh, he has yeah, chosen the manner of his execution <laughs> by right, a topless right. roller derby team. Uh, the Salmon Moose. The oh, yeah. salmon moose. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> okay, oh, I changed so my mind again. I had it right the first time. You're pretty Meaning malleable. Life is better, just... but uh, Life of Brian is like the uh, you know the other fantastic fucking movie. They're all good. I'm not trying to denigrate. No, them. no, it's yeah. Again, every, that's why everybody kind of has their favorite because they're yeah. all hilarious in interesting ways. Holy Grail yeah. is 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 great. Live at the Hollywood Bowl. Is it um, the meaning of life that has? I do love the the live at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, so that's fantastic. Is it meaning of life that has the one where the uh, like the bankers and the pirates? Yeah, and yeah, the, the Crimson yeah, Permanent yeah. Insurance. That's a, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it's there's the a short film the before the movie. Yeah, yeah. it's the, it's the short before the film. And that's the thing that killed the budget, really, because they pretty much just like wiped it all out in that first twenty five oh, minutes. Really yeah, yeah, with the stop motion. Yeah, <laughs> it's all practical. Well, that, that's that's Terry Gilliam like cutting his yes. teeth. Before yeah. you bury it, well, and going nuts, yeah. like oh, well, no, it was oh. it was Terry Gilliam with a budget. Well, I mean, Terry Gilliam also blew the fucking load on on uh, on Holy Grail, but he also made Brazil. So hmm. he did. And I cried bandits. at the end of Brazil in the theater. I cried. And time bandits. 
It was so good. Sadly, he also made Baron von Munchausen. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't like exactly. that movie. I it's eh, right? It's, it's very, like uh, I, I don't I don't I don't dislike it. I don't like it. It's right same. in that middle ground of oh, it's on. Okay, and it's I hope beautiful. nothing better is on. It's beautiful to watch, but yeah, kind of narratively, it's it's not Brazil. Did like, you see just, the um, the uh, documentary he made about the uh, uh, with, with, working with Johnny Depp? Was it Man of La Mancha? Yeah, Man of La Mancha. That was great. That was great. Brilliant for me. documentary. <laughs> and and I I'm so sad that that it, never it is a happen. it is a yeah I know I was gonna say it's a better movie than the movie that eventually yeah, came of it starring absolutely. Adam Driver. Like that's not a yeah. terrible movie, but you know like. Terry Gilliam has really kind of stopped making uh, pretty good movies. And it's, you know, it's telling that, like, you know, now he's, like, kind of, like, writing his own movies. And there's all and, not, and not getting them made. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, he's the, the, one of the actual, like, good talents, great talents that can't get a break anymore. Well, I think I think because uh, the, the market, the market, pretend, you know, so he puts out a movie and it and it shits the bed at the box office. Yeah, and he, then, he's a bit of a loose cannon, isn't he? I mean, the, right, the, the, yeah. you know, because he, he is an artist, but he but with and that comes the, uh, the the craziness, doesn't it? Because he's one of those types of artists. Yeah. <laughs> but so, they're happy well, to piss away money on Captain Marvel. That's well, well, that oh, is yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. And, he, and he, he could have made a better film for for a fraction of it, couldn't he? You know, twenty. Give him twenty million, he would have made you something interesting. Yeah, I, I, again, again, like so I many artists, it. they need restrictions in order to really let their genius, yeah. you know, yeah. fly. The, the limitation. Uh, I, I'm inclined to agree, but also, like you know, Terry Gilliam has written terrible female characters in the later half of his career. Like terrible female characters. Exactly. They're all like, like, like. Uh, I don't know if you saw the one with uh, Christoph Waltz. You know, where like she was literally both the Virgin Mary and the whore at the same woman. time. Huh? Christoph Waltz is not a woman. <laughs> no, he was in the movie. I he mean, that would be star. terrible writing. But well, I mean, that, yeah. was, that was actually he was terrible at writing a woman. He actually wrote a man. Yeah, it was. I don't <laughs> like the Fisher King either, Drew. Actually, what one thing? What the, I, actually, actually, I didn't. I didn't mind like the Fisher, the Fisher King. King. I like. I like the Fisher I like King. The Fisher King. It's. It's not a happy go. Oh, I know the movie. film you're talking about. It was um, Zero Theorem. Zero Theorem. That's the name That's, of the movie. I have not. That's seen Christoph it. Waltz. I've. Seen, I saw that in the cinema. Yeah. yeah. Not a yeah, great the, film. The woman. Yeah, the female character in that. You know, is, is she's both a whore and. Uh, uh, Virgin Mary, it's like fucking yeah, ridiculous. or none. Yeah, and then <laughs> are, you or saying, none. Are, you, are you saying that women women can't be both? Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. No, I mean, yeah. Oh. Go ahead, write that script. Yeah, Twelve Monkeys <laughs> is twenty nine million, incredibly well spent. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know 20... what the CPA is. Matt Twelve... Stewart's tribute. Yeah, Twelve Monkeys I is great Matt because Stewart. he didn't write it. You know, like like okay. Uh, yeah. I'm a huge Matt Fuhrer fan. I'm a Max Hedrum diehard. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Has, has, didn't that, has, didn't that did start anyone... in the UK? I think it did, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. Max Hedrum did, yeah. That was yeah. Uh, yeah. Channel 4, I think. Yeah, yeah. It was, what was it, 29 minutes in the future? Yeah. 20 yeah. minutes in the future. 20 minutes in the future. Yeah. It's one of the best early cyberpunk movies ever made. The, the uh, pilot is about a 90-minute show stretched yep. out to two hours, and it's fantastic. Uh, it has a uh, I can't remember his name, but one of the guys from the Young Ones uh, shows up in it uh, as one of the like pirates uh, organ yeah. sellers, and it's so good. I and think you can, series, I think you can find it on either YouTube or Internet Archive. It's I think, yeah, I think it's out there as well. Yeah, it's around. Yeah. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, yeah, big yeah. time uh, television. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, what's well, and name? again, taking taking the total piss out of out of the state of the industry. Which and has it all not came improved. True. Has it not improved since. True. Yeah. Have, yeah. Have, have, did any of you see the uh, the HBO? Um, I, it was it was one of their comedy get-togethers. I think it was the Aspen Comedy Festival or something like that. And they got together the um, members of Monty Python, uh, kind of doing reminiscence. And they were talking about great. Well, so one thing is they came in. They had an urn that they claimed was Graham Chapman, and they were constantly <laughs> knocking it over. <laughs> and then trying to like brush it up or whatever. 
what they were talking about when they when they uh, when Germany uh, brought them over and and they had to learn uh, their lines in German, even though they you know didn't really understand German or anything like mm-hmm. that, right? And, Phonetically, yeah. Yeah, and and they talked about how you know they're, they're they're delivering it, but they're not sure what to put emphasis on or whatever. So they're kind of dead painting it or whatever. And the Germans are loving it, but when they when they first flew over after the, after the contract was signed, the Germans immediately took them to one of the death camps, and I can't remember if it was Bergen Belsen or or something like that, right? And they and they drive up, and it's a weekend, and they show up and. Uh, the German interpreter goes up, you know, the fixer, and he's talking or whatever, and he comes back. He goes, uh, I'm so sorry. The camp is closed. And Graham Chapman rolls down the window and says, tell them we're Jews. <laughs> <laughs> and the gate's open. <laughs> Things wide right. open. Yeah. Okay, no idea. Okay, you had so reservations. <laughs> I'm looking at uh, the IMDb for the Max Hedrum pilot. Um, I can't find the guy that played what I'm talking about from the young ones. But uh, we have uh, William Morgan Shepard as Blank Reg, the guy with the mohawk, and Amanda Pays as uh, Matt Fuhrer's interest. Right. Bruce I forgot Lane, about her. Uh, Paul Spurrier, Hilton McRae. Uh, these are all very recognizable faces. These yeah, what a, what a terrible letdown the U.S. Um, Max Headroom series was. Compared well, the to commercialization the of him in the Coke commercials yeah. was terrible. Well, it didn't help. I mean, no, th- there was actually a Max Headroom TV series in the U.S. Yeah, yeah. And, and no, it no, was, this is the pilot. Yeah. This is the pilot yeah. that started all. No, that. no, yeah, but that's the pilot that was in Britain. The U.S. The U.S. But they version showed it there. They showed is it. is right, but the U. They then did a U.S. series. It was one season. And it, yeah, it was, was like, no, we're just going to piss on all of that. And it's just yeah. going to become yeah. stupid no, you're comedy right. mix up. Yeah. And it was, yeah. and it was crap. Th- the same actor was later on in a sitcom called Dr. Doctor. Which, oh, uh, I don't know about that. Yeah. I think, I've, unless I've got my fact wrong, which is 100% possible. Oh, man. Really? I feel he didn't yeah. stutter. He was glitching. <laughs> Oh, there's and so he's much. excellent. He's excellent in art of noise, paranormia. You yeah. know, what we should show. We should show someday. We should show the uh, the uh, transmission uh, hijack where a guy dressed up like Max said. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh yeah, Chicago. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> I I was I I was watching WGN at the time. Uh, Fiona, you're a thousand percent on point. I'm a I'm a uh, unashamed uh, fan of cyberpunk. Mm-hmm. Every every genre every uh, period how do you but, feel about lawnmower man uh, and, and uh but cyberpunk is exactly like one of the most shorthanded fucking genres ever made johnny mnemonic and uh everything else blade runner came the closest yeah yeah have they have they ever tackled the william gibson stuff i, I don't know if they it's tied up in production hell Oh, Everything right. but Johnny Mnemonic. Johnny is Mnemonic just, is the only one that I can recall. Which I don't hate. It's fine for what it is, but it's, it's pretty budget. wild. I yeah, mean, but it, it I, needs. I it needs. Hate, it, I don't hate it really Johnny should Mnemonic be like either. a a a movie that was made after several deep lore cyberpunk movies were made, and then it's a little surf superficial, and it needs to yeah. be like deep, hard concept stuff. Yeah, yeah. In, end of days is another pseudo strange days. Strange, strange days. days. I was just thinking oh, about yeah. strange, strange days. days. Yeah. yeah, that's a hard strange movie. To save is, yeah, strange days is great. I like that a lot. Um, I oh, uh, I, I understand that uh, there's like a there's there's footage from uh, Tank Girl. Like Tank Girl is a much better and much longer movie somewhere somehow. But it's not cyberpunk. No, that's that's more yeah. diesel punk. It's yeah. Armageddon stuff, apocalyptic stuff. I mean, it's, it's um, diesel. Right. It's diesel punk, which is yeah. Like halfway between. Well, I didn't mean to wander and... to the wrong subgenre. I'm sorry. <laughs> My life. Can you explain to Princess Fiona what a TV license is and why you don't pay it? Yeah, I don't pay it. Um, I, I, <laughs> uh, but yes, you are supposed to. If you're watching live television broadcast in this country, from this country, uh, you need a license to be able to do it. So that's not just the BBC, but it used to just be the BBC. But it now incorporates 
all the other main channels. Um, and also, if you use iPlayer on the um, uh, the internet, you're supposed to have a TV license in order to do it. And it's about 100 and, I think last time it was around about 140 quid, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about, it's at least over 140 quid. I, I'm pretty like, sure, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 170. It though. may be, yeah, you could be right. I haven't paid it in about 10 years because I don't watch television, but. Yeah. Um, they have the same thing in Japan where they have just guys going door to door saying, do you watch TV? Give me a hundred dollars. Well, that's yeah. it, exactly. Oh. I've been getting well, threatened well, for at least the two the years. The was much more aggressive, like in yeah. the broadcast days. They actually really? drove around in vans that detected yeah. whether your set was receiving uh the bbc Whoa. yeah really? that is that is true yeah. but they they don't and they don't enable the technology to actually you know catch you for it they just no. threaten you like a bunch of cheap mafia exactly and they don't generally have any power of entry or anything like that when they turn up on your doorstep so you yeah they're kind the of right to close too, the door because yeah. the the you know the analog signals that used to <laughs> cause your old they, vacuum to, to down uh, mower, resonate man. But it in does. America. Yes, um, it does. I was just to say that on the back of what happened last week with Doctor Who, it does. It, it is one of those things that is very unique. Uh, that uh, the BBC can basically put out the the content that it wants to do, and it doesn't really matter what the viewing figures are like, because of course they're getting right, funded effectively by a tax, you know, right. each year. So and they're not a, really. Okay, they're not really government concerned. controlled media is fine. I mean, there's no problems with that. You Absolutely. can make sure yeah. that there's no disinformation on your government controlled. Yeah, media. it's a weird quasi government agency. So. Yeah, historically, it's a winner. And of course, they, the BBC doesn't have any commercials as such. So unlike uh, ITV, Channel 4, um, and other channels in the UK who have commercial breaks, um, they are relying yeah. on on you know com uh, people yeah, wanting yeah. to actually put their products out there. So of course, they are a little bit more thoughtful about the TV shows that they're putting out. They make them more popular for people, but um, which is why you get more quiz shows and reality shows on those channels. But uh, yeah, the BBC pretty much does what it wants <laughs> yeah. it's a law unto itself yeah well it does, it does it does whatever its primary funder wants which is the government so I, well that, speaking that is, of uh, people coming to your door asking for money whoa. oh did it clear whoa. did it clear <laughs> double checking I think it did. Oh, what my nipples say? are fully erect now <laughs> we are getting <laughs> classic <laughs> internet video here it's good all right, here we go. If, there's a uh, saying. There's a sudden blackout on the stream. We'll be back in 60 seconds. But... <sighs> My neck hurts for this one. So it says here, uh, Madonna is reinventing herself again. Hey, did you get that letter from the uh, doctor yet? I did. What did oh, it say? I love this. My dad's gay. I knew it. <laughs> Those blood tests don't lie. Who's that? It's my landlord, Pearl. Oh, I'm getting out of here, man. No, She's no, nasty. No, no. Please. I need to stay. All right. I'm just going to pause to stretch this out for copyright. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be ugly. I think, is she or guy his is daughter? Really no, so pause. Yeah. So the other guy in the scene, that's his daughter. Yeah. They actually made two videos. And then she was getting old enough that it was like, it's probably not such a good idea to have her say some of the things that will be said. Yeah. In this I have very conflicting feelings about this, but then I had a vasectomy, so it doesn't. <laughs> oh. Hi, Pearl. <laughs> you don't have to raise your voice. You pay you. I can give you half. You pay little bitch. Hey, don't talk to me like that, okay? I'm getting this crap. Look, I, I thought I was clear in my email that I needed a couple weeks. I work too hard. Can I just get two more weeks? I want my money. You need to relax. Uh-uh. I got my money, bitch. Hey, don't call me bitch. I'm a grown man. Bitch, 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 bitch. God, you're mean. <laughs> God, you're mean. <laughs> I have mixed I feelings so about much. this. I really do. <laughs> you don't talk to me like that. Bitch, bitch, bitch. <laughs> Uh, Fiona, we're not showing anything that hasn't been thoroughly previewed and run through the copyright thing because we're we're on the edge of getting struck. So, uh, give me the link on Twitter or whatever, and I'll I'll run it through ahead of time. <laughs> Don't make fun of me crying. I'm not. I'm not doing 
so good, Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> Pearl, I'm gonna pay you. I, I, I'm working three jobs right now. I'm working nights. I'm driving a. I'm driving a cab. I'm inside with my buddy right now, just going over my resume. I'm gonna smack you. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve okay, it. Okay, you know what? You need to relax. <laughs> <laughs> same pearl, same. <laughs> Why do you need your money so fast? Come on. I need to get my drink on. You scared me. <laughs> oh. Seriously, you are an alcoholic. Yeah, you're drunk. I knew it. You're already drunk. You know, you're in no you're in no condition to, to deal with this right now. Take my beer. You know, just take your beer and get out of here, okay? Yeah, we'll talk tomorrow. This isn't over. Mommy. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I that no matter how many times I've seen this, it is always funny to me. Yeah, I do remember it, but it was way back when. <laughs> yeah, this was like, I don't know. Oh, there's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of old funny or die that is just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of it is very good. <sighs> yeah, they, they have a, there's another one where she's, uh, so there's a guy being interrogated in a police station and the uh, Will Ferrell and the, the other guy are like, you know, they're, man, you don't want to have her interrogate you all right i mean we warned you and they bring in rose oh i've seen that one yeah. i've seen yeah. that one yes i remember yeah. that one yeah but rose the landlord oh jesus yeah rose that thing yeah, killed the landlord my oh. god do we want to have an you're, you're drunk look at yourself? you this one i just buzzed <laughs> i just i just want my beer i want four beers what four beers <laughs> she settled for I want my money <laughs> i want my money <laughs> Right, oh my god. god. I just I just love the hey don't call me. I'm a grown man. This one bitch bitch bitch. God <laughs> damn. You oh are drunk. God. My high school girlfriend had uh like a two year old um sister and we thought it was funny that like we taught her to say that uh someone who had upset us recently was a dork. Like we could not get over the fact that she was like, Pat is a dork. That's back a door. Back in the day, huh? We yeah, were so we were, like, yeah, yeah, we were like, we were like, what, what's Pat? And she was like, a door. <laughs> so we, so we had a, uh, we had a, uh, it was uh, uh, my nephew was getting married, and a bunch of his friends um, from across the U.S. flew in or whatever. One of them is Lambert, who I absolutely adore. He's a, uh, he's a lawyer, um, black. Uh, kid who's who's also gay and republican so he's like all of the all of the mix up oh. just mash it up and go right um mm -hmm. but uh, at the time uh their their old their sister uh had a had a daughter marina and and she was maybe between two and three and so she was kind of you know doing the the say words and repeat them but not accurately um and the uh his mother-in-law had a dog named Snickers. Only that's not what Marina said. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh. and okay. so and so right. the joke Lady, constantly honey, was, hey, why, why don't you? Wh where's the dog? And she would walk around saying that, and Lambert was oh. laughing his ass off the oh. whole time at that or whatever. And so it became a joke throughout that entire week. Or somebody would just oh, randomly go Snickers, <laughs> and Lambert would <laughs> fucking die. Um, oh, when I was a kid, oh, my grandpa oh, taught me to sing uh, "Shitty Shitty Bang Bang" instead of "Chitty Chitty." Bang oh yeah, Bang oh yeah, Bang. and yep. it drove my mother absolutely crazy. Your mother deserves it. She does. She does. <laughs> my, uh, I, I will share with you though my Mother of the Year award when my son was about I don't know three ish 
I was in Target. He was parked in the basket, waiting in line to get checked out. And just out of the blue, he says, dumb shit. Uh-huh. And I, I just looked at him in shock and I kind of, it was loud enough that the, the lady in front of me heard and the, the cashier heard. And I sort of chuckled nervously, you know, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> So Alex took I'm so that glad to I have this babysitting yeah, job. Yeah, and my son took that to mean absolute hilarity. It made mom laugh. Let's say so it he louder the hell and out of more it. Yeah. often. Yeah, and that's it, right onto it. Yeah, it was just like dumb shit, dumb shit. And, my, uh, uh, it's, and it wasn't that. instead of the the look of oh, can say the darnest things. No, no, the look was oh. So that's the kind of household. Oh yeah, oh exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was mortified. Yeah. My uh Absolutely my, mortified. My grandmother, um, so my my great grandmother would leave her um with her father, uh, who ran a barber shop. And and one day she caught my grandmother walking home and she had long pigtails, and this little puppy kept jumping up and grabbing the pigtails. And she said she heard my grandmother say, puppy dog, puppy dog, goddamn puppy dog. And that was the last time she got to go to the barber shop and hang around. <laughs> <laughs> I also, uh, my kids, so I would always like, you know, play jokes on my kids or, or tell them ridiculous things. I was like Calvin's dad. Teach them um, wrong. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I'd been on a kick where um, everybody loves me. Um, and my youngest, uh no this is when i was like you know and anything that would happen that would like be proof against that i would explain it away as no this is actually an act of love they love me uh you could see the results you know everything worked out all that stuff so we were in uh home depot buying a bunch of of stuff to to remodel my mom's house and so we're we're, we're there at the at the, the cash and i'd already said she she was like does the cashier love you of course everybody loves me Right, there are millions. I am beloved by millions. I think was the actual phrase that I used. Right? Well, I'm glad you dropped that over the years. Yeah, and <laughs> and so well, the millions actually found me and then realized no, they didn't. But I still hope. I still I've have hope. For, Twenty of them are watching right now. <laughs> I, I I still have hope that there are certain undiscovered tribes who still love me. Um, I love you, Jay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but the uh, so so we're standing. We're there. We're checking out or whatever. It's not and, a phase and bomb. The the cashier is like you know talking to you know can everybody she's you know because i think there's some problem scanning some stuff and i'm doing the oh well if you know three scans if it doesn't you know then it's free right and we're laughing about it and then my youngest says do you love my daddy and the cashier just has this what the fuck look on her face right (laughs) and i said i said honey i'm beloved by millions that doesn't mean that she's one of them but given the amount of money I'm spending, she better goddamn well love me. And I looked at her, she started laughing. And I was like, eh, Z, I'll play it off. It's fine. I get give her a little eyebrow. There yeah. is there is no embarrassing me in public. Trust me, it's not working out for you. I can't embarrass you in private. I, I've tried. I mean, I giggle occasionally, but that's about it. Yeah. You know. <laughs> if I tickle the right spot, you do. I just <laughs> throw my a, hat down. If there's a trampoline involved <laughs> and a kazoo. <laughs> then hats are off. Getting yes. a little demanding. Getting a little demanding. That's my well, new right. fetish. What do you call the what do you call the kazoo and trampoline fetish? <laughs> Kazoopoline? I see if you're wearing wing tips. Trampazoo. <laughs> <laughs> that Superman is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic trampazoo. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you another uh, quickie here. Oh, you said that's all the girls. Speaking of being shut down by YouTube, you got to say holy shit. That's pretty cool. On topic, <laughs> censorship: a question of judgment or Jesus's mandate? You <laughs> be the judge. Oh, he'll be the judge. judge. It all goes down in Kansas City tonight. The latest in what appears to be an increasing trend to settle differences brutally. Oh, I love I a good story cat about fight. this university. Oh, wait, no, is never about mind. But this is still okay. This is Nancy Martin, student editor Jeez, of the school paper. Sniper. 
what she sees prompts her decision to do Worse, something. she's a student editor of the school paper. Her fight is the subject yeah. of a legitimate news story. She will discover that there can be a difference of opinion. My name's Rod Sterling. <laughs> and I'm slumming it. <laughs> Some of the young men take a deep light stance. No, this fight is over their pronoun to me. The man's leaving his guard way too open. You can't wear your hair tall enough at an after school fight. No, Am she's making right? a camera to a fist fight. She's gonna win. She's gonna ask them all to stand really still and watch the birdie. Yeah, it's just smack a bitch with that camera and knock him out. He smiled by so, Gary Lawson. So glad I got color fill. It's really good to get that bright red blood. You get Amelia, covered. this is what started the fight. Yeah. <laughs> You're a journalist, Carl. Well, Nancy, it's certainly a very vivid picture. But why bring it to me? And Mr. gory Bishop, and disgusting. Shame picture on, on you. The front page of our next issue. Oh, come now, Nancy. We can't print a picture like that. Even they if you are 29 years old and still in high school. Students take it home. It's read by their no, parents. she's in college. Is that Just less what Nesman? A picture like that would do to the reputation of our school. I don't know. I have a Cindy Seems chalk lines on the floor. Very poor taste. But Mr. Bishop, this sort of thing is Turkey going on all drop. the time. Turkey and drop. Turkey drop. boys were killed. Someone's going to be seriously hurt. I think we have an obligation to print it. Nancy, we live in a world that's troubled enough as it is. It isn't the purpose of any newspaper well, on the Clinton problem, Howard's hairline. People want to read. Um, Twenty-two-year-old Clinton, Clinton Howard's hairline. Involved. Definitely not his body. <laughs> <the damage laughs> <to them. laughs> Mr. Bishop, I don't think that's the point. What about the damage to them and all the others it's if this like sort of thing isn't Lumpa. stopped? I think you're exaggerating. There have always been fights. There always will be, and surely printing this picture isn't going to help. The acting is situation. still better in this than it was in the one from last week. The purpose of a newspaper. With those teenagers. Don't let the people know about the oh. things that are going wrong. Oh, the sedated <laughs> monotone <laughs> club. <laughs> After all, the world wow, is you guys remember last week? week. <laughs> it just came back then like an acid flashback. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We tried very hard to forget, but you keep dredging up old wounds. <laughs> I believe it will help. The only thing I'm dredging up is uh, Spanish olives. I don't think we should hide things just because they're unpleasant. How do we stop things like this if we don't let them? I don't know. Happening? I've been told to hide a lot of my unpleasant things. Stick to school news. Leave this sort of thing to news. You need to put a smile on your face. Oh, Nancy. But Mr. Hello. Bishop, oh. isn't Hello. One, 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 one. Look at John's face. Well, He's been out of school now for two days. Don't you think it's time we did something about this? The one in the back is uh, grooming that young man. What is going on in the on the chalkboard? Who, what, when, why, where? I was actually. How do I teach? That's that's basic basic English. Yeah. Who, what, when, why, where? The bottom line on the right says something about B-roll, I'm pretty sure. We Who, who's the young the Deb in this team? Are are the blonde. Oh, Vex. No, Vex is well <laughs> trained now. She's <laughs> searching for young Deb. She's already been in doctrine. Yeah, yeah. She's got a pipe. The bald dude is the Deb. The young man is in on it. This is about to get really hot. No, I'm pretty sure the, the hot blonde is the young Deb. What oh, do you think a good it's the Riddler! Feel? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's a Batman theme, and we didn't even know it. So when is censorship okay? <laughs> Riddle me this. When's recess? <laughs> I'll take never for 500. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say never, ever. <laughs> You know, you when it's when it's it. disinformation, misinformation, things that don't agree with the government, anything from Disney. Oh, that's right. Mm. Propaganda never sleeps. Oh gosh, we've had a we've had a meaty show tonight. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the shows. Yeah, just the shirtless beefcake ones. Oh, oh man, dude, that guy's body was like. No, my homeboy was rocking. Yeah. yeah. Man, and hairless and glistening and all that good shit. Sweet. We know how we know how he got that gig. Like, like there's no doubt about it. It was mm. not his. It was not his acting chops. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Well, I've got 
One more little quickie for all my friends. Let's see. I know he yeah. says that to all the streams. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, if I heard that in the check stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one's a, a bit of a slow buildup, but it's a, a great payoff. Once again. Uh, yes, promises, <laughs> promises. <laughs> Oh, wait. I can only have 10 Sadly, minutes. We've seen your performances in the past. We're not buying it. I can only have 10 minutes. I'll give you five. Okay, so if, three. If you, exactly. If you notice, uh, the the horrible duck logo is missing from the upper right corner. We splurged. <gasps> oh, we my bought, God. We bought the minimum bare absolute. <laughs> did you get it on sale? Because I noticed they sent me we an did. email. It's like, the sale is ending. We did. We, we did. did. It was, uh, oh, see, you know, I told you they get monetization suddenly. I'm rich, bitch. That's yeah. We don't need to talk with. to any of you anymore. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're just loaded with cash. Uh, I'm, glad, I'm, I'm, glad. I'm going to hang out with Elon and tell everyone to fuck themselves. Yeah, you <laughs> and fuck yourself. I'm rich. Uh, I'm glad. I'm like... glad this show is too good for me now. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I would never belong to a group that would have me as a member. And we couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Adam's standing on the backs of plebes everywhere. I'm already excited. I love this funny. Look at him. He's amazing. A tall man with a high hat Sexy bitch. and a whiskers on his chin will soon be knocking at your door. And you ought to be in. The tall man with the high hat will be coming down your way. Get your savings out when you hear him shout. And he bonds today. Come on and get him, folks. Come on, skip right up and get him. Any bonds today, bonds of freedom, that's what I'm selling, any bonds today. Scrape up the most you can, here comes the freedom man, asking you to buy a share of freedom today. Money stamps today. Oh, okay. Okay. We finally got the casual racism. Sammy, my, my Uncle Sammy. Here comes the freedom man. <laughs> Tomorrow's plan. Not unless you buy a share of freedom today. Any stamps, any bonds today. Freedom. I suspect uh, they were all contractually obliged to do that. There was probably some sort of drug bust that they were all involved in, and they had to sort of do yeah. something. Well, yeah, no, yeah, the, 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 Holly, yeah. the Hollywood <laughs> studios actually were actually like oh, like, actually mandated. for America, yeah, yeah, they had to do all this wartime stuff. I don't know if um, in England you had uh, anything like war bonds. Smilex? I think we, yeah, I think we did. Uh, I think I think that was a thing over here. Yeah, uh, I mean, they, were, they, of, they damn sure yeah. weren't paying for anything, you know, lend lease with money. Uh, it was all debt. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, oh, well, yeah. was all, so, all our... so there's an interesting thing. Uh, it's like in World War One, um, communities in England actually would put together, like, have a, a community pot they would pass around to buy a tank. Um, because wow, tank really? fever was a big thing um in world war one when they they got the because the the initial so the, the original attack with tanks is a miserable fucking failure because they didn't use them right um but the the newspapers Ouch. and everything reported as oh this is a stunning success or whatever and and so all these communities put together they would have these tank um fun drives and then there were tons of like tank jewelry everything was like tank related it was like it was like our atomic age I didn't. Uh, I didn't realize that it was like passing the hat, though. That's like really crazy. That's yeah. Nuts. Oh my crap! I mean, in America, we had scrap metal drives and victory gardens and rationing right. and all that stuff. But uh, like actually passing around a hat for a single tank is yeah. They would because well, they wanted they want and they wanted like naming rights or something like that, right? It was like you know the community of Leicester uh, raised the money. This is the Leicester tank. Hmm. Wow, that's crazy. 
Yeah. Smilex, can, can you confirm or deny any of this? <laughs> I'm gonna oh, uh, as our token <laughs> European. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, uh, say that he's probably right because he he seems to know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, don't, don't let Jay off the cuff on that or off the chain on that. That's, it sounds right. right. It does it sound does right. Sound right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people forget the the, he the, the right citizen here in front of his kids, but the citizen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I am beloved by millions. Uh, but the, no, yeah. the the citizens um, in in World War One and World War Two were very much behind um the f the war efforts oh yeah uh, no know, that this was is, this isn't vietnam and, and all that stuff right and yeah. and you know if if you were a healthy young man who wasn't in the war effort uh women would shun you in 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 both britain and the u.s for yeah they, for they'd much rather cowards. not be fucking you while you were overseas getting your head blown off <laughs> well no but again they just thought that you were cowards i mean why the fuck would you you mess around with a coward yeah and loads of people joined up uh below the age of uh the draft as well Lo yeah lots of people joined up the race. They, they wanted to get in you know yeah, that was, that was... Well, yeah and that's existed for a lot of wars i mean the the so an interesting thing is my my great grandfather um volunteered for the civil war um and the age that he claimed versus the age that he actually was at the time so he claimed he was 16 which was still below uh the age that was required but he's actually 13. Whoa. wow Gee, Fuck. Is. i can't um, even imagine my okay so my stepdad my my stepdad was quite a bit older than my my mom but um he he grew up as a depression era kid and um when you know i think it was sometime in like it must have been like around 1931 or so because i think he said he was about 11 when his parents uh took him his uh younger brother his older brother and his younger sister to an orphanage and gave them up because they couldn't feed them anymore. Right. And um, so my dad, you know, my stepdad grew up in a, in an orphanage in Modesto, California, which is just awful as it sounds. I mean, growing up um, in Modesto, regardless of parents, right. is pretty shit. Well, like gave us George Lucas. So obviously Come on. Um, American graffiti. Come on. <laughs> That's how uh, I picture it. That's how I'll always picture it. <laughs> Yeah, said well, nobody that, from, who's ever been to Modesto in their lives. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Go um, ahead, Barbara. Anyway, but my he always said that there was a, a you know a care a groundskeeper guy guy that worked at the orphanage, who had worked as a cook in the navy, you know back in the turn of the century stuff, and so my my dad was like I'm 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 tired of living at the orphanage, I, I'm just going to run off and I'm going to join the Navy. And that way I'll have three hot meals and a place to sleep yeah, and I'll have a paycheck and, and all this yep. stuff. Right. And, and so he would already been in, he ran off, he lied about his age. He joined when he was 16. And by the time he was stationed at Pearl Harbor in 1941, he had already yep. been in the Navy for like five years. Well, and let's let's be clear about this. They knew he was underage, and they took him anyway. Oh yeah. Well, let's Absolutely. be honest. Yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, so so pre pre World War II, it was hard to get into the military. the 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 thing is, we weren't we weren't on a buildup. We had a ludicrously small military up until the the for like nineteen forty into forty one when we start to realize, oh shit, we're actually going to go to war, and start you know piling no no you know you want to be in the military go ahead and then we have you know that once once pearl harbor happens there's a ton of people that come in but prior to that we we have no guns we have we, you know tanks are essentially jeeps running around with plywood uh you know strapped on the outside going this is a tank <laughs> right our our military was woefully unprepared uh for the beginning of world war ii well we stalled long enough to build it oh yeah but well, we were busy building it for everybody else. We were else. building it for everybody else. That's yes, true. and we selling were, it over. Which is much right. like what we did in World War One, the arsenal of democracy. Right. Yeah, it, it wasn't until... Because the U.S. had a... The overall opinion in the U.S. prior to Pearl Harbor 
was we saved isol- Europe isolationism. Once. Yeah, yeah, we, we saved just let, Europe once. We're yeah. not going to go and do right. it again. We, yeah, we don't want to get involved. Yeah, the, we want to be neutral in all of this. Yep. The the first Captain America movie is is actually fairly accurate. I mean, in 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 a Hollywood sense, like you would have a lot of young guys wanting to do the right thing or feeling socially pressured in doing the right thing. And uh, some of them got through the filter for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah once, once, once mm-hmm. Pearl Harbor happens, uh, yeah. yeah. the the draft is, is purely nominal in that. No, no yeah. we're getting more people in than we can actually process. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. There were throngs of people. They were like lining up around, yeah. you know, the buildings to be, to sign up for this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, it was really bonkers. Yeah, that's you true. You go back and watch uh, all the old newsreels for it. It's just insane. You thought, you know, you thought soup line, you know, soup lines were long. These were like right. 10 times longer. Yeah, and it's not all that different today because you have an economic disparity which uh, creates no need for the draft. You've eliminated the draft because you have an economic situation in america where well you can join a gang or you can join the military yeah except that that's not true because the the for one thing my kids were in the military and economics were not their problem well no not not for everyone but honestly hang on hang on that's not the only reason to join but it certainly there's a lot of working class people that do i know people that have joined for dental work yeah, sure, but too. but but the, you'll also see a ton of them go. I'm going to go in for the GI Bill, which is a post World War II uh, payoff or whatever. But we also opted for stop the draft because just bringing in people who don't know their asses from their elbows and couldn't find a trigger on a gun if they needed to is a bad idea. Yeah. Instead, having a small professional army. Well, it's not even a matter. It's not even a matter of, of them not knowing what they're doing. It's a matter of them not caring. And if you draft a bunch of people that don't care and don't want to fight, right? And 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 we learned we learned that post Vietnam, right? Which was oh well, we'll just draft in people. We, it worked in Korea, um, it worked in World War One, World War Two, right? In by the time of Vietnam, people are like, nah, I'm out, right? And and so the the you're drafting the people who can't avoid a draft, for the most part, because if you were even remotely competent you immediately went to a college of some kind to get deferment right i want to i want to i want to address a couple of comments here uh first jamalama uh god bless your grandpa for being off that day uh that's kind of amazing my father uh used to work at the world trade center and he was not in the building on 9 11 so i get that i feel that yeah i knew Um, guys that were in the world trade center when it went down yeah uh that hit very close to home uh yeah. you know my parents still live in new york um drew uh yeah there's a lot of shady shit about pearl harbor so without going too far out on the limb uh if the american military is everything they say it is not knowing pearl harbor was about to happen is kind of bullshit so uh yeah we, we the, had, except, except again several bits of warnings coming through on radio signals and the the story is that it was a Sunday, Sunday morning. Everybody was. was sleeping in. Nobody was paying attention, except for these two guys who kept getting radio signals, and they were trying to get a hold of somebody. Uh, and radar, no one was they were, they were radar the operators. They yeah. were radar operators. The problem is, is that there was no hard line to the radio yeah. station, and they've been driven out there by a guy. And so one of them ended up running down, going, "Hey, here's a problem here." And they're like, "Yeah, we know. We have a flight of B-17s that are coming in." Uh, that's that's what you're seeing and dismissed the the signal and no, and no it wasn't actually although the b-17s did get involved uh they got they got <laughs> shot down pretty good no true i got your comment i just i just wanted to address it because it's something i actually do think about a lot like um the very idea that we ha- would have no warning is kind of absurd to me we sure. had warning we were on we were on there was a war warning sent yeah, um, yeah to the general in charge and he he was more concerned about the native japanese on the island so he bunches up all the aircraft together so that they can't be messed with by saboteurs well right. that makes it real easy to get bombed the, the but, only reason why my dad's ship wasn't bombed was because it was actually outside of the harbor itself uh-huh. because it was getting ready to be dry docked right 
And so when well, the except one, came, one, one ship actually did get bombed in dry dock and burnt well, down the dry dock. Yeah, it wasn't my dad's. My dad right. actually um, had a half crew and the captain set sail to get it out of the line of fire. And then they ran out of gas and had to be towed back Holy and shit. said, fuck. And they said, fuck dry dock. You guys are going to war. Yep. Wow. Okay. I want to give everybody a chance to talk during this because we're getting into a serious conversation. So uh, Eraserhead says, my dad was supposed to be at the WTC that day. Got to call it midnight the night before relocating him. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Yep. Um, there were a lot of people that 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 missed it. Called out much. sick that day. Yeah, it was weird. Uh, Tor Tor Torah is a good film. Yes, it yeah, is. Absolutely. I have not seen Michael Bay's Pearl Harbor. Uh, My dad watched it and he was pissed. Yeah, I feel like it's probably inaccurate. Well, I mean, let's have a giant love story around Pearl Harbor. Get fucked. Yeah, yeah, but it's still rock and roll though. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Boogie woogie uh my ex was in new york all my dad's side of the family too luckily i found out within 10 minutes of waking up at noon in hawaii that everyone was okay you're in hawaii are you yep. still in hawaii fantastic the uh, um the collapse of the world trade center changed the entire tone and mood of uh, new york city uh, it was a psychic event it absolutely helped. changed the mindset of everyone on the East Coast. It was. I, I, I was there in '99. I was there in 2002, and it was completely different the second time. Completely yeah. different. Just the yeah, just the atmosphere in the air. You could just sense it. I I think the 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 most bizarre thing for me is is so I lived in Santa Clara, but I was right in the flat flight path for anything going into San Jose International, right? So we were constantly hearing planes flying overhead and all that, right? When they did the air shutdown, um, the the absolute silence, and then my buddy and I riding up, you know, 101 heading heading towards San Francisco and going by like SFO and all that, and not a contrail in the air. Yeah, I was silence. It was, was fucking in LA, creepy. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, was it was fucking very creepy. creepy to see the planes come back. That was what really weirded me out because I got used to there being no air traffic at all. And I never got used to it. It it always it always set me on edge where I was like, there's something missing. Yeah. And then when they came back, I was like, oh, okay, that's what it was. All right. Well but they had they had um so the, the thing is if you were in the air when they put down the 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 no fly, it was land wherever you can. So 737s were landing in Garden City, Kansas, which Ooh. is like a community airport. And the the passengers are like, congrats, uh, there ain't near enough hotels for all of you. And so everybody <laughs> opened up alive. their homes, <laughs> everybody opened up their homes, brought people in, and they had to stay there, you know, for, for nearly a week uh, in, in a lot of cases before they, they had a chance to get out. And they couldn't get out because that 737 that landed could not take off. There wasn't enough runway. Harrison Ford still uses that technique to this day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he definitely goes to Not enough one way, I'm good for it. <laughs> More than one YouTuber has, has definitely used that tactic. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too heavy, but um, I, I think this is a good thing to touch on. Uh, if you're new to our show, we deal with racism in America in particular. And, uh, and history in general. Yeah, and we, we do like to talk about it because we don't believe in it being swept under the rug. So uh, we don't do politics exactly, but we don't ignore them either. So uh, Amelia says that a lot of planes went to Canada. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah they I had to too. divert because they didn't shut down their airspace um, in the same way that we did. Yeah, well, thank you for, uh, thank you for taking us in. Sorry, we're uh, so mean to you. I, I remember so the pre 911 right the, the security or the or the lack thereof so I um in the past you could fly into Canada as an American and if you didn't have a passport you could use your birth certificate and mm -hmm. so I used I would always carry my birth certificate with me um however uh I switched to a different briefcase and and my wife because I was like hey just move everything over to this one this and that whatever what she didn't move over was my birth certificate and oh. somehow it got lost. And so I flew into Canada and I show up and I was like, Oh shit. And so I've I'm driven in without it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so I'm telling him, I was like, I, I don't have a birth certificate. Well, if you have two forms of photo ID, you're good. Oh, okay. And I look through. I have my my California driver's license. Um, and then I have a photo ID from the gun range uh, that I belong to. <laughs> and I just looked and I was like, oh, I am, speed you right through. I am going to get a rectal probe on this one or whatever. And now they just look at it. They're like, all right, you're good. Uh, leaving is going to be a problem because when you have to go through U.S. Customs, uh, it's going to be a problem. And so I ended up uh, having my aunt go to Dallas and get a copy of my birth certificate and then FedEx it to me uh, in Canada. Back in, the, back in the day when I was, you know, young and dumb, all you needed was your driver's license to go to Mexico. And that was it. Oh, yeah. 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 Go down to TJ and drink. Well, uh, to be away. fair, getting into Mexico was real easy. It was the getting back that you needed some no, form uh, of ID. Honestly, honestly, it was a driver's license, man. Right. It was yeah. a picture ID, and that was it. Right. Same yeah. with Canada. Going when I lived in Michigan, uh, driving over to Windsor to go to the casinos or whatever, you didn't need anything to get in. You just had to be nice. Right. And it's getting back, that, that you needed some form of ID. It was the American side that you had to worry yeah, about. Coming you back, you got stared down by some motherfucker with mirrored shades and leather legs. And it was just like a, an ass whipping from a vice principal. It was just awful. Yeah. Like, Dude, you let me out. I mean, really? What the fuck? Yeah. yeah, that was fine. The coming back in is where we have the issue. Thank you, Amelia. We'll, uh, we'll try and make it up to you and uh, we'll do something about Trudeau. Um, don't depend on Adam giving you good movies to make it up for you. That's not <laughs> going to work out for you. Not my job, man. A friend of mine just became a, uh, a Canadian citizen this week. Uh, Yay! And, uh, I'm assuming that you get sprayed with maple syrup like you're on an F1 podium after that. Sort of <laughs> <And black face. laughs> yeah. A free moose, I think. Yeah. Beat up choose. a trucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then, then you get a bonus of oh, oh, you're from Britain. Well, uh, well, here's your fascism card. Oh, we're gonna have to double well, down. You thought it was bad where you left. He's in Calgary, which he tells me is pretty base. <laughs> he's pretty chill out. He's uh, Calgary. That's that's kind of uh, 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 what, what's was it? Was it before Gary moved to Texas? He's not <laughs> Texas Gary now. I think he tells rural. me he's quite redneck over there, so he's he's quite happy. No, Ed, Edmonton. Edmonton is redneck. You get anywhere in Alberta, that yeah. that's that's getting pretty redneck. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of missing teeth out there, despite the health care. I went to uh, I went to um, a Blue Jays Rangers game this year, and, and uh, I didn't realize this, but uh, you go to a Blue Jays baseball game, and you have to sit through both the American national anthem and O Canada. Oh, and like, like I have like I have no like you know res like our national anthem is fucking painful in my opinion. It's America's national anthem. It's it is terrible. it is like why does this thing even exist? But oh Canada, man. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you go to Australia, you get Waltzing Matilda or whatever the hell it is. Uh, Waltzing <laughs> Matilda <laughs> is fucking fun. If you're yeah. going to have a national anthem. Yeah. Especially yeah. compared especially to these they, two. Yeah. yeah, especially compared to apparently all of, like, Caucasian North America. Like, And when they do it on the kazoo, it's, like, magic. Bro. <laughs> That's the Italian-Australian uh, uh, variant. Oh God! I have another short here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Oh God! Adam's looking for shorts again. Real short. Uh oh. If I'm not mistaken, Rangers. Oh, oh. Yes. Oh, too soon. What just happened? Oh, I was back to Grace Jones. Let's go back to Grace Jones. Hush up, children. Listen. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? Yeah, uh, that was a real the world thing. Center? God, that I hope not. Real thing. <laughs> that was a real thing on New York wow. television. Uh, it was a real thing, like nationally, I think, because we yes. had it out here in California too. But the Grace Jones thing was kind of a New York thing. Uh, uh, the, yeah. the, the, it's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? It was usually in areas that had curfews. Uh, Thankfully, my really? curfew was: did the streetlights come on? Then you're good. Yeah, well, I and that to... was parental imposed, not law imposed. 
I wanted to bring up the topic because um, uh, Barbara and I saw a uh, horrific Instagram video with uh, this <laughs> douchebag. Uh, you can leave it there. Out. I mean, that covers all of them. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's redundant. It's just, but it's this hipster. guy with Awful. no shirt and a beanie talking about uh, stroking the non existent chin beard. React, oh, no. react yeah. to you somebody will. saying, "Oh, you drank out <laughs> of a hose." Yeah, motherfucker, we were feral. Yeah, yeah. we drank out of the hose. We weren't drank allowed. Drank out of a hose. hose. He's like, he's like. So, when you say you drank from a hose, were were sinks just not an option? <laughs> no, because if I went inside, my parents make me do something. I'd rather stay outside. We were the the the, the remark back was we weren't allowed house yeah the street day. lights off no they're, they're on oh well then you can come in if they're off you keep your happy ass outside <laughs> we we were feral we i you know we ate blackberries we drank from the hose yeah. everybody's everybody's been you know shot with a bb gun or stabbed with a hmm. jart you know or a bottle was, rocket yeah. yeah, if you, if you weren't coming yeah. home with like cuts and bruises, you know, you, you were doing it was like, who, 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 whose house did you go into? <laughs> whose parents did you bother? Exactly. I was always, yeah, we were always building like forts and in, in woods and, and right. rope swings and falling off things. Yeah. <laughs> it was just like that was just yeah, how you, it was. You had you had the ability as a child to make mistakes and learn from them. Absolutely. The problem yeah. is, is that now you have helicopter parents who, oh my god, oh boo, I gotta be everywhere and all that stuff. And they yeah. if they awesome. ever get out of their parents' basement, then they have to learn all of the basic bullshit that you learned yeah. as like a seven-year-old. As an adult, where the consequences mm -hmm. are a lot higher. Yeah. I had to worry out. about getting my ass beat. Now, if I'm We're fucking up, I have to go to the Gray Bar Hotel for a few years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it, I it mean, I, I'm way ahead of you. I assume all the kids that I have fathered are probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel wherever well, they may be. I, I certainly <laughs> have not helicoptered them. Or, well, the hilarious thing is, so like, uh, as Fiona brings, or you know, with, like with, tractored them. They're not even on your yeah. radar. <laughs> well, as as Fiona as Fiona brings up about you know uh, her dad bringing a twenty two rifle, the the when I grew up as a kid. Oh, by the way, no school shootings. But when I grew up as a kid, every car and truck had a shotgun or rifle in it mm -hmm. because we went hunting before we went to school or yes. directly yeah. that was, after. That was a thing. You rolled up to school with a gun rack on the back of your truck, and sometimes and maybe the teachers appear on your hood, right? Yeah. And sometimes the teachers would come out and say, "Hey, that looks pretty nice. Yeah, what'd you do with it last weekend? Oh, well, we went hunting with my dad. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, what would what, you that bag was anything an this morning? Common thing in Northern California. Yep, and Ohio, believe me. Yeah, and again, if if some kid would, I'm going to shoot up the school. I mean, that's like pulling a gun at a gun store. Or a gun range. I'm gonna shoot up the gun range. No, you're not. No, I don't think so. <laughs> well, you know the the America's most wanted guy, the guy his his uh, son. Yeah, Adam oh, Walsh was Adam killed, Walsh. and uh, like that kid was killed, and that affected a whole generation. My mom was haunted by that death. It made a huge fucking difference. There's this enormous campaign, and like. You know, I blame Marilyn Manson. It's only a few no, decades it, it later. way predates yeah. that. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the news, I mean, so you turn on the news, oh my God, a child was kidnapped. Well, that, the so, so you have Adam Walsh, you also have the Atlanta child murders, um, yeah. where where you have a serial killer going around killing people. Nah, it's fine, because uh, they're black. Uh, so let's ignore that. I remember as a kid watching- Lots of mind uh, hunters. Yeah, I remember, yeah. no, I remember as a kid watching TBS. When when that was happening, mm -hmm. right when the when the Atlanta child murders were happening, when they actually started publicizing the fact yes, that yeah. they had lost these large number of children, I was like, "That's fucked up. What the hell is going on here?" But you know, luckily, a my parents were like, "Okay, we live in a small town. Shit don't happen." But even then, it was it was you saw reactions within larger communities where it was like, "Oh my god, there's time. There have always been child predators, right?" Yeah, Sid Davis course. pointed it out. You know, in in the in the Inglewood or or Compton uh, 
video video that we watched <clears throat> about about people that are that you know they get kids they die and all this stuff whatever this shit has always existed but yeah. wait but i must the, have missed that video do have we seen that one <clears throat> the, the attack <throat> homosexuals oh Alex. <laughs> want to go fishing son oh he disappeared isn't that too bad look i've lost a bicycle here we go right this thing the, the, they there's always existed predators people have always been aware of it but the, but the chances of encountering one are vanishingly small for most people right i, the, I think they, if I you think look at kidnapping small, i think they were smaller back then because of the lo- the lo- locality that people were restricted to which doesn't exist so much anymore now we have a much broader range of travel yeah but even then you the, the number the number well, of seri- was, the, the number of serial killers to... that actually travel are vanishingly small right you have green river killer right you have ted bundy the on, vast hang majority on. are like atlanta where hang i just on. hunt within my group not, yeah, not, I mean, just, like, not just the serial killers, but the victims as well. I'm talking about like small town America. If there wasn't an Ed Gain in your town, you were uh-huh. very unlikely to run into an Ed Gain, right? Right, yeah, yeah. So I'm sorry, well, Barbara. Did you want to say something? No, it's fine. No. Okay. No, I think, I, but again, that, that but that's true for anything. The, the number of, yeah, metropolitan, I mean, New York has always been a big fucking city, but Go look at, at New York kids in the 70s. They were running wild just like us in, in small towns. Right. And 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 the the but oh by the way, they also had a certain amount of streetwise. Uh crazy guy wearing the fucking uh long trench coat. Stay the hell away from him. Right. You didn't have to tell those kids not to take candy from strangers. They had already learned it. Right. It it spread out, and suddenly everybody across the nation thought, oh my God. Uh, there are these predators and we need to hover over them constantly, you know, hover over children constantly to protect them. Even though most parents wouldn't have I, any fucking I think idea. That was, I think that was the point that, that Jethro was trying to make was that up in, up until the Adam Walsh murder, um, things, things were very quiet. They were very isolated. You did not hear. I certainly never heard about the Atlanta child killings until long after it, it had happened. And I think that was the point was that it, the Adam Walsh uh, murder brought attention to brought a national attention, just the same way that the Amber alert was created. It created mm-hmm. a national response for, for these situations. The unfortunate part of it though, is that it's usually only for white girls or white That's kids. True. That is true. It, they do. They rarely show um or, or put out widespread alerts for any brown kids black kids it's just practically unheard of you might as well but call if you are a pretty white light. co-ed you got on the evening news yeah and that has been historically true and yeah I, the, the, but that. but again the thing is is that that those those oh look here's a case and every mother suddenly became paranoid and I have to be with my child all the time because then over the news would be up. Well, if you would have been with these children, that was the same thing with the Atlanta killings where it was these children, they were just running in the streets. These, these mothers weren't with them or whatever. Hell, every child was running in the streets in that era. Right. Yes. That's, but you yeah. ignored it. But then suddenly, Oh, this yeah. is a thing we have to obsess about it. Even though, the risk is no different than it was before those stories. And it just comes down to the very simple fact of, of the media, the, the profiting media uh, trading on paranoia. I mean, yeah, Amelia is exactly right. Simple. Yes, Amelia, that's a hundred percent true. Well, not yes. only that uh, abused, kidnapped, any, any violation, it is almost always family member or someone that they are very close to. Yes, that, that is absolutely true. And I think most people, understand that dynamic unfortunately because it is it is a, okay, a maybe the, maybe the rise of the helicopter helicopter parenting is possibly a uh, a result of the the fact that we do have 24 hour news coverage and yes. uh, and you can't get away from it filled, right yeah. well yeah exactly so you're constantly getting reminded of all of the dangers and the problems like every 5 minutes on every device that's around you um well, maybe that's uh, part of the reason i don't know i'm not a parent so i could well no i think that that's true also we don't teach statistics we don't actually publish 
you know, and, and disseminate well the statistical risks that are involved uh, in a lot of things. But the, the flip side is we have now um, put into law things about like helicopter parenting. So in, in many cities now, if you let your 10 year old go to the park all by themselves, CPS will show up. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I was yeah. 10, yeah. I mean, yeah. I had the Locked run up. of whatever the hell, again, it was, it was, you go out and when the street lights turn on, that's when you need to be home. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's the video that uh, I was talking about that Barbara and I saw originally. I wish I could grab it right now out of the ether, but, um, this guy had absolutely no clue what it was like 20 years ago, like what it was actually yeah, like yeah. to be self-sufficient and be feral and not be allowed in the house. You know what I mean? Like you just spent your summer outside and you came home and you ate and you went to bed. Like it was and, and, you made, and you made mistakes on the small scale. You learned yeah. from them. You got smarter. You and got it's the, it's the, um, and you learned uh, but, I sorry. love that you call it self-sufficient because like I distinctly remember a time in my life where I was like covered in mud with blood pouring out of my forehead. You know, like screaming at my mom, like, help me somehow, help me. <laughs> That's not self-sufficient. Well, no, but <laughs> Yeah, but the thing is, what I didn't need is here, Johnny. I, I, let me I, help you make the sandcastle because I you you might put your uh, eye out with this fucking Dixie uh, cup that I gave you to make a tower or whatever. I mean, I'm not arguing anything you've had to say. I will say that maybe I could have used not so much a helicopter, but perhaps one of those little cars. All the that, no, those, no, the hell those, with that. I mean, the, no, the no, no, the, those things that Masons no, in parades are in. You know, like, <laughs> right? But as as saying. a kid, every 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 like, oh, oh my God, I damaged myself. I'm bleeding. That that's that's called the trauma ward. Get the surgeons ready. Make sure that I don't want to see Quincy MD because then I'll be in the morgue. Right? But 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 I want Marcus Welby to uh, take care of all the things. Right? And then and then your parents go, what are you talking about? This is a dribble down your forehead. Let me wipe that off. There, I fixed it. Yeah, right. you need to have the support. It's not just I abandon children, but there's there's a there's a I trust you, and I and I and I believe that you have to learn some of these things yourself. And it's it's not it's definitely not the same thing as like toughen up or cowboy up or don't cry. It's not the same thing when right. you have a, when you have a cut. You know, whatever. Let's mop it up. Let's get you some back teen, and now let's color in some fucking coloring books. Like whatever, it's not the end of the world. Yeah, and after about after about thirty minutes, you're like, "Can I go outside, mom?" Yeah, exactly. Can I have a popsicle? <laughs> yeah. And um, I I feel like that line is slid, but um, I fear that we are sliding into social political uh, angst right now. So well, I think I think there's also a reason that I have a that lot a of lot of a lot of the movies that, that, that we watch yeah. now that, that would cause people to run clutching their pearls or go, wait, what the hell is going on? It's because that people have lost touch with like basic reality or basic history. Yeah. And, this bag is not a toy. Right. Yeah. It is I don't, it is I, it is I don't want to get off a topic, but I have legitimately thought about buying myself some pearls so that I could clutch them. <laughs> like, well, throw, I can give you a pearl necklace and it won't cost like, you a Yeah, dollar. Jay beat me to it. Like, was, sometimes was, like <laughs> sometimes if you get sometimes if you go out in the public and maybe you could see some things. Like I was talking to someone earlier about how you know one of the First times I went to New York, I saw a lady pleasuring a man under his trench coat. Whoa. And like we had just, we had just you know, driven across. Yeah, we had just driven God across bless the bridge her, because I've worn trench coats plenty of times, and that has not happened yeah. to me in public. Yeah, we have. We had just driven across the bridge, and like we were seriously at our first like red light in New York, and that's what I looked to my left to find was this uh, actual sexual act under a trench coat. And I was like... Well, I love the fact that they put on a trench coat. That, to me, is yeah. kind of romantic. It didn't it's a class act. <laughs> I, I, think, I think more importantly, he flashed her and she was like, oh, oh, you packing that? I got to get some of that. No, they were standing. 
It was just a hand, you know, yum, the first half. Yum. Half half. It's exactly. a meal in itself. Our all meat super dog. Enjoy one now. He under your trench one. coat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you're going to walk around flashing people, you need to have an all meat super dog. Yeah. Yum. 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 Yeah. The bun helps. It, it kind of gives it a bigger. I mean, it just. It's like a perspective thing. You know, yeah, I watched The Hobbit. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for bringing class to our show. We really. I always try and photograph it from below, not above. That's. <laughs> Well, so the that, MySpace angle. Yeah. yeah. No, no, it's, it's not out of the question. I mean, there's definitely worse fetishes. Yeah, Barbara, I've done the rubber cement too. <laughs> Who hasn't? A little liquid paper ain't gonna hurt you. Oh, oh, the uh the xerograph, the the or mimeograph. Oh, mimeograph. Oh, no. oh, it's fresh and oh, blue. No. Yeah. Snip that shit right up. Yep. Oh, Jay, oh so I don't know if you're you're tattooed, but uh, I am. I, I was a tattooedler for a long time, and Jethro will uh, vouch for me. But uh, yeah, yeah the, he, he told us about his tramp stamp. Yeah, the, I, uh, I, I have tattoos, and you'll never guess what one of them is. <laughs> is <that laughs> <the otter? laughs> yeah, it might be. <laughs> All right. So sorry. The, how did you guess? How did can, you guess? Can I guess where it is? <laughs> I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> For fear of being correct. <laughs> Scrotum. Um, no, a bit above. The uh, the transfers that we use that are usually called stencils inaccurately are actually those exact mimeograph masters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. We, we put a little bit of like greasy alcohol, like deodorant or green soap or something like that, and we transfer the master onto your skin. And that's exactly what those are. They don't yeah, have yeah. the smell because we don't use a solvent to transfer them onto paper. Right. But it's exactly that technology. It's the right. same things. I have a 1970s fucking uh, mimeograph machine for that. <laughs> yeah, I remember those, the, the old hand crank style mimeographs where you put the master in and then it would mm -hmm. just put the imprint on every time. Yep. Yeah. I have a 3M uh, 1970s uh, automatic one. Yeah, you don't have to crank it. It just runs oh, off. luxury! I had to crank that bitch myself. Mm, yeah, I've said that a million times. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Uh, wow. I don't know what's going on with Barbara, but uh, I can't wait to catch up with her. Well, what's going on, I'm, Craig? No, Amelia's. Amelia's see you, buddy. Hey, Craig. Yeah, Amelia was flashed while working as a cashier yeah. in high school, oh, and all uh, she could do was uh, laugh. Yeah. I missed the setup. Yeah. That's and because he didn't have an all meat super dog. That's, that's right. right. Yum, yum. yum. Yeah. Had he dressed it in a bun with a little yeah. relish? I got you know, moved like, on the Bay Bridge one time you know, by like, a carload I, of assholes. I really that, have, uh, no, uh, it's a bachelor party with Nick the Dick where she's like, is this the foot long? And then some. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing but it wasn't I, Liam Neeson then. Who did it? I have no idea what it no, would that be. No, that would have looked someone, like one of those but, those yeah. giant party uh, uh, <laughs> deli sandwiches, yeah. I don't think you can get flushed by Liam Neeson anyway, because he sends like a, a herald on a surfboard ahead of time before he yeah, actually yeah. unzips. Well, there's well you, can, you can feel the seismic shift. activity before it actually <laughs> yeah. appears in your... Yeah, there's uh, a sun. shift in the in the atmosphere, actually. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. It feels my, like... Uh, one of my absolute... I mean... You know, probably uh, my favorite scene in Pink Flamingos. Uh, I can't wait. I can't no. wait. I Which can't one? wait for the dot, delivery of this. There are so many, and I'm running through my mind through the, <laughs> through the you know file index and going sniffing. No, 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 no. Is it here? It comes through? here. Is it comes. Lady? Everybody, 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 remain calm. Put on your seatbelts. Jethro about to tell us the. Best scene for him Give in him room. Oh Flamingo. God. Give him room. Give him room. There's so many. David Cochran Step has a, a. It's his David Cochran's second flashing scene in a park, where he has tied a turkey neck to his penis to show someone, you know, and he shows <laughs> oh it God. to a lady in the park, and she's like, "Oh yeah, well," I, she pulls her breast out and wags her breast at him, you know, like. I don't care about it. And my favorite part is when he grabs like the turkey neck 
you know, and like gives this like kind of like comedic gesture, you know, like I still, you know, like it's still like this is still like supposed to be very shocking. And then <laughs> and then she reveals a penis and wags it at him. And he's like, oh, oh, oh I've had it. I've had it. And sadly, her penis was larger than his, so you're out. He runs away. He runs away. Runs away. Mm -hmm. Like right. that is like. Mm, so I uh, given given that we're talking about peni and and fake or otherwise. Oh, so when 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 I was a senior in uh, in high school, uh, so I ran cross country uh, in in high school. So I got shin splints ludicrously bad, and. Uh, they had to wrap me like from ankle to like mid thigh to, mm. to deal with it. Right. And so the last race I was going to run, cause I had gone to a doctor and he was like, um, if, if you keep running, you're going to, you might want to wheelchair. And I wasn't in a wheelchair. Um, so I went to the adult store, which is about 20 miles from, from where I grew up. And I bought a big floppy dildo and I then stuck it in my running shorts and take off running or whatever and about the the one and a half mile mark um i was feeling i was like oh i'm starting to slow down so i grabbed it and pushed it out so that it was flopping along my leg uh, <laughs> beneath my silks and i would run i would speed up and run by somebody and go don't you hate it when this happens they would then start <laughs> laughing and veer the fuck off right and so we turned the corner to do like the last 800 to finish off. And I grab it and toss it in the fucking bushes and I go sprinting <laughs> and here we go. And I am fucking dying. I was like, I got to sit down because my legs are killing me or whatever. And there are guys running in, you know, and everybody's, you know, catching their breath or whatever. And then High they're fives. pointing at me. They're <laughs> pointing at me and going that motherfucker, that's the motherfucker right there or whatever. And none of my team knew what I had planned and, and did. Right. Um, and, and so I start telling them about it on the bus ride back home. My coach had to stop the bus. He was laughing so hard at, at this. And he was like, I mean, you did. And I was like, I, dude, I had to gain like 15 places. Uh, because God of that bless or you. This yeah, from a man who made his own dentures, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Absolutely amazing. Uh, quick switch. No, I have not seen Monarch. Barbara has not seen it either. We don't have the Apple. Anyone else seen it? No. no, no. I I've really been, want to. I really, I've, yeah. I've heard that. Yeah, I've heard that. It's, I think I the only thing on Apple good. I care about is maybe for all mankind. How do you not oh, care no. about Godzilla? You're fine. I'm not. I've never been a Godzilla fan. Oh, the the, the oh, hilarious thing is, even as a kid, <laughs> when out. I saw Godzilla, I was I was far. It was far more memorable to me. Uh, Battle of the Gargantuas. That that stuck in my mind a lot better yeah. than Godzilla did because I was like, "That's a dude in a rubber suit. This doesn't look all yeah, that good." That's a, that's I found a, your that's, defect. That's, that's a, a it, that's a in a Honda uh, film that he made between um, he made a, he made several like kaiju films between the second Godzilla film and the third Godzilla film, and like the re-release of King Kong. Which was very popular in Japan, like kind of revitalized Godzilla. But do, like, has anyone else gotten that uh, Criterion Collection Godzilla book? No, no. Oh, but I do love that collection. You can give it to me for Christmas, though. If you oh like. man! Woo. Oh, I thought so cool. we had the Apple thing because um, I thought it came free with my phone or something, but apparently not. But yeah, Ooh. I do want to watch it. Ooh. All right. I do love That's... me some Kurt Russell. We're at Ooh. four and a half hours. Oh Time God. is running out. Barb, Barb has... have you watched the Battling Bastards of, of Baseball uh, on Netflix? No. You should. It's Kurt Russell and his dad um, owning a minor league team in Portland. Well. And him, him being involved with it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'll check that out. It's Godzilla. All right. and... Uh, no, I don't believe he is. All right, all right. However, Major right, League well, Baseball is, which is also a monster of, of kaiju proportions. <laughs> well, that's true. It is <laughs> It is an affliction uh, on our country. <laughs> yes. Uh, all right, well, listen, Stream Yard, if we bring the duck back, can you give us another hour? 
<laughs> well, here's the great thing: we don't have a time limit anymore. Yeah. But uh, we but are. The guess, well, the but may. I still yeah. have a time limit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Reasonable human beings can only consume so much alcohol and cigarettes. Reasonable human beings are not watching this stream. <laughs> Nor are they welcome no. here. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, let's wind it down. Let me find uh, one last thing to play us out here. <laughs> Please don't talk. <laughs> oh, I, I assure you, I won't. Oh, I'm not. I'm just reading the comments. <laughs> what? Think, is Princess Fiona <laughs> asking, asking for something specific? Yes, she is. Yes, she oh. is. Yes, she is. Hang oh. on. Fiona, what are you wearing? <sighs> <laughs> I'm just saying it on. Hey, baby. You want to think about point. you? I touch myself. When I go to the bathroom, I think about you. <laughs> that never... scene from High Anxiety where he, Mel Brooks goes to call Madeline Kahn and he ends up getting choked while yes, right as she like, gets who is this? Like, oh, who is this? Oh, 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 this is. Oh, oh, what are you wearing? What are you wearing? Yeah. She reverses Jeez. the uh, the dirty phone I call. Bet they're yeah. Tight. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna go back to a uh, classic for Fiona here. Take yeah. camera. Oh. Beautiful. One oh two, take one. Is there anything happening? With overlap, action piece. I I, I just go. <laughs> Say anything? They don't do anything. <laughs> action awesome piece. You just do anything? No, <laughs> no. It's, sorry, cut. Yeah. Yeah, rolling. All right, look out for that two, pinky two. now. Look out for the pinky. Yep. Oh! 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 It's always been celebrated for its excellence. Yeah. There is a California champagne by Paul Masson, <laughs> inspired tink, 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 by that same French that. excellence. <laughs> it's fermented in the bottle, and like the best French champagne, <laughs> it's, it's vintage so dated. Hard. So yeah. Paul Masson. Now this time, instead take of three. slapping the shit out of the bottle, he Action finds please. a nipple on it. So. Uh, the French uh, champagne uh, I don't even care about the French anymore. Uh -huh. There is a California champagne uh -huh. by Paul Masson. Yeah. Uh -huh. Inspired There's a nipple by that on same the French label, excellence. It's from the, the bottle and like the best French champagne. It's vintage nipple. dated. So poor my son soup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The thing is, that was still more respectful. <laughs> that was still more respectful to the French than uh, Ridley Scott's Napoleon film, apparently. That's true. Yes. Yes. And more accurate. <laughs> Did you see Napoleon? I haven't seen it. No. Well, I was. I really wanted to. I mean, I've, I've uh, had a fascination with watching a really good Napoleon film for a lot of years, um, but um, it would appear that this is not it. Because uh, no, everything I'm very hearing interested is, is in, in Josephine. Uh, this yeah. is an excellent movie for you. Yeah. Uh, sadly, not so much for the Napoleon. Well, the, the I, thing is that struck me was even in the previews, I was like, "The fuck is this?" It because looks dumb. Um, it looks well, dumb. Joaquin Fe Phoenix plays Joaquin Phoenix, but but not weird, just stoic yeah. because not he can't afford to be weird. And I was like, "Really?" So. Hundreds of thousands of men follow this motherfucker that has about the same charisma as a turnip. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah, too old to play the part as well. But then, I mean, I was yeah. okay with that. I mean, I didn't mind the fact that he was a bit too old to play it. I, I, I just thought, well, if he's got, if we're getting him at full power, then maybe that'll be good. But he didn't seem that way, did it? Also, I found that that, that weird trend of um, they take a pop song and make it all mopey in the trailer. Uh, they've been doing it for ages, but in this one, they actually chose a Radiohead song and made it mopey, which seemed like it was kind of pointless because it was kind of mopey between yeah, no, no, this Radiohead. Isn't mopey. This isn't mopey enough. I mean, you're not cutting yourself nearly enough listening to this no. song. We, we need to bought a Nine Inch Nails song and we just slowed it down. <laughs> we got the 45 and we played it at 30. Give me yeah. folks, no more. Just we, it. we took Mad World, but we turned it down to a quarter speed. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? That's terrible. I hate that remake so yeah. damn much. Ugh. I just waited oh, for the, uh, the, girl, the girl singing Mad that. World terribly. Oh, yeah, that was awful. Yeah, that's awful. I was Black like, really? Because the original isn't slow and interesting enough no no <laughs> we just need a piano piano and and woman is like the same as as white guy with guitar shit is coming down now right where it's just solo <laughs> with acoustic guitar and guy this is going to be shit 
Woman with yeah. piano. Also going to be shit. Hey, Tori Amos is okay. Come on, leave her alone. Oh, okay. Um, oh, yeah, okay. my son played me uh, a, a cover of. Uh, uh, oh, gosh. Now I've lost the name of the song. That Blue Oyster Cult song. Burn oh, uh, Don't Be the Reaper. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and it, it was, he, it was Don't Fear the Reaper. And it was slow and awful. And I was just like, <laughs> why? Why would you do this? I think I think the only well, well, I mean, so there's there's some remakes of like '60s songs that were done in the '70s and '80s that were pretty good or whatever. But but modern remakes, I think the only one that I can well, two, I give two uh, mm -hmm. cred, right? Alien Ant Farm with with uh, you know the remake of the Michael Jackson song, and then um, the cut. remake the remake of okay. of uh, Sound of Silence. Oh yeah, that no. was pretty good. I like I like the well. um I I like the harmony in that. That was quite good. The way yeah. that they went up yeah. with, they went up with the line rather than down with it. I thought it was quite good. Yeah. 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 Oh, there's been a few. There've been a few decent Shit. covers, but not yeah. The, in the last 20 years, not I can't really think of that many, I've got to say. I want I want a like, weepy version of of One Night in Bangkok. <laughs> uh, it's not weepy enough for you? No. And, Anything by Richard Cheese is obviously great. Oh, Dick oh, yes. Cheese! Oh, yeah. Dick Cheese Dick owns Cheese it all awesome. a thousand times. That's yeah. it's like it's like Pat Boone's metal <laughs> album, except yeah. oh my god, career. I fucking right. love that album. His yes. version yeah, of yeah, uh, yeah. of Rape Me just it touches me. It really does. Yes, yes. Anything Richard Cheese and anything <laughs> uh, by Postmodern Jukebox, I yep. really love. I love yeah, they're great guys. too. Yeah. Yeah, I love them. I love, I love that there's a time where I don't, it's not that I don't mind covers. I, I, it's not that I don't mind covers. Sometimes they're really great, uh, but when they, when, but yeah, like Smiley's was saying, when they take these little poppy songs and they just slow them down and make them depressing, it's just like, why? Yeah. Let's go why? to the minor keys. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, 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 here we go. <laughs> It's just the a trope only... at this point, though, isn't it? That's a yeah, it's just like all, all black movie. Movie. That's uh -oh. a statement I made many times while leaving the screening room, and now here are some of the affronts to my taste, my intelligence, and my Don't talk so fast, that inspired you my awful. revenge oh, and some hate-filled reviews. Ah, yeah. oh, damn, this is the wrong class, edit. What is on my uh, I'm sorry, uh, I failed. That was bad. Uh, <laughs> I thought that was the edited version. Mm, I'll no, tell you, my I, favorite cover of a song, though, is watching. She's bringing Lenny. the union together right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She's going like, to top up this, on the table. Are they getting the ready for the protests? Yeah. That ain't Martha Ray. Um, no, no my, uh, my favorite cover, one of my favorite covers, is Lemmy doing We Can Be Heroes. Oh, God. It, it is, is so good. It yeah. really, really grabs you by the balls. It is yeah. amazing. If you haven't so, watched it, just it's on YouTube. Just Motorhead, We Can Be Heroes, yeah. and it's yeah. live footage. It's, oh, it, oh, oh, oh! I think I think the problem. I so I, I well while I love many of Motorhead's songs, what I will say is that Lemmy can't sing for shit, and but that's and, what's and, great about him. Right, but 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 the problem is is that is that We Can Be Heroes. I mean, Bowie knocks that bitch out the park. I'm not sure that any, I'm, anybody would be like, I'm going to do We Can Be Heroes. You need to step mm -hmm. off. Maybe pick mm -hmm. another song. Mm -mm. Yeah. No, disagree. Sorry. No. It's Sorry. such a good cover. It's it, If you take into context who Lemmy was and what he did, mm -hmm. despite all of his, you know, uh, I don't even want to say shortcomings, but despite his lifestyle, uh, man, that song takes on a whole new meaning. Like, yeah, I'm just going to drink whiskey and coke i'm gonna smoke marlboros three packs a day i'm gonna play trivia games at the end of the bar and i'm gonna knock this shit out of the park and he does it yeah. every time i have never seen them live but damn man i cried so hard when Lummy died i cried no i love again i love motorhead but but again motorhead should stick to the shit that they do ah, now you're fired i'm sorry <laughs> i'll go right ahead <laughs> Um, Godzilla and Lemmy doing buoy covers. I'm, I'm I got a problem with you. <laughs> All right, Godzilla will never do a buoy cover, but um, yeah, and that's and that is why I, I would have ranked Godzilla ahead of Lemmy at least on this particular point. Yeah. All right. Well, that's fair. I mean, taste is fair, but yeah, uh, yeah. wrong. And uh, 
Post one and Jukebox do a great version of um, "Where Is My Mind" as well by the Pixies. That's a that's yes, a too. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, uh, there was a, a Pixies cover album, and uh, I'm pretty sure like this like one off band was like at least half Kramer. You know, like Kramer mm -hmm. from like uh, you know, yeah, Eraserhead's right. Yeah. Um, and there, there was. Uh, it's called Fork and Knife, I think, and you can get it on Spotify. And uh, their version of Motorway to Roswell is like seriously one of my favorite covers of all time. By who? Like uh, Fork and Knife. It it's on Spotify. If you just look for like Motorway to Roswell, and like you know, you'll find them. It's on this uh, all this Pixies tribute album. And I feel fairly confident that, you know, this, like, one-off band is, like, half Kramer, but the, there's a female vocalist. And, like, man, it's really, really good. I listen to it a lot. Drew also. Gordon, I'm willing to back you on this, but I think they're equally good. That That's pretty uh, much where I stand. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I do it, like Bajas's Ziggy Star. I think I think really Craig, Craig also makes a good suggestion with Ugly Kid Joe's uh, version of Cats in the Cradle. Uh, I disagree with both of you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say I hate that song. Yeah. yeah. I, I, prefer, uh, I prefer Roxy Music's version of Jealous Guy to uh, John Lennon's. Yeah. I, like I like prefer Rick. Roxy Music above most things. So, yeah, that's a, that's an easy call <laughs> uh, regardless. I like, uh, Big Black, I like Big Black's The Model. Oh, yeah. Big Black's Model cover is fantastic. Especially if you know a little bit about them, um, um, I like uh, the Cramps Mule Skinner Blues. Oh, I can make any mule Blues. Skinner and I want it. Yeah, Mule Skinner Are you Blues. Listening? <laughs> Again, that's some old school where you're like, "Oh, I'm gonna go back in the '50s and and bust this shit yeah. out." Oh, yeah. there's Spilex. There's no chance in hell I can show this. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> no chance in hell I can show this. David Bowie and, 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 and no, no, no. And actually, uh, <laughs> actually, uh, the Ramones did um, "I Don't Want to Grow Up" from uh, Tom Waits' Bone Machine. Really good. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I've heard that. Yep, yeah, Tom Waits doing a uh, trick. Van Halen did do some good covers, but they ain't Motorhead. <clears throat> All right, you know, we're, we're getting deep in the I like. right fucking spanking yeah. territory. My, here, uh, I like so the song. Like, I'm on parole. I like the motor. Van, song. Van Halen's I'm "You Really Got parole. Me." My my daughter, my oldest daughter, uh, refers to as the Barbie song because of the Nissan commercial, Jesus where GI Christ. Joe goes and finds uh, Barbie to "You Really Got Me." That's Pork that's what she she that's what that's how she refers to it as. You're parenting wrong. Oh no, she knows it's from Van Halen. <laughs> but she saw it as a young child first and was like oh i love this I like oh oh you like van halen okay here's some of that i'm just needling you but that is the barbie song she'll say it's by van halen but it's the barbie song all right guys we gotta we gotta tie it in a bow uh i've been looking for some what are you one of those clone kids <laughs> yes, I'm choking to death in a room of my own carbon monoxide fucking American spirit lights. Yes. Well, I'm I gonna am. retreat to the freezer. <laughs> I've actually I've actually had it installed into my boudoir per your instruction. And by installed, you mean you dragged it over there while you were on mute? Well, yeah, I was, I was yes. looking for a banger to show us out, but uh uh unfortunately I just have to <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. Where does it hurt? Ah, uh, my stomach. Ah, uh, 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 I have a bad case of diarrhea. I have a bad case of diarrhea. This park bench is in immediate danger. 
I agree, Fraulein. I have a bad case of diarrhea. 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 I love a razor head, assuming this is a movie channel. I feel like she's telling us through dance. I have a bad case of diarrhea. I feel like she's telling us through dance. It came from eating raw chicken. This is actually what the result of hot yoga. This is motorhead, actually. That is hot yoga. No, there were too many key changes. It's right now. All right, everyone, this has been a really great episode, a really good time, and I'm actually not blacked out. So that's, that's <laughs> he does, however, have a bad case of diarrhea. Yeah, I do. my back hurts, and I have a throbbing stress <laughs> headache from copyright. Well, if you think those hurt, wait till you meet your rectum in the morning. <laughs> I want to thank everybody. Just uh, call me Fiona. I'll do my best platoon voice for you. <laughs> yeah. I'll call you Fiona. <laughs> uh, yeah. Whoa. Uh, thank you, everyone in the chat, for joining us. Everybody for uh, being here every week. It yes. really makes a huge difference to us, and we feel like you're almost real people out there. Jamalama, uh, Drew for the Gordon, Racerhead. Amelia, Fiona. Fiona. Thank you. You guys are all so amazing. Craig, this is this is like Amelia, the highlight of my week, I swear. It really is uh for both of us. Uh this is our therapy. This is our uh stress release and uh a welcome. You say that, but have you been bitten by a dog? <laughs> yes. 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 I mean, I, well, uh, recently, you're not special, Jethro. You know. Uh, he was helicopter parented. He's oh my god! I said, "Look, I'm bit by a dog. Look at me." Uh, Fiona, I will open this link later. Uh, oh my god! Yes, we're gonna get platoon on here eventually. I don't think he personally likes me very much, but I am a will moderator. Will Defoe? What? No, not that. What are you talking about? <laughs> a little platoon. He was like. Oh, all right. No. It's very exciting. Yeah. I mean, I mean, Pl Plutes is is posh. I'll give him that. But I'll take Mueller yes. if I if I'm going to go for just straight up. If I had uh, to pick one, ASMR, I'll take Mueller. Yeah. I'll take yeah. Mueller over that. If I had to pick one, I'd pick Drinker. Ooh. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's a he's a hot pocket. I mean, now if I'm going to go for Scottish, I would I would go for Brian, not Brian. Oh yeah, I, yeah, Brian, Z, Brian or, right. or maybe right. even Z. I'd go for Z or Brian actually. Z, 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 Z just just confuses me because he can't decide. You know what he's talking half in his his actual Z voice, and then <laughs> when he actually lets loose, and I'm like, oh, why don't you let some of that fly? Yeah, and Brian, Brian is himself, and then he decides to do uh, Nelson Mandela as Jamaican for some reason. Yeah. Uh, okay, <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> Uh, when know, I when um, I go to um, the Oktoberfest, uh, yeah, I do. We do often try to do different accents and pretend to be different nations as we go. Oh, yeah, I used to do that. I well, so I used to fun. go to uh, convenience stores when I was in high school <laughs> and do foreign languages that were made up um, just to get the uh, the cashiers involved. Uh, <laughs> where I would have a friend that would translate, and I had to roll with whatever the fuck they translated. Speaking uh, in with, tongues. Uh, yep. <laughs> Yeah, we reached out to Not Brian, everybody, and uh, he is on board with joining us. Unfortunately, the time change is a little difficult, so we may do a pre-recorded show with uh, Not Brian, and uh, definitely looking forward to that. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe maybe we do a a pure monetization super chat special where we extend the hours a bit. Yeah, well, you know, as long as anyone throws money at me, I will stay up and stay drinking. So, you know. If you want to, to be fair, you'll do that now, regardless of whether money is thrown or not. So, no one can we, throw you a tip right now, right? You, we still oh, 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 oh. Oh. All right, listen, we got to wrap this up, everybody. Thank you, everyone in the chat, all the regulars. We really appreciate it. Thank you, everyone watching 
the replay of this. I know Phil Philly likes to stay up and watch to the very end because somehow he thinks it's funny when we're all blacked out. Um, Iceman. Joke's on him. I was blanked I'm out from the my, beginning. I'm missing my <laughs> bestie, though. Time. I rewatch it to realize what I said. Who, who's your bestie, Barbara? Black Lives. Oh, Black Lives yeah. wasn't here. That's right. Wasn't here. Oh, yeah, that's that true. That is disappointing. A noticeable absence. Indeed. Thank you, everyone on the panel. He, and, he has been owning the chat recently. Yeah. Uh, Jethro, always a pleasure. Smilex, always well-dressed. Jay, <laughs> always Jay. Barbara, always my lovely, lovely... I love the Cox! Beautiful wife. Cox. Uh, thanks, you You're guys. Up wife's Cox. Cox. It's absolutely been a pleasure. I had a really good time tonight. So, with uh, out any further ado, I have an outro somewhere. Here we go. Thanks, everybody. Love you all. Good night. Good night. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. It's, an, it's beyond. <laughs> <laughs>